Yeah, we're live. All right. I'm alive. All right, so I, I'm I, live. Okay, well, I grabbed the link. So, last week, how how are you guys feeling about that? And how are you feeling? What are you expected for ending four? Uh, I'm expecting a good time. I'm expecting that if uh, they're obviously going in increasing order of goodness, so I imagine ending four is going to be the objective. You know, that everyone's happiest. I'm especially looking forward towards not just not just Fang ending happy, but I'm hoping it also ends up like in a, in a good resolution for for Chris or Naomi or other characters who kind of were left to a more questionable fate even in ending three. Yeah. Um, I'm very surprised that it wasn't a Trish cucking it, us ending. You are um, just really stuck on that, aren't you? Well, now I'm so concerned that ending four is going to end with with the uh, Fang being with Trish. Why would the best ending have the cuck ending? I That's why I'm concerned. I think the cuck ending was always just a myth, a ruse. Uh, you never it's know. A, or, or it's a very secret path. I think it's like ending zero. You have to find your <laughs> way to it. All right. I want an ending where I end up with Trish. Even after all of this. I do like the idea of, you know, Trish is, Trish is fucked up, but she's, I said it last week, she's not beyond help. It's just that nobody is giving her what she needs, and what she needs is a reality check. Yeah. What she needs is a slap to the face and the ass. <laughs> I could also do with both of those. Both are good. Both are good choices. All yeah, right. I, like, I did like the idea of multiple. At one point, if this game expands, the idea of multiple de ro romancing paths, if you felt so inclined. I mean, people are working on mods. You can be a power middle if you want. I'm just going to straight up steal her from Nazar. <laughs> yeah, yeah, why don't you like Nazar? I don't. I do like Nazar. Nazar's a bro, but his hoe is 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 too hot for him. That's what I. I... Na yes. Nazar Nazar can go. Nazar can go have somebody else. Nazar can have Trish. Yeah. See, there's the real cuck ending. You you just cuck someone else. You don't get cucked yourself. Also, hey Tenchi and Lamau brothers. How you guys doing? Howdy. The Super Lamau brothers. <laughs> The Super Lamau Brother Super Show. Where right. is Chris Pratt? <laughs> I know he's so cool. All right, so was this, one after, this one after the rooftop. Yes, this was after the rooftop. Oh, Remember, okay, just, so, just so I'm keeping track so far, I was kind of keeping track in my head. I thought this one was before the rooftop. So, point one for Anon was uh, speaking straight to Bang during the uh, detention where they were working in the garden. Point. Two for Anon was a duo point for him and Fang on the rooftop. And then we have two points for Fang from asking her to help for music class and standing up for her playing guitar in the band. Wait, so why yes, would this be correct. why would this be before the rooftop? This this scene that's, already that's, that's like just what I, that's just acknowledges what I them as, you know, kind of being a thing or being yeah, close to them. Well in, also, in retrospect that makes sense, but I thought yeah. that uh, for some reason I thought both Anon and Fang had two points leading up. Why are you so stupid, Shima? I, I mean, also... I, I don't know. I, got, I learned it from watching you. <laughs> learned it from watching you at twitch.tv slash kazard. Okay. But, uh, TV slash kazard. The, the, the more important uh, thing for this is that it takes place after the rooftop because Naomi directly talks about it, even though she wasn't really involved with it. Fair enough. But just so I'm just so I'm clear, I, there isn't another Anon point before this one besides the rooftop and speaking uh, candidly to Fang yes. during gardens, right? Yes, correct. Okay. This and is this in fact. Yeah, this is in fact your next Anon point where you chose correctly in waiting. Right. Yes. However, I do want to see what the CGs look like for uh, when you don't wait, because because okay. I want to see what those look like. We'll, we'll just reload after. This was also in my first run. I chose this choice. Because my logic was not just abandoning the whole thing entirely, but just need to get some space for Naomi after that whole uh, master plan drop she gave you. Sorry I set you up with tarot ass GF Anon. I'm so sorry. That was my bad. Yeah, you better be. I need to go away from here fast. <laughs> sorry, Actually, I'm... I need to use the bathroom myself now. You need tampons? What? No. 
<laughs> you sure? Got plenty. No, it's, it's not we that kind of plenty. bathroom. Oh, sure. We'll be here. With tampons. I soullessly start dragging my feet away from Naomi. I'm sorry, I'm I'm looking at new cards. No, Nazar, I don't want to see your Hearthstone cards. It's so cool. I freeze in place. Uh, fair warning, watch the ceiling. What? I sense great tragedy in those words. Oh, no. I'm guessing either it's short because of his frill or it's dripping. Or something. Dripping, I would think, is the implication. And the reason it's dripping is that people, people just shard it up right at it. <laughs> shard it up. I don't, know, I don't know how, but I don't know why, but they did. That's the implication I'm getting. People shat on the ceiling. Or they're practicing for, what, what is it, Big Bill's Hells or whatever? Big challenge Bill pissing. Hell, yeah, challenge <laughs> pissing. If you can six challenge. feet straight up and not get wet. How do you not get wet? <laughs> well, that's the challenge. That's uh, impossible. <laughs> well, clearly, well, you haven't been training. Ah, whatever. I don't want to be here. Oh, that's me. Or it's not me. The public restrooms look clean enough from the outside. I can <laughs> animation but, just for the restrooms. I can, but I can see through the open doors that get clean gets cleaned maybe once a week. Or fro. <laughs> Bifro. Four, four fro. It's a four four row. Yeah, be four fro. Be I'm four not... f bro. <laughs> Before. Before uh, throw. I, I will figure you out, Sai. <laughs> no one ever said infinite oh, challenges had to it, be doable. Well, that's quitter talk. Maybe it's a really, really shitty attempt at spelling bathroom. It may, maybe the dinosaurs don't know English here. Bathroom. Bathroom. They speak dino English. I'm not here to use the restroom anyway. Or the bathroom anyway. If I'm right... I just need to look behind the building, and... Voila! Jackpot. Man, smart anon. A free tarot, all ripe for the taking. Fang is resting on the wall with a half-finished cigarette between her fingers. Got a spare? She shrugs half-heartedly, holding out the half-smoked sin stick to me. I hesitate. Fang tilts her head. Before she can pull her head back, I accept the smoke. Oh, I love this music. The cherry at the end burns dimly as I tap off the ash. It's not an indirect kiss or anything like that. I chant as a mantra. The drag is smooth, with a hint of mint to it. I'd like to point out that it's the wrong choice that leads to smoking. <laughs> I mean, both lead to smoking. Uh, has... Oh, does this replace the scene where you're walking with her along the sidewalk? Yeah, so... well, that, that part already had... No, yeah, I guess it would have been... Yeah, this, so this have, is the I first... didn't know if it replaced this part, though. I guess that would make sense. It, it does no. come a little later than immediate. The smoke exhale oh. is wispy, and I can does feel my skin perfect? prickle. Does what? the other smoking scene not happen if you do this one? Yes, it does not happen. Interesting. I don't know whether it's because of the nicotine or whose lips I tasted. Fuck. Thanks. I hand her back the cigarette. Wait, so she only had one, but clearly they each have one right now. She had one spare. Ah. Uh, oh, no, actually, I mean, no, she was smoking two. Maybe she was smoking two at once. <laughs> Smoker. Alright, we need a patch 8 to fix this. Naomi is a too sick bitch. <laughs> Maybe it's like a manga situation, and they're like in two different panels. <laughs> well, I mean, Anans isn't colored in, so it's a ghost cigarette. It looks colored in to me. Anans 
it's the color of the wall. It's not white. Unless it's a different color. You're not wrong. Fang's tail drums a steady rhythm on the wall. She takes one last long drag. She blows out a heavier cloud and drops the stump on the ground. That's what she said. I stay up on the stump before she can, giving it a solid twist before kicking the dead end into the grass. How'd you find me? Where else would you be? She gives a brief shrug. Anyway, we could probably get away with ditching Naser and Naomi. How'd you manage that? Secret family technique. Pish. Pish. Pisha. Suddenly, an image of Fang's dad pops to my mind, and I realize I probably should be seen alone with her behind a public restroom. I am. What? I don't know, there's worse things. <laughs> worse places to be seen with her. Under penalty. Under penalty of, holy shit, my spleen is outside my body. You're only. behind the bathroom. It's not that big of a deal. Yeah, but what do you think people do behind bathrooms? They yeah, don't go to the bathroom, I'll tell you that much. Yeah, you saw all those footprints on the wall. <laughs> I, just, I, that's, I just noticed that detail. Yeah, I mean, I noticed it earlier, but now I'm realizing what they're for. <laughs> let's get out of here. Alright, let's get a move on. Oh, I love that face. E -e -e -e. <laughs> the two of us peek from behind the building. Make sure the coast is cl the coast is clear of any brothers or scheming persimmon piranhas. See, she, just looks so she just looks so smug about it. Just look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Clever girl. Clever girl. Naomi, <laughs> just make me sad. The coast is clear. I think I know where to look. Please tell me it's not in this shitty promenade place. First it's called Promenade, idiot, and now nah, it's in Little True. Where? Little True, though. It's, it's, it's near enough that we can walk there. Why didn't you mention it before? Naomi. Ah. Uh. Aww. <laughs> See, it's like, it looks so nice it's and they're having fun. It, it's, hard, it's hard to imagine this being a bad choice because they do just look like they're having fun. Well, the the reason is, is since it's a non-point, is because you're kind of putting up with Naomi and putting up with the situation instead of just running away from it. Like, you're actually yeah. kind of facing it. Yeah, true, but still, it's just yeah. uh, a shame you, you get discouraged from seeing cute moments like this. Yeah. I mean, if you did good everywhere else, you can afford it. Yeah, Though true. also, when you do, if you stay, the smoking scene you get there, they have a lot more friendly chatter beforehand. Yeah. So it's a little, it's well, an equal right. they, do a, they, have, they do have a long conversation leading up to the smoke kiss scene. Yeah. And also challenging, hit, uh, Fang challenging Anon to try blowing a smoke ring. It's a snoot. It's unfair. <laughs> she already has a long enough tunnel. <laughs> The two of us sprint. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, a nice little. Yeah, a nice tunnel. The two of us sprint conspicuously across the park to the nearest cover in the concrete jungle. I guess you could describe it as a tunnel. Uh, like a tube. A tube. Yeah, a snoot tube. Okay. That's better than a snoot droop. <laughs> okay, there we go. That then it just catches up there. So we and then we run into, and then we don't, and then we run into Renegade Angle, Angle, Renegade Angle. <laughs> yes, Renegade Angle. He's very obtuse. I was gonna say he's pretty. I guess Fang's more acute. <laughs> that oh. she is. Anon right. An ain't right though. That boy ain't right. <laughs> that boy ain't right. All right. So the next choice, which you guys, this was your first screw up. This is where you oh. doomed yourself out of ending four. Is you're supposed to ask Fang, not Na not Nacer. Oh, I forgot about this. I, I when I straight up forgot about this choice. But even if I remembered it, I wouldn't have thought it to be a important choice. 
it, it, okay, it's so this, oh, just so I remember the context. This is asking to break off. Ask Nazer to help us break off, or asking Fang to help us break off. Yeah, because you're seeing the the situation's tense, and you're like, okay, we need we need to separate the two because someone's gonna get murdered otherwise. And, 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 oh, and I, can, I can see us messing this one up because this situation feels more like you're trying to, you know, handle the situation, but knowing now that the options are more about uh, developing them as characters, then, yeah. Yeah, I mean, even, even in the context of that, though, I figure asking Nazar would be, like, basically, the, the Fang, Fang already wants to break off, you don't have to convince Fang. Uh, okay. Nazar is the guy who thinks that his father is going to kill both you and him if he doesn't, you know, keep everybody together. So I thought Nazar would make sense as the one you want to ask to, hey man, I know your dad's a psychopath and I know our lives are on the line here, but can you give me and Fang a few minutes alone? Yeah, see, it feels like after... Once you hit the rooftop, it feels like each choice you kind of start... Well, I mean, I guess the rooftop, there really isn't an argument. Because I, I did, like, uh, when I was watching the dev stream, when they were uh, talking about their process the other day, uh, the one guy was saying just how anguished he is every time he watches somebody screw up the rooftop. Which I kind of find h hilarious. Yeah, you have, to, you have to let her go on torturing herself yeah. for five whole options there. It's hard. Yeah. It, well, that one's, it's a very hard, that one's the first one where you start getting choices where it's not so obvious that one only because i mean everybody has different opinions on how that sort of thing could go like for me i failed up on the very last one because she's straight up looking to you for answers so i'm like i, sh I should say something at least uh, you never interrupt right you just keep on letting her talk letting her talk yeah and eventually it, Anon speaks of his own volition yeah you just keep saying nothing and then she calls you out like why aren't you saying anything yeah that one is tricky that's a tricky dicky this one, though, I would have thought asking Nazar would be... I mean, one, it's just sensible, but I guess in yeah. terms of development... I'm sorry, Hinkle, you were saying something like asking Fang makes sense as development? Yeah, because you're just including her in things. I don't know. Yeah, yeah it's, it's a Fang point because it is... I I guess it would be kind of like you're giving her the uh, the directive or... Uh, what, what would the word be? Uh, Initiative? Like yeah, the initiative. You're giving her initiative of the situation, giving her a little bit of control that, you know, she's like, okay, we need to break off. And also kind of getting her to talk with them instead of, hey, Nazer, could you just take Naomi and kind of go elsewhere? Oh, it's getting her to talk with them. I didn't even think about that point. I guess that's fair. It's actually, yeah, that's actually a good point. It, it, if you talk to Nazer, you're still kind of keeping that gap between Nazer and his sister. Yeah. Whereas if you get Fang to talk to Nazer, then that helps bridge the gap that's been dividing them for years. Uh, the only thing is that just by this point, I figured letting Fang talk to Nazar would be a bad idea because you know how Fang is with Nazar this early. But I guess that's the point is that you have to get her over it. Yeah. All right. So the, so the correct answer is ask Fang. Yeah, the correct is ask. Agree with you guys. It's the wording for the choices. It's interrupt. Now. Yeah, that, that too. I guess you do see a lot more obvious in retrospect for the rooftop that it's always saying interrupt, interrupt, not speak up or say something. I just feel like the interrupt and in, yeah, I feel like in a, it, a situation where someone's literally hurting themselves. Yeah, it's, it's kind of it's like cutting, it's it's cutting hairs at that point because you're interrupting for a good reason. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it again is also I probably mean, how a murder like that is. Oh, I'm pretty interrupted. How rude then? Cause, cause, and, and then you interrupt the murder. I mean, you probably also have people that you know, if someone ever had a situation like that and they you know kind of interrupted and spoke up, they would probably lean more to that. It, it, it there's a lot of variables for that whole scene that can it just. It's, it's the first difficult choice just because of that, how so many variables, because you have four steps to keep thinking of. Is this the right thing to do? Should I keep going? Should I keep going? Should I stay or should I go now? <laughs> should I stay or should I go now? Do, 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 Wish Anon was a dragon instead of a human. Well, blue dragon, that sounds a little biased right there. But no, that would work out because he would have all the caveman jokes. True though, dragons were a dinosaur. Power Rangers taught me this. <laughs> ah yes, Power Rangers. Given all thanks to Velvet, her looking to you for help is just trying to get a new course in life from someone else. Ah yeah, that that. Oh yeah, that's another thing. 
because I didn't comment on this last time because I realized this in my playthrough. Later on, when Mo tells you, you know, you got to support by just being there. You don't do things for them. You look back at the rooftop scene and you're like, oh, I wish I knew I that earlier. I guess that's actually a good point, too, is getting Fang to... Because it, it is true, one of the downsides to Ending 3 is... I really like Ending 3. I think Ending 3 is really cute, and I think Fang legitimately makes herself a better person through her own volition, her own choices still. But she is still very dependent on somebody. It's just that, in this case, it is a healthy person like you at the end of Ending 3, and on is a much better person to yes. be dependent on. But she's still dependent, which is in mm. itself a flaw. Yeah. All right, so ask, ask Fang. Yes. Ask Fang to stand up for herself. Yes, ask Fang to, if, if we all break off, you do it. Eh, don't worry about it. Finkel. Right. He looks ahead again, paying great attention to Naomi's spurgatory. Spurger, spurgery. That sounds hot. She's, she's, more, she's spurging everywhere. <laughs> oh no. Quick, we gotta get out of here. I've seen this before. <laughs> I turned to Fang again. Hey, if you don't want to stay in a group, why don't you ask Nacer to split off for a while? Why me? He'll listen to you. He's only doing this because your dad put him up to it. I think he trusts you enough to be willing to take Naomi elsewhere for a while. Give him a chance. Fang looks in contemplation at Nazer walking ahead of us. You know, now that I think about it, if Nazer, you know, Nazer is here because of concern that Anon is trying to move in on Fang unwantedly, so you being the one to split them off makes it look even worse. Well, I guess that's a fair point, if it looks suspicious. Well, I mean, she, he's, I think he's suspicious of both, though, because Fang invited him over. He has no more reason to trust Fang in not doing the dirty deeds than Anon does. Yeah. How, how much look... How much did you miss? Not much, Bongo. Uh, like Tenchi just said, we just, we just watched the other uh, option of leaving Naomi at the park. I don't want to leave the car. Also, hey, Bongo. Might as well try, I guess. Hey, Steven Howing! <laughs> Wait, that's not how. Yeah. See, disability humor is just our thing, okay? He's cool with it. He responded to it? It's pretty fun. Can you uh, take your girlfriend and maybe go fuck elsewhere? Fuck <laughs> off, elsewhere. No, just go fuck elsewhere, because I know how this is going to end one way or the other. Oh, really? Yeah, you're right. Yeah, totally! <laughs> I mean, unless you want to get in on that, because I'm not totally opposed to the idea! <laughs> don't... don't tease me like that. <laughs> I'm good. Uh, me and her just aren't going to get along, you know? And it covered more ground. So, you know, there's a good excuse. Nacer slows down a bit. Uh... I don't think that's a great idea. We should stick together, right, Naomi? Well, well. Two could play at this game, you citrine psycho. I look at Naomi and give her a subtle nod. That's a. That's actually fucking clever as shit. Oh, and it's through the corner to Kikaku! <laughs> Wait a minute. I think, it's a, I think it's a wonderful idea. We can check it at the promenade. Oh, I know this wonderful cafe. Well, actually, I, I never did catch on that before. That he's just using her mind games against her now. Yeah. Oh, you think you're playing four dimensional chess? Well, I've been playing five dimensional chess this entire time. Great. Now fuck off. Go play six dimensional chess. I don't give a fuck. Hold on a second. <laughs> Why do I feel that's animated? <laughs> He's just, oh my god, what happened to your beak? <laughs> that said, he'll do to me anything that you do. <laughs> woo! 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 Okay! Yeah, you guys were right when you were joking the, the first time around. 
You think I was fucking around? Well, I was. <laughs> what? 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 Okay. <laughs> what? What? Wonder if I could do Fang and Naomi at the same time. I mean, I, I, I feel like a lot of people would want to. You got a promise, and I would hang on to anything for me. <laughs> I don't know, I actually kind of want to see this now. Oh my god, what happened to my face? <laughs> that, that's fucking rude. Can you blame him? <laughs> Fang looks at me and grins wickedly. Have you ever seen your dad, like, stuff Christmas turkey? Because I imagine that's a lot less... Wait, than did we undo the smoking... I mean, the bathroom? Yeah, I reloaded. Okay. I, I, I just love the look, and then glance down, back up. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I'm sorry, my, 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 my curiosity is peaked now. I, I've got to know how this ends up. Uh. <laughs> wow, we're not thinking it. All right, whatever. I promise. Now get the fuck out of here. I like how I'm not how worried Anand is about the whole thing. Like you think if anything, he's gonna just get benefit from it, but he's like, oh god, what's she planning? Hey, anime well, shit. You said you like that. He doesn't want to subject his friend to that. <laughs> Nacer gulps and nods. Yeah, these that really is just a great CG. You better not do anything creepy, Anon. If you have to do something creepy, make sure it's something you want to happen to you. <laughs> he just looks so dejected, leaving. He's like, oh god, something's gonna happen. <laughs> Alright, now let's get freaky. <laughs> oh yeah, he he said cre he only said don't don't do creepy. Freaky's all fine. Okay, with freaky happening to you. With that, they sir and Naomi leave turning the corner onto another street. Now it's just the two of us. Alone. Oh hey, there's the alarms again. I think I finally started to them out though. It just actually faded out. And now we get to the other smoking scene. Hey, you know what's cool? It's smoky. Yeah, totally. Smoking's the coolest. Oh my god. <laughs> no, he just slides. Yeah, th maybe, that choice doesn't this matter. This choice doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter. If you end up buying either way, it's just a nonsense attitude about it. Well, does he does he still get the Roomba if you don't do it? Oh yeah, you still get the Roomba. It's either you're like ah fuck it, I'll just buy it, or he's just, or it's like oh I'm not gonna buy it. Then you just kind of get pressured into it. Oh the head, look, it's the best male character in the entire show. <laughs> Oh no! Oh no! Ah, e hug! You missed it. Fuck you. Eh, we'll see it again. Do I have some add-ons to read tonight? <laughs> nah, it's okay. No nacers either. Oh, but. But. But's important. Remember that. It's important. It's just like in Metal Gear Solid. Go back and look at the ass, because it'll be important <laughs> later. <laughs> this this choice also doesn't matter either. Because you, you're basically kind of admitting it either way. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. It's oh yeah, cool. since we've been doing good choices, she'll actually do a different uh, tarot reveal. That's amazing. Uh, Perhaps we... <laughs> we should... We should fuck. Oh, uh, here we go. We'll just start with this. Best character. I wanted to ask you before, what did you think of your photo? Uh, I kind of forgot. Why can't- how can you hurt her feelings like that? You got the judgment? Does it ring a bell? Oh, that's so fucking sad! Well, uh, how about- how would you like another? Eh, I got time to kill, sure. Hey, Phoebe Pixel, Snoop Gamers rise up. We are the most oppressed group. She pulls out her dick. She pulls. <laughs> no, that's the other room. Including the most oppressed group of all, Snooters. She pulls her deck of tarot cards from somewhere. Where the fuck does she hide these things? I don't see no pockets. Anyway, she fans the deck out. 
No, all right, take one. I take one at random and show it to her. Upright strength. <laughs> I'd like to see some of your upright strength to catch my breath. Uh, I don't think you need to worry about what's to come, Anon. Again, if you catch my dress. The fuck does that mean? Uh, I got it. See, see you at the show. I can't help but notice that there are punctuation in there now. Almost as if after seeing so many people not be able to <laughs> pronounce what was said there, punctuation was added. Maybe specifically of your comments. I don't really think I commented on that one. I mean, I obviously it's leave the stage as yeah. is. Yeah, so the correct choice here is leaving the stage as is. Because... Yeah. So this is a non-point based on trust. I, I think we did yeah. cover this the other time, because... Yeah, yeah. yeah, Trish. I still... I still... I mean, I, I, I understand it's by trust, but I still am going to guess that it's going to fuck up one way or the other. Well, we shall uh, see. I, I completely blame uh, Stella for this one. All right. She yeah. was just talking about how we need to be responsible. Make yeah, well, no. She, she, she only says that if you have few points for either a not... If you're on ending one, you have two or less points. So that one yeah. sets you up for continued failure. Here, yeah. you were doing good. So she's like, oh, you don't need to worry about anything. Yeah, Which also, in a way, kind of says, hey, you don't need to worry about stuff. So you'd be like, yeah. oh, okay, I don't need so, a bot yeah. word. Yeah, it kind of puts you on the path you're already on either way. Yeah, it pushes you towards a certain direction. Um, unless you're that. like, you know what? That's fuck actually, fate and fuck tarot. That's actually, yeah. That's actually kind of a, a clever system to get people to fuck up their first time through. Yeah. I forget you what want. the other two cards, because I know there's a card for each path, but I forget what two and three say. So you leave the stage as is. Which definitely would have been the choice I would have made had Stella not misled me. Also, is it just me or is Anon a ghost for some reason? Oh, yeah, I guess he is. Read me. Go on. Uh Anon died again. <laughs> <laughs> like the fourth time. Reed may not understand cable management, but then again, neither did I. <laughs> Probably better to let sleeping fossils lie. You don't have to do it. Just don't do it. That's not your fault. Now that that's taken care of, I glance at the pizza-themed clock on the wall. 30 minutes until the show starts. The band is doing one last sound test. Reed... Excuse me. Reed's bass drum is bearing another new logo for Reverm Drama. Damn it. I that, was waiting for bass drum. <laughs> that doesn't look half bad. Trish has a wicked grin on her face, and I can practically see the dollar signs in her eyes. And Fang. Fang looks anxious, hands ringing the strap of her hollow body electric guitar. You guys got inverted Empress previous runs. Well, yeah, because we were on uh, end one for that route, so we didn't really see any others. Still have to laugh that six came oh, out with a bug for this. At that point? Yeah, because at that point you had two and. Yeah, two Fang and two Anon points. And then all the choices are after. Then all the choices that were after that were after the tarot reading. So we got we got two good ones, but we messed up the rooftops. So we missed a point for each, and then we missed a point for Fang, and then we missed a point for Anon here. So we were teeter. I see what he means by we were teetering on edge for uh, yeah. one ending or the other. Yeah, you're saying on two, and this is three is the threshold for either way. So yeah, you got you guys were really really running the line there. You had to laugh that six came out with a bug for this choice. That if you did the right one, it would finish the scene, then skip halfway through to the wrong choice. <laughs> that, that's that's the mess of. <laughs> so wait, so you would go through the concert, then go through the concert again? Even assuming that like it's even worse than that. <laughs> Okay, so it's inverted Empress if you were on ending one, inverted Hierophant for three. Okay, ending three. Yeah, what? That was a weird sound. Ah. Okay, so oh, we were on track. We were on track for ending two at the time. Yeah, you were on track on ending one. If you made I, any, 
you were on ending one. If you failed all three, all the next three choices, you would have gotten ending one. If you picked either any of them, if you picked the first or the third, you would have gotten ending three, which you did. Imagine if you fucking up so hard that you get ending one on accident. Yeah, rub it in, why don't you? <laughs> God, that would suck. Yeah, that that would truly I don't know, be awful. I don't, I, don't, I don't know how you would keep going on. I mean, yeah, I mean, living with yourself would just be a chore for the rest of your life. Okay, Inverted Hermit, if you got the ending three tarot, she, Estella would say, Anon, if you ever feel lonely, you can come to me. Which I guess oh, works, because you do hang out with Stella a lot more in that in that run. And then in ending two, you get the Inverted Hierophant that says, you need to be wary of your words and actions. Which also makes sense, because you totally fuck up on the beach with shoving your yeah. foot in your mouth. Blame Python as use of spaces for nesting choices. Very easy to mess up. Ah. I consider what I'm about to do is extremely stupid, but... Hey. She jumps a little as I step back on stage. Her knuckles are bright white as they strangle to the leather strap. Hey. The secret is a support! It's a support! It's a support! I offer her my most supportive smile. You got this, Fang. I don't feel like I do, though. I should have done the thumbs up animation. You do. You've been practicing all month for this. And you improved immensely since your last gig. I have complete faith in your ability to play guitar. I have complete faith in your ability to fuck this up. Don't worry so much. Just don't fret about it. You'll be fine. Fret? Tr pun. Trish rolls her eyes. Reed's vacant stare has a bit of approval. No. <laughs> this voice is... I have to prepare for it every time. At least it wasn't a dinosaur pun this time. And see, it was almost stellish. I'm not that unfunny. Yes, you are. You are. Oh, both gang up on me, why don't you? Yes. <laughs> if that's what you want. Fuck you two, I'm hilarious. If that's what you want. <laughs> no one thinks that, loser. Don't you have something to be triggered about? You can't use that word, that's our word. And I'm, I had to work really hard to get my T-word pass. <laughs> well, see, that's the bad for the hu uh, of being me. I just don't care about it. Just stitch. you want to see me do it again? Ladies, ladies, please, please. You're both hideous. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. We've got well. sweet music to play. And by sweet, I mean fucking metal. Showtime. Alright, next up we've got the... What? <laughs> this song is just called The. They go right... The. They go right into <laughs> their next song with Gusto. <laughs> An hour later, and the band is wrapping up their last song for the night. I take my eyes off the stage to get a read on the crowd. Easily a good hundred people showed up to see if a Verm drama. Better than any of us expected. Still terrible. The look on Fang's face when everyone began filtering into the restaurant was priceless. Ah, oh, this is a great look at their old dancing and bobbing around. Look at Trish, she's so happy. I don't I even love have this. to get on the drum. I don't even have to be on the drums, dude. I just stand here. <laughs> they were on the last song of the night, the bizarrely long name of which I missed. I really, I still wish that was the actual name of the song. I just got it. Why is Hitler riding my bike? Pretending to be a monkey. Oh, right. Hitler monkey. Reed definitely wrote this one. Hitler monkey. The band really has improved. 
as opposed to booing and pointing at the, as opposed to booing and pointing at the, at the audience is listening. Into, this still feels like it's not right. It's, it's not, as opposed to booing and pointing at the audience. Oh no, you're right. It's wrong. Well, they said the version six as had opposed to booing. Right? Go back. Like go it, back. Go back. Instead of at, it should be yeah, a comma. I'm still on this. As opposed to booing and pointing at the audience. Like remove at, put a comma there. It would it would be fine. Like yes, yeah. as opposed to booing and pointing, the, the audience they, is listening. They, didn't, they, they wanted yeah. payback, so they did in reverse. At three a.m. in the morning, which is what a.m. stands for. So it's a fucking on a fucking Tuesday. Who wrote this shit? After the song ends, Vaverm Drama hangs on the post of their final note. Yeah, I wrote that shit. It's silent. We know. I applaud the band. Eventually, some other patrons join in. The applause turns to cheers, and the cheers turn to uproar. The crowd was cheering. Actually cheering this time. The band mates' face. The band mates' faces light up, and they all glance at each other. The hard work has taken its toll on the three, giving them varying degrees of perspiration. The sweat is trickling down Fang's forehead. Trish has gone from an afro to dreadlocks, and Reed is providing the restaurant with a nice ocean scent. <laughs> Ew. Why is that you? That just means he shampoos very well. It's just my red It really means he's sweaty. Yeah, but at least it smells nice. No, it's a little salty and gross. Wrapped in musk. It's a, ta it's a, it's a cologne I use. Fang finishes with a flurry, a furious flurry of strumming on her fretboard. That's what she said. Woohoo! Thank you, Lil Trudon! The crowd's approval is obvious. Even in the makeshift mosh pit, where I see Stella getting fake curb stomped. Fake curve stopped. All right. See, that addition of that one word just made that whole situation so much more understandable. At least, I think it's fake. I think you'd know if it wasn't. <laughs> Rose is on the other side of the room, too entranced by the music to care. Eh, I don't see any blood, so she's good. For now. Yeah, see? Nothing fucked up. Nothing did fuck up. Get off! There, there it goes. Shima's mic is. It has doesn't a hard like time bringing up. I, I think it might be Discord because I think Discord just in general doesn't like too high notes. Discord? What about this chord? No, we didn't. We didn't touch the chords. Before I could react, I was swept up in a blur of feathers. Surprise, ah. zero butt sex! <laughs> Wait. Ah, oh, <God. laughs> oh, wing hugs are the best. Fang wrapped her arms and wings around me and kept rocking back and forth. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, we did it, we did it, we did it! They actually love the first drama! I tune out the alarm screaming in my head and hug her back. I want to see Trish actually happy about the situation. Her wings are just as soft and huggable as they look. Fang's beak settles against my cheek, the warm scales sliding smoothly up and down against it. This is nice. I become aware of my hands, planted firmly on the small of Fang's back and pressing her closer to me. Beneath my splayed palms is soft, warm, and drenched in sweat. I find that I don't really mind the slickness. Bang. I feel like I could stay like this forever. Hello, Fang! Fang suddenly flinches, and I get a split-second view of a purple hand on her shoulder. Her face is beet red, 
and the warmth in my own cheeks tells me I don't look far behind. Trish looks like she sucked on a lemon with how twisted her face is. I'll go suck on a lemon. <laughs> the tiny triceratops pulls Fang out of my hands, and I can picture my fist twisting that horn right off her face. Great show, right? I guess, for our first show, anyway. It was great, though. Everyone was cheering. But it was a small crowd. Well, that'd be like a normal crowd to you, right? <laughs> <laughs> it took you a second there. I got it. I was just trying to think if I could have a response as her, and I just couldn't. <laughs> no, that's just, that's just her face to that. Her with her words. <laughs> See that? That's what she did. She just have that face and say nothing. There's no retort. <laughs> Utterly owned. Was it? The place was packed. Small venue. We gotta think bigger now. Why bigger? I, I thought it said something about cock at first. <laughs> because I still have stock. <laughs> still have stock? Stock! <laughs> Damn it. Why'd you get uh, my hopes up? Uh, we, we need a bit, she needs a bigger venue for all the groupies she just picked up. She motions to the bar, where there are still some hung-up shirts with a new mediocre logo lazily spray-painted on. Have you sold much? Three buttons, four stickers, and an apron. An apron? Hey, kids! Look at this here! I'm the partner of the little girl girlfriend that's owed me! They have a new apron! Trish looks split on whether to be mad about the trigger comment or happy about the successful sale. I thought they'll be upset to my today, and I had to my tea when the past had to be a decade ago. It's. Some of my best friends are Triceratops. <laughs> okay, I think it, this is all. Uh. Is it? Hey, Jerry! Don't fucking. Don't steal the dog! Yeah, that'll. Yeah, that yeah, that that'll, that'll Who asked that. you back here, Jerry? You, you guys. Fuck you, Jerry! Jerry? Fuck off, Jerry. You, you guys want a different no? Uh, it, do it doesn't matter. Which one did we choose last time? Do you, remember? You, you picked it, Inai. Inai! Uh, let's uh, say Diet. Diet, or hold on a sec, which, uh, Nine. Nine. Do you remember Nine? <laughs> oh, speaking of that, historical figures like Hitler increase his suspicion that Snoopverse is a post apocalyptic future dino rules world. But well, we do or, know that there are or still, an alt universe. I was gonna say we do know that there are still humans in this verse. I feel like it almost follows that Hitler would still be human. Well, you know, but he's saying that Hitler already happened, as opposed to the weird implication at the beginning that this is BC. It, it's a time. So yeah, I guess that would make sense. Hit. So I guess he would just be going after dino. Why would he do that? That's just. Why? Uh, so uh, but, Jewish dinosaurs, obviously, if there's raptor Jesus, there must be, uh, like, yeah. rhino Jews. And he so, yeah, I guess <laughs> well, oh, yeah, I mean, we have, we have the rhino rexes. The raptors are the Jews. Raptors are the Jews, yeah, I guess that because makes sense. Dino, if, raptor Je if it's raptor Jesus, he was Jewish, so well, the raptors are Well, no, because the they make, the, the, there's the joke where Anon talks about rhino rexes, and if you look it up, that name translates to King Knows. Uh -huh. Huh. Trish mentions a war between species, and there's the mention of a second extinction event. Ah, oh, I guess, yeah. There's a lot of history you can get here. Snoot issue plus SWNBR. What, what, what does that mean? Snoot issue plus WSD. Uh, I'm not sure. SWNBR. Swinber. All right, everything All right, plays the same. The we head up to Fang's room, and we play the guitar. You don't yeah, hold study. On, hold, on, hold on, do we have enough Fang points? Yeah, do we have to play the guitar? I think at this point, we we acquired four Fang points up to this part. We're in the clear. We acquired Snoot. Yeah, we're, we're, uh, I'd like to go for a hundred. 
We got four yeah. points, but I also like going for a hundred percent. Yeah, no, I don't mind. I, yeah. If, if, if we, I, we just if, want we just want our audience to know that there's nothing wrong with studying, kids. <laughs> There is Stay absolutely everything wrong with studying when a girl is asking you, hey, you want to play guitar? Girls are gay. <laughs> she will never be real. Aw, come on, man. Why, 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 why you gotta, why you gotta bring the mood, mood down like that, man? Oh, God, why do we have to... That's too real. <laughs> too real. She will never be real is too real. Well, not with that attitude. She will be real. All right. Right. Oh, that's right. We have, now we have now we have the uh, the lost so woods. Was, now we have the lost woods. It was keep it simple. <laughs> Shima really hates the guitar. No, no, no. It's Hinkle that hates the guitar. He's just brainwashed Shima now. Guitar. I'm cool. I just like everything. <laughs> Too real, unbiker, man. Interesting. Keep it going. Oh, you All fucked right. up. Uh, How are you doing this? Keep it simple. Think it's the confidence. Are you even fucking trying? <laughs> uh, we, we have to press the button. No, you don't. <laughs> yeah. Mom, you're trying to play the guitar. That's pretty good. And then we I like this. All right, play that one again for me, will you? Uh, and then we play music. We get nice, and sweet moment. Touching the scene. Then Fa uh, Don doesn't die this time. <laughs> yeah, that's when he oh, dies. That's <laughs> no, it's giving right, pads. That just makes it great. <laughs> just. <laughs> Right, son. Oh no, there's no naser around to take the fall. Next time I'll use you as a boppet, and trust me, son, I am not good at them. Oh, boppet, Rubik's Cube? You just aren't good with any kids' toys, aren't you? Hey, Mom, we got a surprise for you! <laughs> hey, guess what? <laughs> <laughs> hey, you got a surprise, you're doxxed! <laughs> this one was totally on purpose! <laughs> All right, this choice didn't matter. Uh, we'll just go with what you picked last time. Oh, really cracked me up. <laughs> go ahead on. And then this, the one you managed to actually pull in at the end to save yourselves from yeah, the shooting. Because I'm good at socializing, and that's why I know that you shouldn't play the guitar. <laughs> <laughs> they always come back to the guitar and yeah. then wait for Trish. Yeah, you wait, you talk, and then you wait. Bitch. Right. So Anon, but at least he's a cool bitch. And then uh, we'll try to catch our Sprite Cranberry, but fail. Wouldn't it be cool if there was like a small percent chance of catching it and then everything just ends way better? 0.01% <laughs> chance you get ending five. Ka 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 chi daze. Gong 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 wobuki. Although actually, that just goes back to the point that the game is kind of making that sometimes things just need to get as awful as possible to get better. Yeah, you need to have a low low to make that high yeah, even better. Without this horrific injury, like you wouldn't ever ever really ended up with a uh, thing. Yeah, it's the uh, you get a lot of points for for being injured. Girls mm. love scars. Yeah, the whole uh, nurse syndrome. Night they updated. Nurse, the, night. Yeah, Nightingale said they updated the choreography for the projector scene. Oh, well. Should we go back? Oh, did they? Oh, we can go back. I don't mind. I mean, it would just... I, it would... I also just want to see her go, Surprise, you're doxed again! <laughs> Surprise, you're not oh, shit taste! I, I, I can't... Well, I can't go back any farther. Aw, oh, damn. Rip. Now it's Naser that destroys the projector. Oh, okay, so instead of a nod tripping over it. I thought that was already. I feel like I thought Nads are already destroyed. I thought that was the original. Idea. Yeah, I kind of remember it always being that way. At least when we played. Huh. Ow! Ow! How do we skip through? All the way up through. And then we're locked in. Yep. Good times. All right. And now, to the main point, we stick. We pick up with. Oh, we got into a relationship. Thanks, Father, Naser, Trish, all collectively You're in a splattering. With thanks, Father. <laughs> thanks, Father, Naser, Trish, all collectively splattering me on a wall. That's hot. Yep, waiting for that. Pretty hot. It's not like I can ask for advice either. I will skip. We will pick up on here. Where are you? 
Ending five. Reverb drama becomes a hit, and Anon becomes their main groupie. Ah, yes. And it just fucks all of them. <laughs> Time for Anon gets his ass kicked part four. I turned to see Nate. Nat I turned to see Nasser pushing through the crowd of students towards me. At least I got to talk to him about the whole situation. Or ask him for advice as, as well on how to handle Fang. Wait. <laughs> Nasser's sister, Fang. The Fang who skipped school as spending the day at my apartment. And never went home for the past two days. Ah, suddenly I feel like a, sh a fish being circled by a very nacer shaped shark. How do I even begin to explain to him? Uh, hey nacer, what's... Nacer grabs me by the jacket and shoves me against the wall of lockers. Ah! By everything! Where the hell is Fang? Whoa, hey, I can... He ditched with you the other day, and hasn't come home since. Did you know what I've had to put off with because of you? Everything you do is my fault for letting it happen. Well, now that we know what his dad does, if Anon tries anything... <laughs> you know I how many know times I got fucked in the ass? <laughs> 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 oh, that feels like a whole. Well, other... I mean, I mean, Nazer, I, I, I would say, do you want to sit down and talk about this? But I feel like you probably can't sit down right now. No, I can't. I just love the idea of Anon like just realizing he's fucked anyway. He decides to be a smartass about it and just gets his ass kicked. Even <laughs> You're lucky she texted me yesterday. Dad was about ready to file a missing person report for. Look, Nazer, let me explain. Buddy, ow. You better before I drag your ass home and. I mean, I'd rather not have to do. I'd rather not ha hear about your dad and ass in the same sentence. I already know yeah. what's going on there. Oh, you won't hear it. You'll feel it. <laughs> the, terrif yeah, yeah. the terrifying prospect is enough to make me pause. Fang is staying at my apartment, but. Nacer's eyes shoot up like it's the one answer he didn't want to hear. Let me finish. It, it was her idea after I fucked up my chest during the express trip down the stairs. She wanted to make sure I was alright and wouldn't take no for an answer. Nacer sighs and releases my clothes, but the scowl stays on his face. Is that all that happened, Anna? I mean, we played some video games, but... Is that all that happened? I don't think... Uh, oh, I mean, we didn't do anything, if that's what you mean. I said... Mm -hmm. uh, it didn't pick up. I swear, she couldn't even kiss me because of the stupid bruise. What? She bruised you? Oh, look, I'm getting shoved into my locker again. Um, this family has a weird way of showing love. Can you hear me? I hiss in pain as Nacer's fist presses me against the locker. Can you hear me? What? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear yeah. you. Oh, um, my you internet see? is like popping in and out. Hold on a second. Huh. I don't know why this is happening. And only on this computer. Odd. Um, I sound fine though. Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah. Well then, I, mean, I can read this next thing. Why would Fang kiss you, Anon? I swear to Raptor Jesus. I told Fake I like her. You see, it hasn't even switched for me. Hmm. Ah shit! I said that out loud. Let me exit and come back. Okay. Nacer freezes, and the color drains from his face. He's blue screens of death for a while the entire time it takes Hinkle to come back. It's... And then he violently shakes with rage until he comes back. It's him warming up. It's just like fucking, uh, uh, fucking Donkey Kong. He has to charge up his punch. 
The more violently he shakes, the more energy is being stored. Ending six, Anand secretly gets assassinated by Ripley and Nacer mobster style. <laughs> Ending seven, Anand must repeat the same day over again to prevent disaster. Well, that's just playing this game normally. <laughs> kind of. Yeah, so great. Well, are things looking better? Uh, hold on, I'm still bringing up the ah stream. It's just two shaking boxes. Uh, there it is. I guess it's good. He shoves me back into the locker as hard as he can. Then he shoves me back to the lockers as hard as he can. He's been building up he for. Shoves a... me back into the lockers as hard as he can. He's been building up for a good while now. I'm going through the lockers actually. <laughs> Have you ever seen the uh, speed run of Twilight Princess that involves uh, doing nothing for 28 hours straight? Uh, yeah. Uh, well, that sounds like a bad speed run strategy. <laughs> it, it's a doing speed run of. Hours. It's a speed run of doing the least amount of things possible. So you, it's like you pick up a rupee and in that screen where it's like, oh, you picked up the thing. Uh, Link actually moves like a pixel every like yeah. few minutes. So if you wait for 28 hours and he loses uh, collision too, you can just phase through a door so you can skip like three dungeons or something. Yeah. Really? Uh, still, it seems like 28 hours is way too much of a trade. Like the world record for Twilight Princess has to be less well, than yeah, oh, yeah. It's low percent. Yeah, it's it, a low percent speed run. Therefore, the thing that is accounted for first is how low the percentage is. And oh, so that also scores it. Okay. That yeah, so yeah. You, you collect and do as little as possible. So say she skipped three dungeons, that's so much less you didn't do. So it, yeah. it's, it's like an interesting loophole about it. I love I love, I, I love I love tricks like that being found. Like the speedrunning community is just some uh, of the, the... These are the people you want in the Pentagon, you know? It basically <laughs> killed the, uh, the uh, low percent uh, Twilight Princess speedrunning because now... The fastest is like thirty-two hours. Yeah, it, it, it's it's tricky to imagine. You know, still like twenty-eight hours. I imagine even like there are some people who can clear Breath of the Wild in under an hour with you know yeah. zero percent speed run. So it's kind of hard to imagine Twilight yeah, so, Princess taking so much longer than twenty-eight hours. Well, I mean, if you're doing an actual speed run, you can do it in it, like, yeah, it would probably be like a few hours. Few hours. But. If you're doing a low percent speed, run. yeah. Instead of instead of beating three dungeons, you just chill by a door for a day and a half. It's uh. To, it's, I wonder if you just use that to clip into Hyrule Castle if it will like register that. I mean, you probably could wait long enough, but that would probably be months with how slow you travel. Anyways, fuck. And on clips through the lockers in order to speed run towards ending four. <laughs> A few students start turning their heads. <laughs> eggs, eggs, nays are on to make them really get angry to slam them as hard as possible. You don't understand, I got speed run to the end of prom. Nacer is still frozen in place, staring at his outstretched hands with a thousand yard stare. Hey, isn't that the track team leader? Ah, oh, he's beating on that loser from the presentation, right? Hilarious. I could visit... Ow. I could visibly see Nazar's thought process on his face as he comprehends our current situation. If he cut off his wings, he'd probably be better at a track. Why Why would he cut off his... That's like cutting off your arms. To be better at track, sure. <laughs> why? What the reason he's so good at track is because of its fucked up wing. Like, what if it does something with aerodynamics? That or that's advantage? a lot or less mass. Or, be, or, yeah, it's like a lot less weight. <laughs> yeah, therefore, if he cuts them off, it's even less weight. But, think, yeah, but, that, but then that's cheating. You can't just cut off your, your wings and gain so less weight. But think it about it. I mean, Fang, like, we've had moments where Fang splays her arms and she hugs with them. The, these are prehensile to a degree. Think about how many nerve endings and muscle you got there. You can't just snip those off. I mean, you can snip anything off, I believe. Well, I'm... yeah, you can. <laughs> <laughs> just because you can doesn't mean you should. <laughs> They call my phones. I need to visit the hospital anyway. <laughs> Why? I'm gonna go clip off my wings. <laughs> nay, sir, no. Just because I'm broken doesn't need you. To, you need to be more so. What do you, you mean more so? Uh, 
Nothing. He regains control of his legs and hurriedly rushes through the crowd, pushing aside a few students. One or two classmates glance at me again, then continue on their way. While I'm checking for any more broken bones, my phone buzzes. Anyone beat you up yet? Concerned beak face? Uh... No. On an unrelated matter, have you spoke with Nasser recently? Told him I was staying here yesterday, but haven't checked his responses. Why, do I need to kill him or something? Concerned beak face? Dude face? Eh, not yet. Just think it might be a good idea to get in touch with him when you feel like it. I'll tell my dad to rape him, that'll just settle things. <laughs> again, your fa like... again, your family is very weird. I mean, who do you think you're fucking talking to? I might feel like it after I stop raiding your fridge. You know, if it wasn't for the fact you're pretty hot, I'd have second thoughts about this whole thing. Die. No, you. Touche. Glad to know she's Hi. still holding up. Ah, uh, shit. I'm not gonna have enough soda to last the week. If he cut his legs off, he would be in the Special Olympics. Those guys were more hardcore than he... I mean... If we go that route, wouldn't he, couldn't he already apply for special sports because of his screwed up wings? Uh, maybe because oh, well. not all dinosaurs have wings. Uh, maybe because not all dinosaurs have wings, they don't count wings being injured as a disability. He could be also, in the Special Taro Olympics. there are no Special Olympics in this world. Well, I mean, we haven't seen anything to disprove that there's no Special Olympics. But, like, in a world where everyone is so differently abled anyway, like... Special Olympics seems like a very nebulous concept that can't really work. We just have a separate Olympics for every dino species. Yeah. You kind of have to do it that way. Eh, I'll worry about that when I get home. Yeah, especially the Tyrannosauruses, because they're like born with a disability. Like their tiny arms are just objective. Arms, yeah. Their tiny little arms are just objectively inferior to any other now, dinosaur. I, I, now I want to see like a, a Tyrannosaurus do like the pole vault or something. <laughs> or just like d try to do like pull ups or something or like uh, the gymnastics where they spin around on the bar. I don't uh, know. I, I think it'd be even more impressive. Yeah, it just gets the gold for the effort. Uh, today needs to end now. I have a backpack full of missed assignments, including Mr. Suki's essay on the history of typefaces. Who the fuck cares about typefaces? A lot of people. Worst samurai English teacher ever. My ribs are burning as I heave a sigh. At least I can go home now. Or my hot taro GF is waiting. My hot tarot G girlfriend, who may or may not be having a mental breakdown in my apartment. T-Rex basketball. Oh, that'd be a that'd be a sport to see. Come on in the slam! <laughs> I have no fucking idea what to do with a fucking girlfriend. All those hours of dating simulators have not adequately simulated dating in the least. This is the exit the main doors volcano high. My phone buzzes against one particularly bad bruise on my leg. Fingers crossed it's Fang. We need to talk. Meet me in the auditorium. Oh, I'm going to die. You're gonna die, dweeb! Nazer's looking for your weeb ass! Ah. Best to get it over with now. I meander my way to the school's auditorium. And then I die. Some of the lights are off when I get there, but I can make out Nacer's outline among the front row seats. He has a turn to look at me when I enter or walk down the aisle. You, uh, wanted to talk to me? Oh, okay. I'll just leave then. I can see the gears in his head turning, but his expression is telling me he doesn't actually know what he wants to do. I'll keep my distance just in case. 
Why did you call me here? I didn't. I texted. Oh, okay. Just, why did Why did you uh, text me here? Uh, let me think. He sighs and turns to me. I shouldn't have pushed you earlier. Sorry, it was a moment of weakness. Eh, don't worry about it. I could take a hit or two. My equal strength is my weakness. <laughs> he silently nods. Yeah, I'm sure. He nervously chuckles. Look, and on. Uh, we're not working out. Aw, I thought we were starting to get a connection going. It's not you, it's me. Ah. Uh. <laughs> when you told me you think it just told her your feelings. I couldn't really describe it. Don't take it the wrong way, but I'm just screaming in the worst case scenario. Why is that? Uh, you know, don't take it the wrong way. And there's my sister we're talking about here. Oh, you're just being possessive. So? Fag said she likes me too. So we're dating now. I think. I think. <laughs> That's how it works, right? Nacer clamps his hands up to his crest. Dating. Dating. Sweet rapture, Jesus. Well, yeah, it's just us two, so of course it'd be even. Uh, okay. Why are you so surprised? I told you months ago I liked her, didn't I? Did he? Yes, you told me you liked her. I never expected her to like you back. Well, what's that supposed to mean? It means you're unlikable. Fair. Explain yourself now. I... I don't even really know how this happened. I, I mean, I barely even had friends before, let alone something romantic. Why would someone, anyone, no, want to go out? Why, oh. why would someone, anyone, want to go out with me? Me, Nacer. I wouldn't go out with me. If only because that'd just be very narcissistic. I'm not that far gone. I have no idea what I'm doing. Nacer leans back with a hand holding his beak. Man, you're worse off than I thought. Breathe, man. See, and now he's helping him. I am. It hurts. I went flying down a flight of stairs a few days ago. This isn't helpful advice. Are you going to the hospital? No. You should probably do that. Yeah, but... Jeez, at this rate, I'm going to be in the hospital. I'm going to be more concerned for you than Fang. Ah, glad to know you care. Like, thinking about being with Fang, a part of me is fucking exuberant to the point of being higher than Reed. Reed! But then I start thinking about how I don't know how to date, and I get so worried that I feel like I'm going to vomit. And then there's my heart being so hard that the fucking bruise and everything is fuck. Everything is fucking fuck, Nacer. Everything is fucking fuck. Breathe. I told Carefully. you it hurts. Carefully. I finally notice the black spots in my vision and gasp. <gasps> my lungs explode in pain and I falter back against my chair for support. And then he died because his lungs exploded. <laughs> is this a panic attack? Nacer, I think I'm having a panic attack. My head snaps to the side, and a fresh stinging pain blossoms on my cheek. I take the seconds of intense pain to focus and collect myself. Did you just slap me? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you call now? 
Not really. Kinda pissed you slapped me. Want another slap help? I just love his expression for saying that. You kinda deserve it for dating a sister. I'm calm. I'm calm. Oh, just because he's dating his sister, that gives him the right to slap? Yes. No, being Anon gives him a right to slap. Fair. An Anon's just a very slappable person. You got it right. You got it bad, Anon. Got what bad? You're in love with Fang. How is that bad? Because it's my sister. Oh. Fang, you both need help at this point. Now that's just uncalled for. It's true. Last thing you need is to be romantically involved. Well, if that's exactly what we need. Hmm. Just let me get this straight. You have never had a girlfriend before. Okay, rude. But yes. Ever. Yes. Why? Aside from being sad, <laughs> aside from being sad, that just makes it really not a good idea for you for what seems like a poor combination. That a challenge? Uh, are you even paying attention? I mean, kind of. Again, I'm, I'm not doing so great. I could be a great boyfriend. Just you watch. Oh my god. <laughs> it's like that just a non just gets full cocky. It's like, you know what? Fuck you. I'm great. You know what? You made me right. Huh? Maybe just the thing Fang needs is someone to support her. I, I clearly can't do anything, and neither can our parents or anyone we know. Thinking back to her a few days ago, she did shield you from the crowd and get you out of the auditory. I brought you off, but it's clear she cares for you. So you know what, Anna? I don't trust you. Do I? Naser gets up from his seat, motioning for me to follow. You get to know Fang a bit better, and in return, you need to keep your promise of being a great boyfriend, dude. God damn, absolute bro tier bro. <laughs> yeah, Naser's been a bro the whole game. It's just only now does it actually work out well. I, uh, yeah, thank you, Naser. Uh, where are we going? Uh, alternatively, uh, I also like you <laughs> and Naomi. Is there anything, anything there that we can work out? Just, just get like a whole family thing going. I love, okay, I didn't mean also include thing. <laughs> <laughs> Is it incestual if there's two people who aren't related involved? Yes! I mean, it depends on if the people that are related get involved with each other. I... Well, there's, there's no good way to tell that story. <laughs> well, that right, Wait a minute. To be clear, it's nobody I was related to. <laughs> Okay, good. That's a very good clarification to make. No, so this guy I knew, just I know, other guy. I know. <laughs> this, this other guy, Wrinkle. <laughs> I know of two people who are identical twins. Who, uh... yeah. Damn. Hmm. Sound like two girl twins, like a threesome. Two girls, yeah. Well, that's. I mean, that's 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 very regular. I would say, like that's like, that's like what most people typically think of when they think of twins. <laughs> Right, not just me. I'm not a freak who just think. Okay. Yeah, I mean that's. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. This is me. <laughs> Look at me, some surprise. <laughs> and I just like after that, Igly just got. I just, just what story? And that's a terrifying thing to say. <laughs> you know, sorry. <laughs> you you really after talking about it can't just say up. Oh, no, there's no way to do I tell that story and then just leave it. Yeah. No, I mean, 
Hey, it kind of gave us enough to go off of. It involved horny twins in a, th in a threesome. That's enough for the imagination. Is it? My imagination can work with it. <laughs> I don't know if you guys don't have the imagination. I mean, if you want more information, that's just greedy. <laughs> All right, anyways. Uh, I already said you're gonna need more supplies. Lies. I follow Nacer oh, to the parking lot where his half beaten car awaits. So, how do you like the change of the, how this scene went compared to the other times? Uh, I, I think it's good. It's, it's just like Hinkle said, it's just a reverse instead of Anon being the mature one and helping out Nazar, it's Nazar being the mature one and helping out Anon, which either way works. I liked, I really liked Anon maturing as, like, because he's the main character. It's really nice seeing Anon mature as a person in Ending 3 with him reaching out to help Nazar, who's clearly in need of it, but it's also cool seeing Nazar shine at, you know, being This is as, also as, Anon maturing in the sense that he's not just bottling it. Yeah, he's letting people out. Which, I mean, to be fair, he also did that in Ending 3, letting it loose out to Rosa. Way later, though. Yeah, way, way later, later on. And yeah. it was really, really like a push. It was a, it was a fountain rush. Like, right, yeah, yeah she, also had to, she also had to push for it really yeah. hard. A lot harder than this Anon did. Follow Nacer to the parking lot, where his half-beaten car awaits. Well, I love this song. All the songs are good. Oh, that's a annoying card. Sorry, listen up because this is all I really know. Wait, should I be taking? No. They only like sit the butt. Uh, okay, but how's that help with Fang? It's all I know. <laughs> <laughs> it's all she likes and on I try other things and she just wants it up the butt I try that I try <laughs> suggesting everything and she just wants it up there she just sucks all other thoughts from my mind <laughs> <laughs> first thing we should always have a great giant dino <laughs> dino nuggy still fucking kill it <laughs> Can't even finish it. It's also like this is like how to care how to care for your snoot girlfriend. Step one, make sure to have plenty of dino nuggies. It's their only food and sustenance. <laughs> the I can't even articulate. Like <laughs> It's too much. <laughs> I know monkeys, they're dinosaurs. <laughs> oh my god. Maybe she needs some human nuggies. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine like if we had human nuggies in our world, like <laughs> I mean we have like No, those are fries if they could have like emoji fries. <laughs> what? You haven't seen those? It's no. fries, but in the shape of emoji, so it's like a smile face or a frowny face or an angry face. Oh, oh yeah, I've seen those. They have, it's basically just chicken nuggets with like faces imprinted in them. Oh, I haven't seen nuggets. I've seen fries. Oh, okay. Well, I've also seen nuggies with faces in them. Uh, you should always have giant bag of giant diamonds in the fridge. With her name written on it with Sharpie. <laughs> She's racked up plenty of gir gir good girl points. If her name's not on it, she'll get in. If you want, she can't slim. It's all of. Yeah, that sounds like another challenge. What? Climb into the passenger seat as, Na as Nasser revs up the NASCAR. You know, if she counts the nuggies, do you think she eats them in a specific order? I can't imagine what you mean by that. What, like, you know, if there's dino nuggies, so naturally they'd be shaped like different dinosaurs. Do you think she eats, like, certain ones first? What if it's, like, multiples of the same? Like, if there's only so many dinosaurs. What if there's multiple T-Rexes? She's not going to know which T-Rex to eat first. No, I'm not saying, like, specifically, like, that specific. Like, do you think she eats, like, all the T-Rex nuggies before, like, the pterodactyl nuggies before the triceratops nuggies, like in that order. No, I don't think that. I 
feel like she might it, go. It, to... it could be a code for that way she knows when somebody's been taking into it. It's... it's also a thing you just need to watch for. It's something you can learn just by opening up the fridge and checking out her supply. It's... Not touching it, but just looking at it. <laughs> oh no, she ate oh, all... Cyphers. Oh no, she ate all the raptor nuggies. This isn't a good day. The car violently peels out of the parking lot. Nacer continue to round off a checklist of do's and don'ts for Fang, even as he takes me around various stores to stock up. 90% of it is the ins and outs of what dinosaur nuggets she likes to eat and how to eat them and what sauces she likes to eat with her dino nuggies. Specific brands. No, no discount dino nuggies now. The taste just isn't the same. Hi, Gexahorn. Glad you like the steam, the, the the title. It's it's only fitting for ending four. A more than just a dream. It's a snoot. Oh, she says she is not. She is lying through her teeth. Same thing she says she is not. Pretty, but uh, I don't know anything about that. <laughs> Most places know what you need if you say my girlfriend is hungry. <laughs> I just like to imagine you go to the fat the, the counter at like a fast food place. My girlfriend isn't hungry. Oh, don't worry, bro. We got you covered. Next, either get a good supply of earplugs or say goodbye to your sense of hearing entirely. She can and will stay up until 2 a.m. listening to music on full blast. Doesn't I should think part of this is Nazar testing you, like he's testing your resolve, just listing off all this shit. Like maybe only half of it is true, but he's looking to see how dedicated you are. <laughs> just really test. He's not quite doing the how... same level of testing as his dad does, but he's getting there. This is just how devoted he is to his sister. Nacer tells me more information about Fang that I probably should have known. Yeah, I thought it. And lastly, she will wreck your shirt at least once. Oh, that <laughs> scares me. Okay, do you mean that like in an accidental way, in an angry way, in a caring way? What what should I expect here? You know what I mean. I'm I'm confused, but also intrigued. What? Okay. This is actually my fifth jacket this semester. I uh, I I see. Ah, oh, so that confirms Nasser is just colorblind if he keeps getting this, these fuck ugly jackets. Also confirms that they're doing it. <laughs> so uh, I've got your blessing. If you help my sister Anna. Of course. I'll be the best boyfriend. Something about that just sounds really funny. What? You better, because otherwise it won't be me next time. What? It'll be the IRS. What? Wait, IRS? <laughs> Dad needs a new caddy. He'll probably ask you and then you'll go missing. Oh, is the golf course that big? Man, that sounds pretty luxurious. Almost so made out of the messy. Comes up your ass. <laughs> Just... My bag is made out of natural leather. <laughs> oh. Fuck. Oh no. Now tell me where your place is so I can drop you off. Nacer hesitates when I give him my address. Oh, fuck. Skin row, you know I should have figured, but still. He speeds off in the direction of my apartment with all the grace of a semi truck. I mean, you don't want to just assume every human you meet lives on skin row. I feel like that's kind of racist, but then you actually find out the truth. <laughs> they all do live on skin row. Once we reach my neighborhood, his driving gets even more erratic. The true skin row is the skin row <laughs> inside our heart. <laughs> Sounds like a medical condition. <laughs> uh, I'm Doctor, sorry. Skin on my heart. <laughs> you came down with skin row. 
never stopping at stop signs and staying just above the speed limit. Paranoid much? Acer finally comes to a stop in front of my building to let me out. Paranoids ate my pizza. Thanks for the ride, Nasser. And, uh, the fake stuff, too. The butt stuff, too. <laughs> yeah, I didn't need yeah. to know all that about Naomi. <laughs> you did, though. Nasser, Nasser's gaze is fixed on the building's doors instead. Yeah. So you're going up to see Fang now, huh? You know you could come talk to her with me, if you want. No, I mean, can't leave my car alone in this neighborhood. I don't want something bad to happen to her, right? <laughs> he tops it off with a less than genuine laugh. Ha ha! I did it! Nay, sir, your car is more dense than the most of the ones around here. Also, I need help carrying all this stuff. What? It's like four bags. You can carry it fine. Yeah, but I haven't gone to the hospital yet. Still, that with these crippling injuries. Oh man, man, you have to. Be. You slam, you slamming me into the locker didn't help either. I also didn't appreciate the slap. Just gotta add that on. Look at him confronting his people. Ah, uh, it's a miracle I'm still able to breathe. <laughs> Nasa rolls his eyes. Fine, I'll carry the crap, but only for a moment. I don't want to oh, get jacked. Jacked off. <laughs> he gets all the bags from the back seat, and I lead him up the stairs to my place. Nasser here is like, hey, Anon, I could tell you some things about Fang, so you could be a great babysitter. Oh, I mean, boyfriend. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> shoving, my shoving her off on you. Has Fang been doing already? Or... Eh, probably still a bit rattled. Wasn't in the best mood this morning either. Eh, probably a good idea to not get confrontational or anything. Yeah. Nacer nods, and I unlock the door. I hold the door open for Nacer. He hesitates to enter, so I look in to see Fang sat on my bed, mashing away on the Duke furiously. The Duke. Why is this controller so big? Oh my fuck, Nasser! Why? Why? why what so big? The oh, Duke. the controller. <laughs> uh, don't freak out. He's just here to wait. Why are you playing Rock Band with the controller? <laughs> you mean I was doing it wrong? Isn't this how you play Vidya? Did 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 you not see the guitar controller over in the corner? I thought that was a bobbit. You it know what? Like fair. A toy. I just thought you had a toy control. I thought I just thought you had a toy guitar around. Don't you play controller? Don't you play video games with controllers? Yeah, but that's a controller. No, it isn't. It looks like a fucking kitty cat. A kitty, like a my first Fisher's Price guitar or something. Exactly. No, see, it's a controller that shaped like a guitar for the guitar game. Anon, you're talking nonsense. I think you had a concussion. I mean, I probably do. Yes. <laughs> So then, you're then your opinion is worthless to me. And my account was locked. How did you even get that to start? Dude, your password was Rainbow. Who cares about that? Why is he here? I'm really hoping she didn't try that on the computer. <laughs> she didn't want to touch the cum thing. <laughs> also, password isn't a good password. No, but see... I mixed up the. Sh I, I, I put a. I put a capital P, instead, so it's not lowercase. See, that's what gets people. No, that's people just naturally put up the the uppercase of the first word. That doesn't fool anybody. Wait, really? <laughs> why am I? Why, why am I? My passwords are always entire sentences. Nacer waves dismissively. Wait, wait, on, you're welcome for a ride. You know Wait, sir. Nasser. He freezes halfway out the door. How much do you know? He knows way too much about Naomi's butt. 
<laughs> oh, I already, I, I already knew that. I meant about us, idiot. Everyone knows way too much about Naomi's butt. Uh -huh. I know way too fucking much about Naomi's butt, and I absolutely did not need to. Neither did I. Well, that's because you're spying on us. Uh, no. Not me and Anon. Anon killed me in earlier. You what? I told him. To be clarified, I filled him in by telling this information. <laughs> Oh, okay. You fucking told him? Fake, <laughs> Fake, don't worry. He's cool. <laughs> Planning on telling Dad I'm here, are you? Sex jokes. No way it wasn't. I'm serious. You can't tell him. He'd kill Anon. Oh, wait. He... He'd use him as a condom. Wait, 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 what? He'd use him as his new, his new golf club carrier, whatever the fuck those are called. Really? I wasn't going to tell. Please, Nazar, I need to know for absolute sure. He'll pick Anon into the next state. He'll use him like a pigskin. I, I'm kind of surprised Naomi got along fine. Like, did she have to go through this kind of hazing when he when she started dating you, Nazar? No, it's daughter issue. The daughter privilege. No, no, no. He tells, Na he tells Nazar how to fuck like a champ. It's just me. <laughs> God damn it, Fang. Why don't you trust me with even this? Nacer inhales deeply and turns towards the door. I can't even trust him to answer the fucking question. Sorry, I'm going now. I won't tell, I swear. Not that I don't trust you. It's just, I don't trust you. <laughs> I really don't trust you. He pauses again with his hand on the doorknob. Like Spears did numerous times in the past, I take hold of Nacer's shoulder. I offer a reassuring smile and nod back towards Fang. And then what? Why you hate me? Like being support, he's intentionally being supportive of the uh, him confronting her. I like that. You know, I don't hate you. Every time I see those, those, whoops. oh, those, your scars. I mean, I just remember that day back then. What? Oh, what does that have to do with anything? I mean, it's my fault, isn't it? I lied to you and you got hurt. It's like you don't blame me, even though you should. Everyone depends on you. You're the star player at school, but it's in spite of your family instead of because of it. You can't even bring yourself to hate me. And all this time, that's what this was about. Fang wipes away a tear with her wing and nods. Nacer brushes my hand off his shoulder and turns around. I don't hate you. I don't hate you because I don't blame you for anything, Fang. Back then, we were only kids. I was 11, 12. I was always thinking I'd done something wrong. Acted differently since then. I thought you hated me. I mean, look at this shit I've ruined for you. Band practices, shows, parties, hell, dates even. Oh. All I ever do is ruin things for you. 
And when I did, I'd always get told off by Trish. A part of me wants to groan at just the mention of her name. Oh, I think I did, since both Naser and Fang are looking at me. Ha ha ha. Need to ruin the moment, Anna. Real smooth, man. Real smooth. Oh, come on! You two are finally making progress! Yeah, and then you fucked it up. Way to go. Remind me why we're dating again? Hey, he's your boyfriend. Cards of Slark. Cards of Slark. Nice. What's that supposed to mean? The siblings chuckle lightly at my expense. The things I do for people. The things I do for people. <laughs> See, this is why I'm Mr. Nice Guy. Too nice. Things I do for tarot, pussy. <laughs> Once the laughter ends, Fang looks at Nasser. Nasser, for all of Anon's fault, I do really like him. For all of his many, 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 many faults. The many glaring, obvious faults that atrociously that horrible flaws, I do still like him. Y you can stop Which at any time, you know. That's okay, I just wanted it. You said you wanted us to make progress. This is me being honest. Hmm. Which is why I'd rather Dad not arrest him and kill him. I'd rather I do it. I know I haven't been a good sibling. But I'm begging you here, please. Told you before, I won't tell. Just be sure to come home later tonight. Fang hisses and looks away. Hisses. You are coming home tonight, right? What? What? You need to stay to look after my idiot boyfriend. I don't need ah. Ah! <laughs> chest poke. You failed. Fag withdraws her finger from the bruise on my chest. Fuck! God! God! Again with the tests? What am I supposed to tell Dad then? How? What have? How, what have you been telling him? Dad, I've been staying at Naomi's place for a group project. Naomi. Yeah, I know, I couldn't believe he bought it either. <laughs> I can't say I'm staying at Trisha Reed's place. Naomi? If I told Dad I was staying at Anon's place at Skin Row, what do you think would happen? Okay, fair point. All the humans would be gone. He'd reach up inside Anon and turn him inside out. That's what would happen. You have very descriptive ways of describing how your dad will mutilate me. Very descriptive ways of how he's going to mutilate you. I... never mind. <laughs> what? <laughs> Nothing. It's just, his description reminded me of a dream I had once. <laughs> we had a dream where he got turned inside out? Like Hellraiser. More or less. Are you actually okay with staying here, though? Fag shrugs and looks away. Morning when I'm all alone. You go to school, you dumb bitch! Fuck you! You can educate. <laughs> and Fuck there's you, Angle, specifically, as <laughs> beyond the fourth wall. Fuck you, fourth wall, that I'm looking at right now, looking directly <laughs> at Angle disdainfully. See? <laughs> and also, there's not much to eat here. Ah, well, let's fix that last part then. I get a questioning look from Fang as I take one of the grocery bags from Nasser. I know nuggies! Ah! I know nuggies! Her eyes instantly lock on the hefty bag of dinosaur-shaped chicken nuggets I take out. I have so many good girl points to trade in right now. Oh. <laughs> Are you... <laughs> Are you gonna stay for dinner, Nasser? He has no good boy points. Uh-oh. 
<laughs> Whoa. <laughs> the loud blaring of a car alarm has Nacer drop the rest of the bags onto the floor and rush out the door. Everyone do the dinosaur. <laughs> oh, wait, that's for tonight. Ha <laughs> ha! Uh -huh. the NASCAR! Huh. Guess he wasn't wrong about the carjacking thing. They're jacking off of my car! I turned back <laughs> to- I turned- Just a bunch of demons fucking outside jacking off of my car. <laughs> I turned back to Faye. Damn car jackers! <laughs> Who's currently writing her bag on the name of Tenders. And mine. Fang, you can't hog... Mine. <laughs> Did you just hiss at me? Mine. Mine. God damn, maybe he was serious about it being over if I touched those. We ended up watching Top Spear until midnight while Fang hogged her bag of nuggies. Top Spear. Top Gun, I'm guessing. Oh. Probably, yeah. Yeah, so see? There you, you finally got to see what that the talk was. The, was. Yeah. That was the talk I was looking for. I was excited. I was excited because that's exactly what I was wanting in ending three, but I just had to wait a little bit. We had to wait for the best ending to get it. I wonder if it that's went. I mean, it still worked out either way, but I wonder if it went better here than in Ending 3. Just because of the fact, you know, like... It, it, it's very hard to say because I assume Uncle Mo, being familiar with both of them, probably had more to say and probably was able to, you know, have the experience of where to lead the direction. But I'd say it yeah. worked out pretty well either way. I mean, it still worked out, but you know, I'm just thinking because, you know, there's like a way of, you know, talking when you have, like a guardian figure versus talking when it's basically just you two and you're going to be a lot more open in that sense. Yeah, I guess that is also that. Uh, it being in a clue. You're talking about like being in Anon's apartment? Yeah. Well, I, also, I think, I mean, I think Anon knew just as much about them at that point as uh, Mo did. Well, I, I think, I mean, in, in, in Ending 3, we didn't get the uh, rooftop conversation all the way, so we don't know, yeah. like, the catalyst of why they are why they broke apart. And Mo probably knows that. Mo probably yeah. knew them since before that point. I mean, it's probably because maybe there's something like, you know, Mo would get them to talk about, oh, I don't actually hate you. Oh, I don't, act, like, you know, oh. And then they get through that and realize, oh, it's misunderstanding. Whereas here, they kind of actually focused on the topic of that time oh, all those years ago. Oh. Oh wait, this is the problem. You two are idiots who don't know how to talk to each other. That's okay, I can figure this out. <laughs> also, this this also does make more so why they would change. So you need to have the rooftop scene for ending four because otherwise, you you would if you didn't have that, you'd kind of be lost of you oh, know, yeah, the that time is that, eleven is that years ago. Is yeah, that they're uh, this. I can't remember if it was one of the devs or someone else saying in the chat last week that th that was one of the changes they made for this last patch. So now you need the full rooftop scene in order to get ending four. Yeah, so you still need the four four points for each and the rooftop scene in some way. Boom, boom, laka 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 boom. Honestly disappointed there wasn't a walk the dinosaur joke anywhere. In what was there? Re is there really not a joke anywhere in the game, Bongo, like that? Well, why would they write a song about walking the dinosaur when all the dinosaurs are still walking? But it's, it's, the whole point of everyone do the dinosaur, there's so much pun you can work off that. Like how I, mean, I just did. Had, uh, him dropping it's something actually, on the I floor mean, and going out it, the door. It was, I mean, if I if I remember the song lyrics correctly, it isn't do the dinosaur, it's walk the dinosaur. Yes, everybody do the dinosaur. I thought it was open the door, get on the floor, everyone do the dinosaur. Because it's like the, di the, dinosaur. the dinosaur is a dance. Hold I sec, think you're sec. wrong, Shiba. No, no, hold on a sec. I can, I can, uh, I can, I can repeat the lyrics, and I quote: "Open the door, get on the floor. Everybody walk the dinosaur. Open the door, get on the floor. Everybody walk the dinosaur." Hold, hold, hold on. I, I don't, I don't believe you. I don't believe. Me, I, I swear to God, let me get the lyrics. Walk the dinosaur. Everyone, uh, everyone walks. Okay, you wanna, you wanna, yeah. You want to? Do you want to walk? Do you want to walk, Fang? Because you can do that. Uh, no, that that that's a that's a kink that's a little beyond beyond me right now. Wait, a way to show off your plebeian taste. <laughs> Live in front of everybody. What a fucking idiot doesn't even have a kink. <laughs> no, there, I, I mean there, there's kink, but uh, we're not gonna get into those. Whoa, whoa! I'm looking through the lyrics for the song. It just starts going to everyone kill the dinosaur. What? I never knew that. 
Oh yeah, open the door and get on the floor. Everybody kill the dinosaur. Why? Why, <laughs> why is the song into that? Where, why? I didn't need this information. Where's the dinosaur? Here's how, it go, here's how it goes into it. A shadow from the sky, much too big to be bird. A screaming, crashing noise louder than I've ever heard. It looked like two big silver trees that somehow leaned to learn to soar. Suddenly a summer breeze and a so, mighty lion so roar. The whole song I is the dinosaur. The whole song is from the point of the meteor? Kill the dinosaur. I don't know, I'd have to I'd have to read through the full song. I wasn't aware about the kill the dinosaur lyrics at the end. Hmm. <laughs> I wonder if that will be the credit song for Goodbye Volcano High. <laughs> if they could pull that off, that might be a redeeming factor for the game. Oh uh, yeah, see here we go. There's a better thing, uh, Gexord suggests. Yeah, you don't you don't walk Fang. Have had Fang walk on you. Do we, do we know that the game is going to end with the meteor? They, they did recently. Well, not recently. A few over the summer, changed their little trailer tagline at the end to say, "You guys know what happened to the dinosaurs, right?" Uh huh. So it, it's still hard to tell if they're being ironic with that or not. Yeah, it's probably going to be like, oh yeah, they, they got abducted by aliens. Or, then, or the like... meteor is just a metaphor or something. I was ready for an une uneventful day of school. In fact, I'd be extremely happy if it was. This entire week has been the most dramatic in my life. Even the walk to school was dramatic, with Fang escorting me as if she was Secret Service. Well, now I just want to see Fang in a tux now. Glasses and everything. Just doing finger guns at everyone. Choo, <laughs> In English, I still try to catch up with the rest of the class. In any other class, I'd have caught up, but Mr. Suki is an absolute slave driver. It's racist. Oh, no, it's not. Not racist if he was a slave. Yeah, hey, he's a samurai. My phone buzzes, and I try to tell myself it's not worth getting distracted. The next question is on Seraph's history, however, and I decide it's not worth it. <laughs> what? What's with the pipe faces? Ugh. Please tell me your morning is going better than mine. Could be better. Why? I didn't even think of Trish. She, she hasn't seen me in two days and is trying to bother me with band stuff. She's really not taking me taking a break well. Oh, you serious about quitting music and all that? What? Surprised beak face? Why would I quit music? Just taking off from the band for a while. Ah. I think Trish gets the memo now, though. Apparently, Cold Shoulder works wonders on her. Oh, you think that'll work for long? No, lol. <laughs> we'll have to make this. Uh, we'll have to make distance at lunch. Let's see you on the roof or something. Good idea. She doesn't respond further, so I turn my attention back to the assignment. Oh, so that's what Trish needs—is the Cold Shoulder. Seraph no, thought. that's just when her antics bubble. Oh yeah, it's gonna explode because that actually happened in, in 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 ending three is that she got ignored for a while and then fucking a shit yeah. show happened. In so far as the Snoot devs know, when they talked about it in an interview, the meteor was going to be metaphorical. The better the story went, the more the meteor would break apart. Oh. Oh, so it'd be like. If you did good, nothing would happen, but if you screwed up, everyone dies. Just everyone like in this. Dies. <laughs> that, I mean, that could be an interesting way if they actually go through with it and have varying endings instead of just, oh, binary one ending, oh, no meteor, and then the other, oh, meteor hits. Or so even. What you're saying <laughs> is you want a non binary ending. <laughs> 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 okay. I, I played myself there. I want at least a quadrary ending. Or at the very least, I guess, since, I mean, most people joke about being dinosaur life is strange better than that, where it's just at the very end, do you save the town from the tornado or do you not? And nothing else mattered. Awful, do you help your awful friend instead of saving all the townspeople? <laughs> 
What's the deal with the typefaces? One dev had a teacher that put up a documentary of typefaces whenever he got pissed at the class with a quiz ready or for whatever 30 minute segment the class was at. The class learned very quickly not to cross the teacher. <laughs> oh, I love that just torturing the students with typefaces. Also, hey, Anon. I like how there's actually an answer for my question. Hello, mis <laughs> Hello Mr. Muss. Seraphons can be broadly classified into one of four subgroups. Old style, transitional, diadone, and slab serif. In order of fur- No. No, no, no. Just writing a review of Bic, a, a post-paleo RPG here. <laughs> Bic, uh... Post- Post-paleo, that would seem to suggest post-nuclear RPG like Fallout, but Bic isn't really a Fallout pun. It's- it's Yik, a post-modern RPG. Oh, okay. I passed the assignment. <laughs> oh, God, could you imagine just shitposting a, a game for an assignment, you just pass it anyways. After a torturous science period where Fang poked by bruises whenever she got bored, lunch came around. That sounds adorable. It's kind of cute. But... I'd, lo I'd love to go through that. Fang and I got plates of country fried steak and started heading up to the stairs, chattering about possibly seeing a movie this weekend. Seemed like, seemed like a con fan. Did Nacer say that? Maybe. Come on, it looked like it'd be a great movie. Yeah, it is. Before I can retort, I hear footsteps rushing in from behind. <laughs> I'm not ready. <laughs> dino mod for Fallout. I mean, I, I wouldn't be surprised. I would be surprised if there isn't a dino mod for that game, or unless you mean specifically Snoop Dinos. Dang, I thought we'd be hanging out in the auditorium, you know, like usual. Nope. Fang doesn't even bat an eye and continues up Ooh. the steps. Man, that's frigid. What's cooler than cold? Fang. <laughs> Wanna know what really killed the dinosaurs? My cold shoulder. Oh, so that's where the Ice Age is from. What, dude? Trish follows even as Fang starts taking the steps two at a time. Oh, that's supposed to be. Okay, hold on. everything's wrong again. I don't. Every, everything's crashing. All right. Fang, come on! If the door was still there, I'm pretty sure Fang would have kicked it open. Instead, she quickly turns with a huff and starts to scale the ladder one-handed. I also see that a hole isn't fixed yet. <laughs> Before Trish can pull it, I pu can climb it. I pull myself up the ladder awkwardly. Each step up a rung, I need to pause. The rough movements causing bouts of pain across my chest. Trish growls as I take my time climbing up. Halfway up, I'm able to hand Fang my tray of food and scale the ladder at a slightly faster snail's pace. A slightly faster snail. Once I'm at the top, I swing my legs onto the ladder, blocking Trish from climbing up too. But she's adorable. Asshole, let me talk with Fang. Hey, no one. Can't no, no, no way theaters with easily accessible fire exits? You're kidding, of course I do. Sweet, what? saves me some money. Okay. They're just gonna sneak in. And on, I swear to fuck. I swear to fuck. <laughs> I will fuck. I swear it. <laughs> One day. Snore, she's fluffy. Thank <laughs> <laughs> please, just say something. Something. I can tell Fang is getting annoyed at Trish not taking the hint. Trish, I just don't want to see you right now, okay? But why? I'm your best friend. Were. I still need some time away after what you did, okay? 
What about Reed? What about the Verm drama? We can't perform with just the two of us. I think you should leave, Trish. I think you aren't thinking straight. Well, yeah, because she's non-binary. You need to think more gay. <laughs> we need to come back to... Trish. Her voice is a calm fury, cold and collected and bitter. I like the screen darkened a little bit with that. Yeah. I am trying to have lunch. I have not had a single dino nuggy all day long with my boyfriend that you just humiliated in front of everyone barely two days ago. I am perfectly capable of deciding for myself if I want to take a break. If and when I want to get back into the band, I will talk to you. For now, all you're doing is pissing me off and ruining our lunch together. Leave. Now. Triss's jaw hangs open, a barely audible squeak of protest escaping from her. It's adorable. She wipes a tear away with her jacket sleeve and shimmies down the ladder. I'm sorry. Fang waits until her footsteps quiet before letting out a sigh. Thank God, changing the weather is not easy. <laughs> I'm surprised she could do that. That hurt. That hurt a lot. Fang's hand finds mine and grasps it. Her grip is feather light, and I can feel her shuddering breath as a shiver in her palm. I offer her silent reassurance, my fingers curling around her hand softly. Do you think I fucked up? I consider for a moment. I mean, yeah, dating him is a pretty poor decision. We're, <laughs> we're here now. <laughs> it's a trick question. Don't fall for it. While Trish did mess up big time, she's still Fang's best friend. It wasn't all malicious, just misguided. Maybe some time apart will help both Fang and Trish. Maybe, but... You know. I know you can hear this, though. Yeah, you're mumbling really loudly this time. <laughs> Fake simply rolls her eyes. You don't have to tell me what I'm doing. I can obviously feel that I'm rolling my eyes. You don't have to describe it. Such a dweeb. Yep, but I'm your dweeb. Unfortunately. She held my hand the entirety of lunch. Yes. Which was nice. Oh, good. I'm happy it was nice. I was afraid it wouldn't be. <laughs> but it made eating my mediocre steak fucking difficult. Well. Yeah, there's another improvement compared to the ending three face-off between the two of them. Yeah, Fane yeah. got to tell her she fucked, uh, to tell her to fuck off herself. Yeah. <laughs> Much more mature and handled it better. Yeah. yeah. I thought it was more, the amending three definitely had a lot of emotion to it, though, that I liked. Hmm. Yeah. Like it's very, I think it's very comparable to ending three. Fang and I have been together for a month now. And right now, I'm going to win our prank war. She may have gotten me with that stupid kiss prank. How the hell she found a mousetrap that small, I'll never know. Maybe the fifth time around, I will. But I got a special packy treat for her today. I swear, Anon, you will get ending five with me right now. Yeah. Oh, is that... When, yeah, when you were saying, I swear to fuck. Uh oh. <laughs> God, I would love that ending, too. No, you don't want ending two. <laughs> <laughs> I would love that ending as well. For once, I can use my weebiness for the greater good. I mean, you know, they did have sex in ending two, so it's better than ending No, they one. had it. Oh, sorry, they had sex in ending one. Yeah. yeah. That's why it was better than ending two. Hey, sweet tooth. Fang groans at the pet name. Honestly, that hurt for me to say, too. I considered using her mom's pet name after the last time. I didn't want to tempt her, though. Phase one complete. She's too distracted to check the box in my hand. Want to play the Pocky game? How do you play that? 
Well, I hold one of these. I take one of the green sugary sticks from the box and hold the plain end by my teeth. Retrieve my teeth. Then you have to take it with your lips. And try to bite off as much as you can without touching my face. Fang narrows her eyes in suspicion, but then cautiously moves her head towards mine. It's just chocolate. She moves in and crunches down on the pocky stick centimeters from my face. This time, like, it, it's like, haha, I tricked you. It's actually my semen. <laughs> <laughs> it's a different version of the prank. <laughs> This is so salty. <laughs> Jackpot. <laughs> her face immediately contorts. Her face contorts almost immediately as she spits it out on the floor. What the f is that? Where do you even get those? So I took a long time Melik making the chocolate last night. Uh oh. <laughs> I barely could take my. How did you dip it in there? Very carefully. See, there's this thing called sounding. Oh, no, no, no! <laughs> I barely could tell you my laugh as Fang downs the rest of her coffee to get the taste out of her mouth. I mean, she should just get used to it sooner or later. Let's just say Stella gets all sorts of weird snacks from Japan. Like wasabi pocky sticks. Oh. Fang looks ready to strangle me, but I still have one card left to play. Hey, I got amnesty for today. It's April Fools. Payback for that mouse trap from the other day. You put one mouse trap in your boyfriend's dick and he gets all uppity. <laughs> Good. How do you find one that small? I mean, I mean that big. I mean, oh, it was huge. <laughs> she growls at that and jabs me in the shoulder. I guess I deserve that much. Before I can make my retort, an announcement comes in over the speakers. Oh god, is it that kind of stream now? Always has been. <laughs> oh my god. Who has the gun? <laughs> the thing. <laughs> oh no. Alright, everyone. What's it up? No more semen pocky sticks. Oh, the school has to make a statement about that. <laughs> How the fuck is giving these out? Uh, <laughs> I know Nuggies. I'm sorry. <laughs> I wonder if Spears is eating Dino. <laughs> Put it, putting cavemen at the top of the food chain. <laughs> Next month will be what is possibly the highlight of your time here in Volcano Live. I said it tomorrow. Selling fucking tickets. Something, something, another semen joke. So get those formal fucking hands ready. Send them to the laundromat. The PA system ending chime ushers in a moment of complete silence. Then, all at once, the chatter starts. Oh man, oh man, oh man, I gotta go ask him to go with. Oh, I even have a dress good enough for. Uh, tickets are pretty expensive. I'll pass this. Everyone seems excited about the sudden news. Prom, huh? I guess I wouldn't mind going if it's with Fang. What would she wear? Actually, scratch that. What would I wear? I can't afford a decent outfit. Hmm. Maybe I'll mail... <laughs> Wait, what was that? Wear her. <laughs> oh, yeah, just swap outfits. <laughs> like a hat. Maybe I'll mail home and ask Dad for his old suit. Coupled tickets are like a hundred bucks, though. Or a hundred bucks, too. I'm sure I could make it work if I needed to. Hey, Fang. Settle down, students. There will be a time to scheme your night of debauchery later. We still have a lesson to get through. Finish this and chatter all you need. Oh, we could be dead by the time of the end. lesson ends. Oh what? God, what kind? Of, what kind of lessons are we doing here? Uh, 
Nuclear science? Class collective. The class collectively throws their heads back to groan. No, fiddlesticks. It's only two pages of particle physics. Oh god, that still takes forever. You Surely that's some kind of joke, but I don't get it. You have a spare railgun in your backpack? We can oh. shoot the teacher. I'll railgun you. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Professor Fursworth passes out the assignment and returns to his desk for a quick nap. Particle physics isn't too hard, or tedious than anything. Hard. I should finish pretty quickly unless something comes up. Uh, and on, remind me, what's a quirk again? Ah, right, the something. Superpower. Okay, yeah, so you it's see... Like the, it, it's in that gay anime you like. What's it? What is it? Okay, well, first of all, it's not gay. It's pretty, it's called Fujo. I'm pretty sure what? those two main characters are pretty gay. What? How? Because they're always yelling at each other. They're always talking about how they want to, you know, surpass each other. That's a fucking total You're talking about Bakugo. Wait, who, yes. who'd you think he was talking about? Uh, also, Fujo's pretty gay. Ochako. Uh, Uraraka. She's our main character. What? Take that back! <laughs> no. <laughs> her, her cuteness makes her a main character. She she might be main girl, I guess, but not main character. Just don't agree. Oh, right. right. Lab partners. I almost forgot because she wasn't poking my bruises. It's bored after you get used to them. <laughs> about 15 minutes into the assignment, the two of us are just about done. We're making surprisingly good time. Um, and you said the electrons hold the negative charge, right? Yeah, yeah. Are you uh, positive about that? <laughs> Actually, no, I'm starting to think I'm more neutral. I can't imagine when I'd be using this crap in real life. I mean, it's great for scientific puns, but what else is it good for? I mean, you never you know. More? You might shrink one day. Yeah, and you might stop pretending you're live streaming on Usenoot. Never. Th that ad revenue will kick in one day eventually. You, know, you don't literally have to describe every single thing you see everyone doing under your breath. Uh, well, well, first of all, that's an underlying condition. Please don't bring that up. No. <laughs> as far as Sorry, you. Too snoot. Too snoot. Too snoot. Too snoot. Too snoot. <laughs> as far as you know, I might be giving you incorrect answers. You know. Sure. I'm sure. I'm positive. Just like the just like the electrons. No. 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 <laughs> you didn't learn anything. Well, fuck the science. Hello, my name is Science. Yeah. Fuck this city. <laughs> the teacher is making his rounds, checking on the students, and get star desks. Oh, well, that's me. Hello, Anon and Fang. Yeah, you two get me along well. Yes, yes Dr. Dr. Farnsworth. Great to hear. You know, I'm real proud of you two. <laughs> Did any of your teachers ever care about, like, your emotional development this much? Uh, one, one. teacher cares about fonts and the other one says that nothing matters so no i meant in real life oh in real one, life like i had one teacher i had a my choir teacher in middle school was the single best teacher in the world and she was very very attentive like that i know i was like commenting on being proud of them just developing as humans like well, maybe not on such a intense level as what we're seeing in this game but i was a. Uh, she was proud of me because I was kind of shy in middle school and I was getting to talk to more people by the end of it and she kind of helped me with, you know, try, trying to push me in that direction and she told me she was proud of me at the end of that, so I really liked her for that. She was a good, she was, she was a good teach. I, I don't, I never had a, I never had a teacher that got to that level, but I did have, you know, a lot, the way I went to school, the teachers were kind of pretty bro tier, so not necessarily a, like this involved, but, you know, I'd be like, hey, good job. Yeah, look now, look at you. 
the two of us cringe. Yes, I also cringe at your love. <laughs> uh, thanks. At any rate, you two understand the material, right? Oh, uh, yeah. Correct. Fang and I are fine. I was just helping them with a few problems. Phew. Remembered it this time. Good, good. I won't keep you any longer, then. Birdsworth meanders to pester the next few students. Anyways, where were we? I turn back to Fang and her mischievous grin. What? Her grin only grows. What? What's with the look? She shakes her head and covers her mouth. Does, did I say something funny? Oh god, do I not hear my own mumbles now? Oh, you ignorant slut. <laughs> Notice something about me? Anything at all. You get uh, one chance. Um, uh, get a haircut? Let's try, but no. Did you get more than one haircut? I said you had one chance. Oh. Why do you have feathers on your elbow anyways? God, no, I'm not actually NB, Anon. What? Oh, she! Oh. Still, why do you have feathers on your elbows? I don't know, why don't you have any eyeballs? I, I have them, they're just only around sometimes. Fang rolls her eyes and digs her feathered elbow into my side. She actually did it. All right, all right, I get it. Just joking around. Shame your jokes. Shame your jokes suck. Maybe your comic comedic taste sucks. I'm Maybe. pretty sure it's you. We chuckle together. Something, something suck joke. So, like, I could say you're my girlfriend now. Fang blushes a little. You always could, dumbass. Even just... before we were we were going out. I've, the... I've called you my boyfriend like three times already. Of course you can. Oh, that was boyfriend without a space. The blush becomes. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead. No, you go ahead. The blush becomes contagious, and I find myself looking back at the worksheet. Girlfriend. Suddenly, I'm feeling squeamish all over again. I mean, we went on dates before, but she's never straight up said she's my girlfriend. Now I'm on the spot. Uh, it only makes sense that I ask her to prom, right? This is definitely all loud. <laughs> Why am I getting so worked up all again all of a sudden? Oh, this is ridiculous. I'm just gonna ask. Hey, Fang, you... We're going to prom together, right? Uh-oh. Yeah, totally. And I can afford the fucking tickets this time. I don't think it's weird how this principal isn't okay with semen-flavored poppy sticks, but he is okay for some reason with suits made specifically for fucking in mind. I guess maybe there's some consent involved. I mean, to be cool. fair, I don't know who else is handing out semen-flavored poppy sticks around here. Well, he was asking about them, so I assume it's an issue. Hmm. I mean, like he said, Stella's getting some weird. I, I mean, there. I was asking around how to do it to a lot of people, so maybe something happened. They're specifically anon to semen. <laughs> <laughs> Just... I was gonna ask if you wanted to go at all. Of course I do, but do you want to go? I mean, only with you. That's yes, an adorable you're... answer. Yes or no, dork? Yes. Right answer. That wasn't so hard, was it? Like plucking <laughs> feathers. Oh, wait, too soon. Wow, true. No. <laughs> she playfully elbows me again. Oh, thank God she's over it. <laughs> I think I get the feathers on the elbow thing now. Because those fucking things dig in. Ow. 
you even have something to wear? I was gonna ask my dad for his old clothes. You sure? I could ask Nazar for his old stuff. Tail and wings. Oh, right, right. What about you? You actually gonna wear a dress? I've got this sick looking dress shirt. Nah, my shirts suck. Oh, going topless. <laughs> Fuck off, man. I'm... Wings again? Wings again. At least I can wear a backless dress. I cut my chin and try to picture the dress. The heat creeping up on my face tells Fang exactly what I'm thinking. Damn human skin. I grin and nod approvingly. And earn a third elbow to my side. Wait, hold on. Do you still go by Fang, at least? Why wouldn't I? Ah, cool. Just checking. Taking it one step at a time, you know? There's only about ten minutes left of class. Are we going to have enough time to finish the assignment? Ah, shit. Yeah, forgot. Flip over the page to reveal the entire second half of the assignment. It's got to be close, though. Fang scoots her chair closer to me. They'd be doing better if they studied! Science! No time to waste on science, though, huh? Splitting the questions between us, Fang and I are able to finish the assignment seconds before the bell. See, oh, Hinkle? Cool. They didn't study, but they worked together to finish it still, unlike every other ending. That's, that is... Also, that's cool. I'm, uh... I, I myself am a bit of an ignorant slut IRL. What is an NB? Non-binary. Yeah, she's... N -B. Oh, NB. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it's the phonetic written out. Oh, I'm curious. Is there, like, an actual thing about her uh, model that changed to indicate she's no longer non-binary, or is, it, is, is she missing a uh, band around her hand? No, I, think I mean, no. I thought it was that band, but that's, like, from a concert, so... I'm just I curious how she, was, how, how she expected you to guess. It was a test. <laughs> or maybe just him paying attention somehow. I just never did. We're just fucking with him. <laughs> yeah, I think it's just uh, yeah. Somehow. Also, I just I just fucking love that insult. And on, you ignorant slut. <laughs> I it, I love that. It's one of my favorite an insults. Anchorman reference. A what? An Anchorman reference. And the Office. Jane, you ignorant slut. <laughs> we were. I was just talking the other day about how much I hate that movie. Yeah. Yeah, I saw that. I, I, I went to bed before I read the whole conversation, but I was surprised. I love Anchorman. I love Anchorman 1. Anchorman 2 is pretty mediocre. I just don't like movies with terrible people that don't have a straight man to make it less terrible. I didn't, like I said, I didn't read through the full conversation. I know that I, they sort of interchange straight men. Like, occasionally, Ron Burgundy is the straight man to the other people's insanity, and then sometimes they're the straight man to his insanity. It's like it, it, it circles around the straight manness. It's actually logical. Fang is more like a nickname for now. I, yeah, I got, never thought about that aspect of it. She's gone by Fang for so long, or who knows how long by now. Changing up would be a little confusing. Also, it's a cool name. My mother, uh, for some arbitrary reason, decided she didn't like her first name and started going by her middle name. I mean, some um, people do that. Yeah. So, yeah, and people just re-identify themselves. Although that confused me for a lot of my life, because she then proceeded, when she got married, she made her, what used to be her middle name, the name that she went by, her first name, uh, and made her maiden name her middle name, and then her last name, you know, my yeah. dad's last name. Uh, so for a lot of my life, I thought that's just how it worked, and that like women lost their identity when they got married. <laughs> they just evolved. I mean, in a way. <laughs> <laughs> like their entire identity shifts one to the left, and their old first name is gone now. We walk through the hall together, at least until we have to split to our separate classes. Hey, wait! You did the word search bit this time, right? thought you said you were terrible at those. You believe me up to this point. Oh, that's evil. <laughs> I feel used. 
<laughs> That's because I used you. <laughs> I'll get you, folk. Fang, there you are. A moment, please. Used you like a tool. We turn to see yeah. Princi Principal Spears trailing behind us. Yeah? I was planning on asking you during your next class, but since I found you here... I'm embarrassed to say, let me see one event slot during prom. Scheduling error, you see. And your teacher, Mr. Jingo, recommended you for your musical talents. Your musical talents. Because you use them to pluck the strings. Ah, yeah, I get musical it. Musical talents. I'll give them that. Yeah, I got it. I got it. <laughs> I'm not asking you to make your decision right now, but if you'd consider helping her perform a musical number or two, that would help monumentally. Oh. Fag's going to play for the school? If Fang agrees to... Well, uh... Sure. Yeah, I'd love to do some st songs for prom. Fantastic news, Fang. When can you... When you can, please swing by my office. Thank you, Principal Spears. I'll come after school today. Spears nods and heads off. Now I really have to get a good dress. I thought you had one. Party dress isn't a performance dress. It's like, you know what I mean, right? I guess. Right. You don't seem as excited as last time you got somewhere to play. You know, I mean, last time I had a whole band to play with, though. You sure you'll be all right playing solo? Probably. I'll also need to practice a lot more. You'll help me, right? Of course. As long as you don't need me up on stage with you. I'm trying to keep the crowd from throwing things this time around, actually. So if you could just get in front. Bite me. Speaking of. I'm talking about lunch, <laughs> idiot, not now. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'll see you at lunch, right? Yeah, of course. Aww. Yep. It's also right now. <laughs> Fake pecks me on the cheek and starts down the hall for, to her next class. That was adorable. I feel my lips spread into a grin. It's kind of weird to think of it, but I'm actually excited for prom. Bullshit. Man, I hope Dad's suit has actually been to the cleaner. I don't want to disappoint. Every day after school for the next few weeks, I would join Fang to see help her practice. Some days we would go to her place, and other days her father was home early. Those days, Fang would politely ask Nacer to drop her off at my place. The bribes to keep it from her dad stopped being necessary after the third time. I wonder how big the bribes were. One dino nuggy. Oh man, that's a lot. Oh, that's that's <laughs> that's intense for her. The practice it's like camping. The practice because it's intense. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 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 The practice sessions themselves were long and arduous. Sessions would go on until either her dad kicked me out or sundown. Fang would play for hours on end, occasionally stopping to let me try and to take a break. Despite my warnings, she'd play until her fingertips were red and raw. I decided it was time for a real break once I ran out of band-aids. I got blisters on me fingers! My great idea was to take out a map of the city I had since I moved in and throw a dart at it to decide where we'd go for the day. There's lot, ne lots of neat places in the city for dates. The mall, the arcade, a local amusement park. Your mom's house. <laughs> and the dart landed in the ocean over the dock. 
<laughs> the look from Fang told me she wasn't stepping anywhere near a tuna boat. I mean, you can't what tuna piano, like? but you can tuna fish. What? I said, what does that look look like? <laughs> a look saying, I won't go in a tuna boat. <laughs> When it's you, a very precise stare. You can only learn from from playing uh, for for dating Snoot Girl a certain amount of time. White when you see it, you know. <laughs> the aquarium, it is. Are you brave enough to to a shark? Do to a shark. I'm guessing that's touch, but it's cut off. Uh, probably. So here we are inside after paying admission. Would you a shark, Anon? No, he's got a tarot. I wonder if there are any Mosasaurus dino people. Mosasaurus is the single coolest aquatic dino. Which one's the, that again? It was in Jurassic World. It was the one in the water. Oh, I didn't see Jurassic World. The and absolutely massive fucking alligator looking thing. Oh. It's, pretty fun. it's basically a T-Rex, but made for water. Ah. One of the few dinosaurs that actually learned how to give live birth, actually. Really? You just learned how to give live birth. Yeah, I, learn is obviously not the right yeah. word, but I understood what he meant. That does be an interesting uh, situation for evolution to push it to that. Yeah. Also, plesiosaur dino people. Or brachios. I mean, uh, uh, would a brachio dino person still have their extra long neck? <laughs> Yeah, it's just like a giraffe person. Yo, I was actually just thinking about giraffe people. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what Dude, were you I, thinking I, about giraffe people for? I hate, like, in Pirate Quest, there's the giraffe person that's... But that's just a like, giraffe. Well, I guess it depends. But anyway... What is a giraffe person if not a giraffe that is a person? Fair enough. Suggested she wears some gloves just to protect her hands. I don't think she understood the second part because they were fingerless. <laughs> the aquarium is a large marble building on a marina. The various exhibits sprawl out to make the place turtle shaped from a bird's eye view. It's a nice place, but I still need to make this entertaining to Fang. You prefer Plesiosaur, as stereotypical as that is, Tenchi. I mean, Plesiosaur is pretty cool. You got the Loch Ness Monster and stuff. Yeah, it's basically, it a, basically a, pr a Brachiosaur, but in the water. Yeah. I do like the obviousness of the evolution there. I mean, I, I really can't think of any other water dinosaur Jurassic stuff aside from a plesiosaur what you just said and then like a megalodon I mean some things megalodon's not really a dinosaur well yeah but I, like a Jurassic era or just dinosaur era some things evolved to do pretty well in the water like spinosaurus I don't I wouldn't really consider a spinosaur an oh, aquatic spin dinosaur but yeah, yeah but that's, that's a fair point that was actually a recent discovery is that spinosaurus actually had really fan like tails oh. yeah so they were like half aquatic or hung out on the coasts. Yeah, they were basically the Rivers. dinosaur crocodile. They, they they don't go into deep ocean, but they excel at rivers. The Kithiosaur crocodile too. I don't. Hold on, that name sounds familiar. The Kithiosaur. So many, so many, so many interesting potential dino people to think of because I just thought Spinosaurus in general are really fucking metal too. I love. But have you ever seen Jurassic Park 3? Yes, I, yeah, I do all now on DVD. Uh, uh, oh, Akithiosaur. I, I recognize that one. It's the long beak one. I don't... Were they aquatic? I, 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 I they mean, were, all the images are showing it in water. Really? I thought yeah, the fan on the back was just to collect sunlight. Well, I think it was a recent discovery that Spinosauruses were especially built for rivers and aquatic environments. Like back when back when Jurassic Park three came out, they thought it was just a uh, extra large T Rex with a tail fan. But I thought I thought I thought it was more like a Stegosaur, but instead of plates, it was a fan. Well, are we talking about Spino or Ixio? yeah, Spino? Oh, yeah, no, they're big boys. They're they're extra big boys. 
Um, I forget what they're proto dolphins. Uh, I guess that makes sense. Proto dolphins, looking at the images of them. Oh, I could see that. I hope at the end of this day, Anon's an Ichthyosaur, because he wants to kith his sore. That's terrible. <laughs> oh, I'm yeah. thinking the wrong dinosaur with Ichthyosaur. I was thinking of. Uh... Oh, you know what I was thinking? I was thinking of Dementrodon. <laughs> Totally different name. I don't know why I got this news. Anyways, we gotta make this entertaining for Fang. Don't tell me what to do. She already looks bored. Looking through one of the map kiosks. I try to make a mental plan for the trip. Uh, they got exhibits for the deep sea, the Gulf of Mexico, the dope fish, tropical reefs. The dope fish? Yeah, that fish is pretty dope. That's a dope fish, dog. <laughs> Eeny, meeny, miny. Really dope fish. Sea turtles it is. That's a dope... It, the only thing I'm finding with dope fish is, like, meme. Yeah, how do they sell it? What? Yeah, like, how just straight dope? up dope. D-O-P-E fish. Yeah, it, all I'm finding is memes. Yeah. I mean, that's probably what it would be referencing then. Ichthyosaur. Ah, okay. Yeah, but if I pronounced it correctly, I couldn't have made my terrible joke. If he pronounced it correctly, he wouldn't be Kaz. <laughs> oh, we're back to this again. I, I take Fag's hand and lead her through the lobby into the chamber labeled Sea Turtle Con Conservatory. I'll just clarify, I, I don't... There you go. To, to clarify, I enjoy the, the pr mispronunciation jokes. I do sometimes <laughs> feel bad about bullying uh, Kazard for his upstate New York accent, though. It, uh, it, it's, it's just sad that you guys can't get up to my level of class. Southerners know how to talk right, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. And I'm, are you sure you want to spend the day here? If you wanted to go to the mall or something... Oh my god! Look at that face. Oh, oh, that is so cute. Oh my god! That's a smile you gotta protect. A little sea turtle swims out hiding in the tank right in front of us. Oh my god! <laughs> Immediately, Fang breaks free of my arm and presses against the glass. Look at these cute little shits, I love them! Yeah, I see them. appear into the tank and see a few more hatchlings bob out of the decorative grass. The hype... competition for his love. <laughs> the hype becomes contagious and I find myself pressed against the glass as well. Please avoid a touching the glass. It stresses the little guys out. Oh, mm, sorry. Come on, Fang. There's more stuff to see. Come on, Fang. There's turtles something. here! No. No. <laughs> There's more here than just those baby turtles, you know. Is the other stuff here baby turtles? Uh, I, I don't then think so. Then they don't so. fucking matter. You just gonna stay here all day then? Yep. Baby turtles. What will you do for lunch? Bring me something from the cafe while I watch the baby turtles. Alright, here I am going off without you. Oh, look! A Dumbo octopus! Oh, where, where is it? Where is it? In a snap, Fangs move from pressing her face against the turtle tank to pressing it against the octopus tank. <laughs> Ma'am, please refrain from... Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, Anna, look at it! Look at it! It's a, like <laughs> a living egg yolk with button eyes! Umbrella <laughs> octopi are adorable. Is that the first analogy you could think of? What's over there? Are those seahorses? Holy crap, I have to take a video of this! Oh, look at that. I'm cute! Cute! I, cute! Uh, that's, uh, that's actually really good ways to turn and stuff. That Paper Mario aesthetic. I shrug apologetically at the attendant, who has just given up entirely. He doesn't, get, pa switch. He doesn't get paid enough for this. But watching Fang zoom between the exhibits to gush over each oddly cute sea animal was just too much. Suddenly, my phone finds its way to my jacket pocket, already set to record. Oh my god, they have 
she's like fucking finding Nemo. She'll probably kill me if she found out. But it'd be a good death. Wait, where'd she go? Oh no, I lost my snoot. Touch. <laughs> go to the front desk, put out an amber alert. <laughs> Excuse me, my snoot is gone. She's about yay big, and if you have any dino nuggies, we can use that to lure her out. <laughs> the dope fish is a meme that is in a lot of boomer shooter originating in Commander Keen. I don't know what that yeah, it's is. All of them, like Doom Eternal stuff. Huh. Around the corner to see the next tank has a large group of school children hovering over a stingray touch tank. That is a large group of school children, a fang, towering above the rest. All right, it didn't. It's fun it to like touch and race. That's not just a kid thing. She it is, I do find it cute that this kind of confirms she does still, you know, she plays well with children. She does have the act down, though. Oh, cool. A stingray pool. You plan on touching one? Touch? Yeah, you can put your hand in, and they slide against it. Watch. How has she not done this stuff? Uh, I'm guessing... I don't know, probably when she went to the more music or punk aesthetic. Or maybe no one else ever wanted to go. Well, I think another, maybe this is just me theorizing, but I imagine if they were kids after Nazar's accident, the last place any of them would want to be is near the ocean or ocean-related paraphernalia. Oh, right. that's a good point. Commander Key never was learned a... what one. She never under, she under, never understood what wonders the sea the, the, the sea held. <laughs> she only it... knew what it took from her brother. Commander Keen was a game made by id Software before Wolfenstein and Doom. Oh, okay. So it's like an id Software meme then, dope fish. I roll up my jacket sleeve and push my hand into the water, splaying it out. Fang and the children lean in intently. I like how she's just acting like one of the kids. Uh, a man and his woman child, GF. The water's cold, but sure enough, a few of the playful things make their round and slide right up against my against it like a cat begging for scratches. They're so cute. See? Several in the crowd start jumping with excitement and put their own hands in the water to try for themselves. Fang doesn't seem completely convinced, though. You sure they're alright to just touch like that? Aren't those dangerous? That Steve Irwin guy, I think he got <laughs> killed by one of these. <laughs> A very tragic thing. It wasn't even on purpose. It was just like an accident, right? Yeah, it was just swimming away. Oh yeah, because they don't purposefully stay or stop, or I get, or like the yeah. tail. Just if it happens to touch, it's just of all the animals to kill Steve Irwin. It was like one of the most least expected because this is the guy who like you know, not literally sticks his thumb up snakes' assholes, but I wouldn't be surprised if he did. But and also just <laughs> manhandles crocodiles, and yeah. alligators. Also brings it, his kid uh, would bring his kids along with it too. He would just kind of hold their heads inside the crocodile's mouths, and he's like, "Look at this beauty here. He won't <laughs> snap down unless I give him the precise instruction, which I'm gonna do right now, and then I'm gonna spring my kid's head right out from it at the time." <laughs> Actually, wanted to ask, what about the extra chapters? Will you play it? Yeah, Gex, we're gonna we're gonna play those. Obviously, Eventually. totally, we're gonna play those. Hey, are you sounding sarcastic? Okay, oh, I didn't mean cut, but yeah, we're gonna play it after ending four. I mean, we'll move on to the bullish chapters. Because I, I haven't seen those we're yet. We're gonna play those. Definitely, yeah. Because <laughs> like, I haven't seen those. I've been looking forward to those. See what that. Just a side question. How how long are all those? Like, like is each, like, compared to the game itself, how long are the chapters? You know, just to see, do we got one or two or three streams of this more to go? Surely not more than two. Well, I mean, if I mean, I, I, how many, how many chapters are there even? Are there? I feel like two sounds about right. I mean, it's a bit slimy, but there's a hand sanitizer thing on the wall right here. This isn't what I meant. Oh, come on, I'll make sure they don't bite. Fang reluctant. <laughs> Fang reluctantly grabs my dry arm, and I lead her to a spot not occupied by ankle biters. 
I kind of <laughs> I hate like blank empty reassurances like that like I'll make sure they won't bite what the fuck do you mean you'll make sure they won't bite well, and he's gonna look ready he'll, to bite he's gonna bring yeah he'll make sure they won't bite but if they go to sting she's on her own like it's very I imagine it has to be very hard to be bit by a stingray you have to put your hand underneath them somehow yeah well they, and they do very much say like yeah don't don't yeah, get your hand under there I mean and, and the tank up. does seem kind of shallow too not that long, about 10 chapters. A five hour stream should cover it. Okay, so eight hours for us. <laughs> a lot of side uh, right. <laughs> At worst, rest of the stream for the first few dedicated to follow up. Uh, it depends on how far we'll get with the uh, ending four on this. You don't think we're gonna finish? No, we're gonna finish ending four. It's just uh, a matter of when we get that, when uh, we hit the end. Put my hand back in and motion for Fang to do the same. She hesitates with her hand. You know, the only reason I'm, th I'm thinking of length is not to sound like, oh, I want to get this done. Thinking of thumbnail ideas just because now I got to think of something completely original because I don't got a basis to go off of now. Well, maybe you should stop paying attention to length and think more about girth. Okay. What does that mean in terms of the narrative? Like, what is girth? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't every every, every word is like <laughs> it's it's very like flowerful. Like like you can dissect it. It's like a it's like a Hemingway novel. Okay, yeah, no, that's good. You're right. She has I just a wanted to make a penis joke, <laughs> and then I clasped it up. She hesitates with her hand raised just above the water surface, then plunges her hand down next to mine. It doesn't take long for a few rays to make the corner and brush up against our hands. Beep. You alright? Yeah, no, it's just... You were right about them being slimy. Well, I, I have yet to hear of a dry fish. Yeah, it's really not slimy, it's just wet. Shut up. <laughs> After a few more rounds of rays, Fang decides she's had enough. Ah, see, that wasn't terrible, right? Actually, you got all your fingers, right? I don't know. Wanna check? Her, che <laughs> her cheeky grin at Ray's middle finger confirms her hand's integrity. I don't know. I'm only seeing one. Do you see more? So, uh... Thumbnail idea, yearbook for the extra chapter. Eh, there's a good one. All right. Uh, uh, which exhibit are we checking next? I checked the aquarium pamphlet to see where we haven't been yet. Well, if we go outside, we can see the dolphin pools. That way it loops back through the deep sea exhibits. With Fang in agreement, I lead her towards the exit marked with a large dolphin sign. She's in agreeance. Upon exiting the building, my nose is assaulted by a mix of salty air and the smell of raw fish. Somehow, it's even fishier than inside the aquarium. Oh, smells like lunch. It says they should be feeding the dolphins pretty soon. The walkway circles around a large pool and several dolphins swimming around. I can make out the trainer holding a hoop with a bucket of fish by their feet. Well, the dolphins jump straight through the hoop and is rewarded with a fish caught out of the air. Would you jump through a hula hoop for me if I had treats? It's an important mm. question. Not gonna... no response. No, yeah, fuck it, I know the answer. I noticed the trainer has traded the hoop for a large brush and is getting one of the dolphins to open its mouth. The trader starts brushing the dolphin's teeth and showing off the rows of neatly spaced cones. I make a show of craning my neck down to get a view of Fang's teeth from below. She raises an eyebrow for a second and then realizes. <laughs> an elbow jams into my shoulder and another covers her snout. So that's how you brush your teeth. to bribe me at least 
Well, if you ever need help, if you ever need help, I'm sure I can get them to lend me one of those brushes. Yeah. And that gets me to a, a jab to the ribs this time. Oh, come on. You have to admit they look a bit like you. I don't see it. The dolphin besides her nods in agreement. Maybe this guy gets it. <laughs> right then. Yeah, so how about we hit the last spot and then we go grab our own lunch? Unless you want to have some tuna with your clone there. Fang rolls her eyes at that. Her dolphin duplicate did too. No, I, don't know, I don't know what the fuck I see in him. <laughs> You're fucking with me, aren't you? What are you talking about? Fang's aquatic doppelganger makes a laugh like chirping and finally swims away. I have found my spirit animal. So deep sea then. Then they get home and and then Anon realizes he's got a dolphin in his arms. <laughs> <laughs> oh crap, I picked up the wrong snoot. And then he goes back and Fang is just swimming with the dolphins. Jump, leaping through the hoops for fish. No, for dino nuggies. <laughs> we leave the dolphin pen, following sides back towards the building. The floor slopes slowly until we reach a door labeled as the sublevel to our destination. You miss the dolphin fang CG. There is a dolphin fang CG? Yeah, I was going to ask about that too. Apparently, uh, uh, it sounds like maybe during this scene, her face gets replaced with a dolphin. I don't recall that when I last when I played with Patch Three, unless that was a thing in four or five. Fun fact: mammals are the only animals with specialized teeth, so fangs should have cone teeth. Huh. Didn't know about criticisms for fangs. Goodbye, Volcano High design. Just thought this was a cute couple teasing. Oh yeah, people were joking when that was first revealed, with uh just photoshopping dolphins. Oh god, are photoshopping Fang's hair onto that dolphin guy? I don't know what, like, if he, like, like put a latex bodysuit on to look like a dolphin or something? It was a cursed image. I don't, I, we're not, we're not gonna talk more about that. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, it was some weird, it, it was like some, like, horribly cursed image. Pushing through. We are you find... sure it wasn't a mirror? Okay. Uh, -huh. uh where's the ban button? Eagle's cheeky tonight. <laughs> yep, sorry. Pushing through, we find ourselves in an oversized hamster tube beneath the wire. I'm definitely having a very ADHD day. No, don't apologize. I like it. <laughs> I like chinkle. That's, that's, that's cheeky hinkle. That's really close to sounding like something racist. <laughs> oh shit, it does. It was an alpha CG. Oh, that. Oh, the, the proto fang design. Oh, I remember what you talked. Ah, oh, dang, I wish I had the image link for that. Ah, oh, I didn't realize they had one of these. Actually, nah. From within the glass walkway, we're surrounded by a myriad of colorful marine life swimming around us. Fang's eyes wide. Fang's eyes are wide as she tries to follow the different schools of fish that dart to and fro. I'm more mesmerized by the water filtered light cascading off Fang, ca casting her in a gentle glow that illuminates her white feathers. God, so glad I'm recording. Okay, I, 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 I'm still recording. <laughs> I guess so. Oh, I kind of really want to grab the, uh, cause I know I did save it. Hold on. I'm going to look for this. Pretty sure I actually named it instead of just using the, a bunch of numbers. Yeah, here we go. Ah, yes, the prototype Fang. Look at that glory. Look at that beauty. I Where are you sharing, sharing. Yeah, uh, yeah. It, 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 You have to look in the stream. Uh, in the, oh, okay. <laughs> That's, and where is Fang in this? <laughs> it's obvious. It's Fang. See, there, you got her face, her head, legs, wings. <laughs> Beautiful. Uh, 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 uh. I'd still do it. <laughs> I mean, who wouldn't? Would you a dolphin? I mean, look, she's got she's got an NES controller. She has class. Dave or dolphin? 
The angry video game snoot. Angry video game snoot. <laughs> Wait, recording what? The, uh, the shark! Yeah, cool looking shark over there. I point to the shark that's currently lazing about, casually drifting by the walkway. Oh god, so cute! Fang turns to gush at the shark, giving me the opportunity to quickly stop my phone and see that my battery is near dead and storage near full. Ah! There's the last exhibit. I just love she's just gushing over every sea creature, not just the little baby ones. Mm -hmm. I hold open another set of doors. The room with near the room within near pitch black. Is it closed? Huh? The lights. Oh, ah. The room is dark because the things inside aren't used to light. Oh. Wait, are you scared? No, I just wasn't expecting it, is all. I offer her my hand. Despite her claim otherwise, I can feel how tense she is by how her fingernails dig into my hand. Is this like an exhibit where all the deepest, darkest creatures dwell in eternal darkness? Yeah. So it's the Anon exhibit. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you earned that one. Where's Cthulhu? I lead her into the darkened room, what little light there is coming from the various animals within. The aquariums within are packed with bioluminescent jellyfish, illuminating the darkened room with an ethereal glow. Whoa. This is... Beautiful. Yeah. That. I wasn't referring to the exhibit. Uh -huh. Fang's grip on my hand eases, and her fingers work to intertwine with mine. With what little light there is, I can make out Fang's smile. You can make out with Fang's smile? Yes. My eyes have adjusted enough that I can see Fang's eyes locked onto mine, the gossamer light making them glow. My lips press softly onto Fang's beak end in a chest, pe chest peck. Chased. Oi! Give me a warning next time. Mmm, nah. <laughs> a license for that kissing? A license? Yes, actually. Picked it up last week. I laugh even as her hip bumps me roughly. Our interlocked fingers prevent her from using her perforated elbow tack or her preferred elbow tactic. Perforated elbow, <laughs> fuck! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> <laughs> Got used too much. So, had fun? Mm, maybe. I'll say yes if you delete that recording. Aw, but you were so cute. Come up! I'm sexy, damn it, not cute. You're cute, sexy. You can't be both. Why not both? She glowers. Feel arrested? bit. I'll help you even more rested after some lunch, though. Sounds like a plan. The rest of our rest day was spent just relaxing on the pier. Snacks on the boardwalk, a bad sunburn on my neck, and a very relaxed girlfriend. See, look, there she is. <laughs> right there. <laughs> Over. This is my relaxed girlfriend. <laughs> Overall, mission successful. Except the sunburn. Ow. Dang, your head your head thing moved a lot further down your back. She's just very relaxed. One month later. It's prom I, night. Again, not enough Rosa and Stella. What the fuck? Rosa and Stella is very centric to the ending three, it looks like. I'm guessing ending three might be the most recently written one. Because it also featured Rosa and Stella in a lot more prominent role. I'm not sure what order they wrote the endings in. I th no, well, I do know ending four did come last. The other three, I'm not sure. 
Yeah, this one's like the latest one. Yeah. My old man was kind enough to send over his old tuxedo from his time at high school. It took a bit of sewing, but I got it looking pretty good. Judging by the white stains on the sleeves, Dad's made a lot of important announcements in this tuxedo. <laughs> Gives it a bit of history, I guess. And taste. When I arrive at Fang's place with a cheap corsage, I see the pomegranate parasite waiting outside the front door. I'm just so angered every time he insults her. It's not an insult, it's just a name. Great. Yeah. Dear God, how could she move in that dress? Look at this, how can't I? It's practically not there! Top half looks like it's been shrink wrapped to her body. I'm 100% certain there's nothing beneath the bottom half. It's paint. Well, I already knocked it up. Nazar will be out in a moment to invite us in, and I'm sure Fang will be getting ready too. I heard the two of you are going to prom together. Ladies and gentlemen, the next Sherlock Holmes. No oh, shit. No. <laughs> no, I just happen to eat. Loud. <laughs> no, I just happen to be here in a suit to go golfing. No. I, I, I told me he was looking for one. I, I've heard a lot of stories about his caddies. I ignore her, focusing instead on not stabbing my palm even more on this flower's thorns. That's a metaphor. Ah, fuck it. Free is free. And nothing more free than a five-finger discount from the neighbor's yard. Uh, well. You and Fang just make the cutest couple. Did you two sign up for prom king and queen? Nah. She said something about the fascist, sexist monarchy system. Well, that's great, because we fucking wreck you! Well, Nazar and I have rendered the, the wrong royalty. Oh, I just can't wait to wear that beautiful tiara. I picked it out and everything in the crown for Nazar. Blah, 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 I already, blah, 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 I already blah, tuned blah, her out. Blah, blah, wait a minute. Blah, blah, blah. You're already wearing a tiara, though. Why would you get a second tiara? You want to make I double tiara? Remember. Double princess! You ever see that video, Double King? Yes, actually. Yeah. Imagine oh, that I'm a Parasorphorus. <laughs> Great video. Nasser opens yeah. the door. Well, if that isn't just the fanciest jacket I've seen in a while. It's really better than the background of Avatar he always wears. Oh, I, I forgot I was Nasser somehow. <laughs> I'm sorry to keep you waiting, Naomi. This thing is a nightmare to get over my wings. <laughs> well, you don't have to wear it. I mean, it's optional. Clothing optional. Oh, and I come on in. Didn't know you were here already. He waits for the two of us to enter, pecking Naomi on the cheek when she passes. Oh, I don't get one. <laughs> you don't work your way up to that, head on. Ending 3 was part of the draft when there were only three endings. 3 was the one with the most rewrites, though. So both the oldest and youngest. Ah. So in other words, the most canon one, one might say. <laughs> the only canon one is the one you got first. Unfortunately. Well, that's for you. <laughs> Unfortunately. <laughs> Fang's Not mother... It to me, Kazard. It does. Fang's mother speaks up from the kitchen. Or Kazard, in case I get that wrong. It's Kazard. Kazard. I'm sorry, it's Kazard. Oh, it's me again. <laughs> yeah, this is also you. I it's ever, I, I forget all of my characters now. Oh, oh, is that Anon? Mario. Here we go. The small pterodactyl comes out. A bull she's struggling to stir in her arms. Oh, you got ending four first, Gex? Congratulations! It's lucky. It was easy. <laughs> My, aren't you handsome? I might just steal you from Fang. I'd rather I rather not get turned inside out and m m killed and all that stuff they told me from your husband. 
Yeah, if he did that for his daughter, imagine what would happen if he did it to his wife. <laughs> oh, I think you'd learn to like it. I certainly have. <laughs> pictures! I need to get pictures of you and Lucy! She sets the bowl aside on the coffee table to frantically search for a Polaroid camera. To think Lucy would have such a wonderful young man to take care uh, to take her to prom. And I found it. Hold still, dear. I'm performing surgery. Ah! It's like getting slapped in the face by the sun's dick. What kind of surgery is this? Oh, Facial problem. Facial surgery! <laughs> I bl oh, I guess I was all white then. Uh-oh. <laughs> I blinked the blind this away. Oh, so that's why Nacer has those fucking aviators. It, it, it flashed so brightly it burned his eyeballs off. <laughs> What's a fucking aviator? To go with the fucking outfit for the fucking prom. Damn, you're right. I mean, why else do you think Naomi isn't wearing anything under here? There's no point! No, oh, coming off later! Lucy will be downstairs in a bit. She's just getting the last of her makeup on. Also, in the meantime, take a seat. I've got some cookies. I'm not gonna make the joke. I've got some cookies in the oven that are almost ready. That's okay, we're all thinking it. <laughs> ah, thank you, ma'am. I take my seat in the usual spot, sinking in and feeling the pillows can form around my spine. Ah, this thing must cost a fortune. Fag's dad is a police commissioner, if I recall. That explains the luxurious furnishings. Now that I think about it, I'm surprised I haven't seen him yet. Hey, so... Oh no. I was never really on your side. I hope I didn't just ruin these slacks. Good evening, sir. I didn't even see you in your chair, sir. My apologies. You're sweated, son. I assume you're here to pick me up for prom. <laughs> uh, uh, Where are we going? Yeah, anything he does to Fang, she he's gonna do to him. Therefore, he's going to take Anna on to prom. Do do I, I say yes or no in this situation? I don't know. Hope you have a nice restaurant planned, boy. <laughs> Think about humans as well as many carnivores is that their vision is based largely on movement. You'd be surprised how effective staying quiet and stationary. It'd be really funny if... For example, this isn't even really me. This is just a cardboard cutout I placed in front of you. I've been behind you this entire time. What? Oh, it's no. It's great how close you can get to someone without them knowing. Naomi, and then Naomi takes off her face and is in on spot. Bang, uh... It's hitting, father. <laughs> Don't be all along. This... No intimidating the sooner! The, bi the big guy deflates a bit in his chair. Her, her shouting from the kitchen has, reminds me of uh, Muppet Treasure Island. Have you ever seen that movie? I love that movie. I have. I but love what that part movie. does it remind you of? Uh, the the lady that runs the inn at the beginning of the movie, or like she just like shouts things from upstairs and then. Oh. Okay. Like, really yeah, bones. Like how does he? She probably do that. It's just like, don't be giving him any more rum. Uh, you're, that in on. you're good on rum for tonight. Okay. Point is, don't get any ha-ha funny ideas. You could have had to be there funny ideas, or maybe esoteric funny ideas, but no ha-ha funny business. Oh, I, I work pretty well with the last one. That's yes. like something out of a mob movie. Yes, sir. We're all thinking of that car, right? Pickle? No. Damn it! <laughs> Sorry, I have food in my mouth. We're walking. My whole just been yeah, yeah. Let me finish this food. What food is it? Me! 
<laughs> M&M. Uh, she's not just a snack, she's a whole meal. Uh, I guess Nazer turned out to be a Lickalotopus. <laughs> right. uh, once Fang gets down, we'll skedaddle. So until then, we just sit and chill? Netflix and chill? Oh, we can take more pictures! Oh, please, no. Yes. And <laughs> Sheila's voice going all digital there. Did that happen to you? Yeah, I heard that way. That was horrifying. You know, she was breathing. <laughs> oh, God, she's still doing it. Say more <laughs> things as her. Why are you prepared to break through the strands of reality? <laughs> Oh, no. Yeah. Oh god, Naomi yeah, AI. She's taken over. The sequence is picking down and becoming one of all. I'll have to listen to this later because I don't know what the fuck is going here. What's the gonna do with this crash? Oh god. She's becoming one with the stream. I assume he, he's trying to fix it. Do I sound? Yeah, uh, sound yeah it's better. Yeah. Was that probably even us filming now? Yeah. But, oh, that was great. The, the, the break of the Matrix is growing. I, I need cyborg Naomi art now. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> cyberpunk Naomi. It's a shame, I, a shame it didn't happen when Fang was down. <laughs> oh, I would love to make this little photo op. Me. Oh. Notice how me again. Man, be more of me. <laughs> All of him. Notice how Anon was in between Nazar and Naomi. <laughs> <laughs> the best place to be. <laughs> Thirty photos. The power middle will come to fruition. Thirty photos later, I never want to see another camera again. Fags Bond decide to take pictures of every possible combination of us. I don't know which is worse, having to pose with Naomi or Fang's dad digging his murder claws into my shoulder. I've lost nearly all feeling in that arm. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's going to leave a bruise worse than my accelerated HUD with a stair bollard last month. At least the pics with Nacer with our nice reprieve. We ended up looking like the Blues Brothers, standing side by side in fuck ugly suits. Just as I was about to reassign myself to premature blindness from the camera flash, my savior arrives. Oh, and you're already here. Fang leans over the railing of the staircase. Nice suit. Did you get it from the suit store? Damn! Wow. Yeah. Oh, definitely best dress. Yeah, definitely best dress. The others don't show off the navel. That's like 50 <laughs> extra points. Holy shit, she can really rock that dress. I mean, all of them were good, but the, this is fully the best. I was not into the uh, ripped up suit. Yeah, but this one, holy shit, this is a classic. It's, it's definitely a performance dress. See how it's not the same as the party dress she ran for ending three, but holy my, yeah. holy, yeah, holy this, this is the kind of dress you'd see so, uh, the singer wearing in like a Bob movie where she's singing and sitting on the piano. Just gosh darn it. Holy, holy guacamole! Hey, back that, up. that honestly, that honestly might blow me. That might have blown me away more than Naomi's first dress reveal. All well, right. well, verbally it didn't because you were like <laughs> practically oh. screaming at Naomi's dress. Yeah, yeah, that's true. I'm sorry, Cheap Hauser are just an even bigger weakness of mine. But as far as Fang dresses goes, gosh darn it, that is definitely number one. Well, we'll, we'll step aside. She's mine. Also, also the sloping midriff is a nice touch. Mm. It's just all, all kind of personality with this. Um, excuse me. No. I'm wearing a dress too here. <laughs> oh, oh shit! <laughs> it just gets to him. He's wearing the exact same thing. Oh, uh, looks like one of us is gonna have to change. Going to have to change. Yeah, carrying Anon. 
And I'll scare who I want in my own home. Gotta put the fear of fangs down in him. Fangs Bob sa saves me. Take the monumentous pterodactyl by his head crest. Oh. No, that wasn't a metaphor. <laughs> right, wasn't a metaphor. Gross. <laughs> Come on down and pose for pictures with everyone, Lucy. All right, all right. We all get our own fang, guys. We don't need to fight over it. We don't need to fight over her. Well, while they're all fighting over fang, let's make a break for Naomi and Trish. Actually, stay up there so we could all rest. <laughs> har har. Best thing to do is get it over with, okay? That's right. The best thing to do with me is just get it over with. It's <laughs> going to happen, so just lay back and accept it. Yeah. All right, everyone, group together. This Utility is <laughs> something we have to learn to deal with in this family. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! This one's going on the Christmas postcards for sure! Kill me. Kill him. It might Later. happen. Later. Kill me. Later. Uh, this is the only shot she actually poses for pictures with everybody. He wasn't right. between Nazar and Naomi that time. Hey, that last one reused the, the group shot of her. The onslaught of flashes continue as the four of us are directed to stand and pose together in every possible combination. After a millennia, Fang's mother is satisfied. Or her camera ran out of storage. Never want to see this again. <laughs> I love that. It's the blur focus. Nacer and Fang both crash on the couch, rubbing their photo bleached eyes. Even Naomi is holding her eyes closed. The whole thing left me parched. I hate to be a bother, but do you guys have any water? Uh, the fridge dispenses water. <laughs> oh, do you need one too, Nacer? Uh, yeah. Cops are in the cabinet closest on the right. Thanks. While pouring my glass of water, Naomi walks in after me. Oh, you need a cup too? I'll grab you one. Thank you! Oh, did you just take it straight from the tap? Yes! <laughs> He's got the snooze for it. <laughs> so, Adam, can I speak to you for a moment? Oh boy. Go ahead. I'm very happy that you and Fang are together now, but... Oh, that's great. She can fuck off if she has any complaints about Fang here. I take a long, slow sip. But what? What? I mean, just look at her! She's oh. harder than me! That's not allowed! Oh, I've been looking at her, alright. The school year's almost over and she's barely changed for being that weird punk goth type. Oh, what's wrong what? with that? Wow, she can fuck off. It's a lateral movement at best, Anna! Sip. Mm, ah, refreshing. So? I mean, I thought you would try to make her sensible, you know? Again, have you seen that dress? Yeah. It's not a cheap <laughs> house, can't be as tall as mine! She's not even like, it's not even like a sort of like anti-social, like, oh, I'm defying beauty. Like, she's just a conventional kind of beautiful here. Like, fuck off. It's mm. like, there's absolutely nothing wrong with... I mean, she's just... I mean, it, I, we've seen what it marked... She just hasn't seen what a marked improvement this is from what it could be in ending one. Or two. Well, two, she didn't even go to... She didn't even go to prom in two. Oh, uh, yeah, sure. Mmm. Love me some water. Could you elaborate? It's like you aren't even trying to fix her! Damn, I need a refill. Need some of that good H2O. Stop that! I'm being serious here! 
Hey, I need water. I'm like 70% of it. I don't know what dinos are. You have nearly enough fang points! What the fuck? <laughs> no, 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 no. Keep going. I'm listening. I quick top up and I'm good to go. Well, I figured you would help her to become more, you know, ladylike. It's... <laughs> I understand. How does that make you feel? Well, to be honest, I'd rather fang not be a problem to me at all. I've tried everything too, but even getting her a boyfriend doesn't work. I mean, we got her to stop saying she's NB, but my goodness, not enough. It's harsh to ask, but when we go to prom tonight, I'd like you two to avoid us. I'm sorry, I'm too embarrassed to be seen with you. It's supposed to be a special night. I see. Oh, really? That's great! And how does that make you feel, Faye? Oh, shit. Oh, shit, indeed. <laughs> <laughs> well, since you've asked, Anon, I'd be glad to share. <laughs> oh, fuck! Oh, f, -f fang I, I didn't see you there! You'd be surprised how effective saying quiet stationary can be. <laughs> <laughs> How close you can get to someone without them even knowing that you're there. Ah, uh, like father, like daughter. This is way too fucking ironic for me, please help! <laughs> no, I see you very impressive! Maybe you look so surprised. Isn't me being invisible exactly what you want? Well, no, I was only planning on the... Uh... Oh, right, your plan. I've known for months now that you were leading, you were up to something retarded, but not what. I totally get this. It's exactly something only you would come up with. Down to the whole thing crashing and burning around you. Oh, was that little uh, pale Naomi actually new with this patch? Neat. Got I like a that, I like this. I like that window class. Yeah. Thing sound. <laughs> yeah. It was. It was perfect. I mean, really, how could you mess this up? Literally, all you had to do was get some poor schmuck and get him to do everything for you. Hear that, Anon? Yeah, I'm a poor hey. schmuck. Hey, you can't even get one person to do what you want? Pretty sad, right, Anon? You poor schmuck? I could do that in seconds on a certain website. And even Anon can do it better, huh? I mean, if Anon can do it... So, basically, Naomi, what I'm trying to say is, fuck you, fuck your stupid plan, fuck your prom crown, fuck your shoes, fuck your dress, fuck your stupid tiara, fuck the other tiara you're gonna get, most importantly, fuck you. Fuck the plate you flew in on. In a flash, Fag strikes Naomi right across the face. Wow! And your dress sucks. Ah, uh, satisfying. You hit the wrong cheek, you bitch! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, may I have another? <laughs> Thank you, ma'am, can I have another? I mean, fuck! <laughs> Anon, you've got the taxi number, right? We're gonna need, like, we're gonna need to leave, like, right now. Yeah, I'll give him a call. Bye, Naomi. Enjoy your hat. We leave a speechless Naomi fuming in the kitchen and head towards the front door. His glasses were prescription, you kid! I don't know if I'm allowed to say the C word on, on, on YouTube. No, we, we've said that you before. Australian. Yeah, we said that before. It's fine. And none of the videos have been uh, flagged for that. Yet still, they're flagging the rooftop scene The rooftop scene as playing moving along. Don't get how that works. Whoa. And are promptly intercepted by Fang's mother still holding her camera. I guess she found another card for it. You two, you! You two look so darling together! We need more photos! I think we're gonna be late if we take any more pictures. Yeah, Mom, we need to leave early so we can get everything all set up. And to avoid being anywhere near Naomi. To my surprise, she seemingly relents to Fang this time. Oh, fine. You'll be happy. Uh, you'll be happy you have them when your own children are going to prom. 
that image flashes in my mind of me and Fang as parents. A bit early to think of something like that, and the blush on Fang's face tells me she's thinking the same thing. I have a feeling this is a Shima was too loud for his microphone situation. <laughs> Did you hear that? No. no. Yet? No. No. Nope. <laughs> There you go. No. I don't know what's going on. Uh, see, our, our bonus dream where only dogs can hear us. <laughs> Make sure to have fun at prom, you two. I glance over, and Fang's dad catches me dead in the eye. I'm just noticing I now. Uh, you do, I mean. It's... Fang's dad and Anon. <laughs> Oh, that's why he's looking at me. I, I just noticed the wings, uh, you know, face go up and they kind of even out, whereas uh, the moms just kind of have a straight up slope. I, huh? Yeah, like, there's a little different design, and then the, it's like that you can have that slight different design and stuff going on. Never picked up on that before. Nice analysis, son. I want to talk about how pretty my wings are. <laughs> They're very beautiful, sir. Good answer. Home by midnight. I imagine not as Fang grabs my hand and leads me out the door with her guitar in the other. And we're going. Let me call the taxi. I dial the number for the taxi service. Is it, uh, I think it's... Oh. Is, yeah. Do you think it's the yeah, same one? I'm trying to remember the boy. City taxi service! Yes, can you come to the bus stop at... Ah, got it! Click. Did he hang up on you? I don't know. Maybe. The taxi skids around the corner, barreling towards the bus stop. In the last ten feet, it slows to a graceful stop in front of us. The window rolls down. As the same Velociraptor driver from before. Of course it is. Well, I was waiting to do that. All night. Yep, still got it. <laughs> <laughs> Concerning you were waiting for that. How did you get here so fast? Was in the neighborhood. The driver turns his head and looks over at us. Ah, favorite couple again. How's the legs, skinny? The driver chuckles at his own remark. <laughs> Skinny. I briefly, con briefly consider calling a different cab, but decide to give him the benefit of the doubt. It's fine now. Thanks for asking. This guy must stake out wherever we go. Aren't there any I'm other... Too to, I'm too poor to afford cable, and I don't have anything better to do on a Saturday night. Aren't there any other taxi drivers in town? I open the door for Fang and we climb in the back, fitting her guitar behind the driver's seat. The taxi driver is actually the time traveler that is the reason there are many different endings. <laughs> and he's trying to get to the ending where Fang becomes rich and famous so he can, like, mooch some money off of her. It's like timely. <laughs> so, where are you two lovebirds heading dressed all snazzy like that? Okay, oh, hi. It's prom night. The driver gives a whistle in response. I can't imagine a taxi driver wouldn't know it's prom night. Prom night? Sounds like one romantic night if you get my drift. <laughs> wait, I wait, mean, he might just night. be breaking in small talk. Yeah. With that, he speeds off away, leaving Fang's house a shrinking spot in the rear view mirror. The, my, they drive back to the, the, the drive back to the school is rather calm despite the driver going at least 30 miles over the speed limit the whole time. In the rear view mirror, the driver makes eye contact with me. The bottom of his eye curls, and I know exactly what he's thinking. His hand darts to the radio knob. <laughs> Don't. The way I dance with you. Fang's heel digs into the back of the driver's seat, making him yelp. Jeez, no wonder they call them stilettos. 
The driver kills the radio, a smug grin of victory spreading across Fang's face. Eventually, the cab pulls up to the school gymnasium, illuminated by the celebratory decorative, strung, decorative string lights. I reach for my wallet to pay the toll, and the driver just gives me a wave. Yeah, you know what? It's on the house this time, kids. Just have fun, you two. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Mouth wiggle. Beard stroke. <laughs> You know, it says it seems like he's stalking us. I'm concerned about that. Yeah, I'm actually starting to think we have to check for cameras. I climb out of the back of the cab, and the driver gives me a wink before the taxi screeches away in a cloud of carbon monoxide. I offer to carry Fang's guitar from here, which she gladly accepts. The students strung up various strings of lights along the overgrowth of vines around the school. Or driving away in a cloud of carbon monoxide is a fascinating way to describe something without describing it at all. Considering carbon monoxide is odorless and colorless. I mean, there'd be some of that in the exhaust, right? Well, yeah, no, it's 100% true. It's 100% true. It's like you don't typically see a cloud of dust kicking up from a taxi, and in this case, you didn't. It's just invisible yeah, it's, oh, just, oh now i get what you're going for yeah i'm just saying fascinatingly he described absolutely nothing <laughs> a rather impressive mural mural of king rex is spray painted on the wall outside by the ticket booth king king you can tell how, how recent it was by how there was a smoke leaf hanging out of his eyes and mouth think about getting a picture with fang by it but i think i developed a serious case of photophobia the line to get in isn't too long. It only takes a few minutes to get inside. Inside is about as well decorated as outside. More lights hang from the greenery and even the ceiling. Those nerdy little Chinese lanterns are strung about from wall to wall. I wonder if they say anything or if they just picked random letters. I mean, they say something. I mean, that's what I'm saying. Like, uh, it, it's... far left is heaven. I know that the the, uh, the lantern on the far left is heaven. I know that one, but I don't know the others. If this spells out something, is this if this is a message, I would like to know. I don't wonder who picked decorations that go perfectly with her dress. Uh -huh. I wonder who. Maybe somebody who just got bitch slapped. Oh. <laughs> nice. Perks of the job. Fang leads me to the temporary stage on the other side of the gymnasium, where a curtain has been set up. Thanks to her guitar lessons, I feel like I can actually help her get set up instead of standing around doing nothing. We slip behind the curtain and come face to face with King Rex, smoke billowing out of his mouth. What's up, dudes? Reed must be helping Spears with the sound system. Good, Reed's here. You can get everything set up like you usually do. You got it, amigo. With a mock salute, Reed takes the guitar case from my hand and promptly disappears behind one of the speakers. One second, I just gotta wait for everything to stop being purple, dude. I'll let you return moments later with the guitar, now with a cable trailing behind him. Damn, he works fast. Yeah, he does. There's a reason he handles all this sort of stuff. I mean, can you imagine not trusting him with the cables? Yeah, <laughs> that'd be crazy. Yeah, dude. The mumbling! Reed dusts it off his hands and lets out a sigh, releasing another mushroom cloud of smoke from the costume. I haven't talked to you guys in, like, ages, you know? Not since the whole projector thing. You know I sit two seats away from you in math. Why did you just talk to me then? Bro, I would like, but I didn't want to leave Trish alone, dude. She's still super beating herself up over it. I don't want to isolate her even more, you know? Uh, okay, choice time. I'm sure Trish will be fine soon enough. Weren't you going to talk to her about it, Fang? I would definitely say the second one. Yeah, I think we're, I mean... Yeah, it's, this isn't... 
at this point, number one, Trish actually is doing the right thing here. She's doing it very well, waiting for Fang. So Fang should reward that. Second of all, I mean, yeah, it's Fang's thing to deal with at this point. Yeah, I guess that's a, yeah, that makes sense. I would, I would say, weren't you going to talk to her about it, Fang? Weren't you going to talk to her about it, Fang? I've been meaning to, but it's just sort of awkward, you know? I'll try talking to her soon, I promise. Trish is here, somewhere. Everyone's somewhere, dude. She bought a <laughs> ticket? Does she even have a date? Well, she was swearing she would fuck. <laughs> I swear to fuck! Yeah, dude, I'm that dude. She took advantage of my plus one deal for DJing tonight, dude. Uh, don't think she wanted to dance with King Rex, though. Her, Her loss. loss. <laughs> <laughs> hey, nice. Yeah, this is what we're friends in on. Yeah, we're bros. Reed's shoulders slump a bit inside the costume. I can imagine. Maybe I should have gone for a less dank smoke. I think everything's set up now, so we can just enjoy ourselves for the next 90 minutes. You guys going out? Yeah, see you later, Reed. He waves his goodbye and turns his attention back to the mixed table. You getting hungry? Yeah, actually. I saw there was a pretty big food table on the way, come on. Despite the selection of food being rather diverse and professional, Fang piles her plate with barbecue. I myself end up with a bit of this and that. Bites of sushi, various meats, a few of those tiny party sandwiches, and a few things I don't recognize but look tasty enough. Beers told me Rosa helped cook most of this. What? How? This has got to be at least a month's worth of food. I don't know, she just did it. Is she here now? Probably in the kitchen working her tail off making more. Why? You gotta feed everybody. But what? She's a student! So no students should go hungry under my supervision! We sit, we sit against the back wall to wolf down her servings, and Faye makes me go back to get her seconds. Eventually, she decides the black hole in her esophagus is satisfied. Were those tickets worth every penny or what? We haven't even had to fuck yet. <laughs> yeah. Had to. I'm not sure what those things filled with melted cheese were, but they were great. Let's go see what other crap there is to do here. How much time do we got? Uh, Spears told me I should head back once the slow dances start. Probably another hour or so, then. You know what? Speaking of dances, we should go hit up the floor while we're still while they're still playing the good stuff, you know? What? You don't like slow dances? What I like are the bones in my feet. <laughs> wow! <laughs> wow! Fang takes my hand and leads me into the crowd of dancing teenagers. Reed actually has a pretty good selection of music going. Instead of what gar whatever garbage was in the weekly top 40 list, he's been playing real music. Ah, fuck off. Hey, nowadays top 40 is pretty bad. <laughs> Fang's already lost in the music, grooving along with the other students. That would be a good time to mention I can't dance in any capacity. Not just slow dancing. I can't just I can't just can't just stand here like a spurg. Need to think of something fast. Not being a dweeb, Anon. When in doubt, improvise. What do you think he's gonna do? Uh, uh the robot. Do the Commander Shepherd dance. Also that. I bob my knees to the fast <laughs> rhythm of the music. <laughs> And my hands mimic the reload <laughs> animations from the various first-person shooters I've actually played. What? Oh god, the actually him no, animated to is he's so much better. I, I, I said stop being a dweeb. 
for for good measure, I spice it up with a couple dragon punch moves from some fight from some fighting cabinets. I love it. Meg seems glad I've joined in. She even tries to mimic a few of my moves. <laughs> then she raises an eyebrow and her smile curls a bit more. Wait, Anon, are you? <laughs> I'm honestly not sure what you were expecting. Yeah, no, that, that, that's great. Keep doing it. I'm just glad I thought you were having a seizure for a second there. <laughs> Holy shit, you're weird. Ah, at least I'm not flossing like some of the people here. Oh god, yeah. Reed wades through the crowd and grabs Fang's shoulder from behind. What? What the? Reed, why aren't you on stage? Not a play. Don't worry about it. Uh, something's come up. We're gonna need you a bit early. Uh... Fang hesitates. Damn it! Sorry, Anon. I didn't mean to leave you like this. Ah, things happen. Go ahead and fix whatever Reed tripped over. How did you... Uh, nah, you know what, never mind, dude. I'm too high for this. <laughs> Come on, there's no time. Good luck, Fang. Fang gives me a brief hug before following Reed out of the crowd, leaving me alone... Leaving me alone amongst the sea of sweaty teenagers. Aww. No, well, I would say dinosaurs don't sweat, but I don't know. They're like part mammal, so maybe they do. Scales, and I don't think scales have the means of producing sweat. Humans are one of the few things that do sweat. Hmm. I should get me more of those cheese things from earlier. It's nice to eat eat like an actual human for once. On my way over to the catering table, something something catches the corner of my eye. Our ability to sweat actually has more to do with our evolution than our intelligence. Really? What gave us such an advantage over other creatures? Our ability to run longer distances. Oh yeah, and the sweat would cool that down to let you do that. Other animals overheat in, like, minutes. If not seconds. Ah. Cheetah. Cheetah can literally run, like, eight seconds. Run really fast, but they don't last long. Yeah. It's a trade-off. They're extremely fast, but they have absolutely no stamina. In this, they don't. in this universe, they do sweat. Yep. yep. There you go. All right, there you go. <laughs> Sitting alone at the at a table in the back is Trish, blankly staring at her phone and not touching the plate of food in front of her. In, in the best dress here. I really don't pay any mind to her. My focus so solely on getting the buffet table. Still super beating herself up over it. Don't want to isolate her even more, you know. You know. You God know. damn it, Reed. Hey, dude. You got this. Thanks. <laughs> I really don't feel like playing therapist again. Especially at prom. Or maybe you could put a space there. Oh, no. <laughs> but if she's still hung up on what happened with it then the least I could do is talk to her, right? After getting another plate of tiny, greasy delights, I begin to approach Trish. Worst case scenario, I get gored on her own, and it's not as threatening as the staircases. It's pretty hot, too. Is this seat taken? Trish looks up from her phone, and her, flay her face flies through a myriad of emotions. At first confused, then fucking pissed, then aroused, then back to fucking pissed, all in the space of an attosecond. Hey, she's done that before. Hey, looking good in that dress. Yeah. Hey, you too? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Operation Confused Trigger is off to a good start. I hold out the second play of morsels to her. 
I snagged these for Fang, but she had some last minute stage issues to deal with. Oh, uh, thanks? I sit down next to her. I tuck into my meal. Aren't you supposed to be with Fang? Why are you here? Well, she's got something to deal with, and I'm hungry. No, I mean, here. To eat? For emphasis, I show her my half-finished plate. Oh my fuck no, as in right here! Oh! It's because I bought tickets to prom. God. <laughs> oh! Because... <laughs> because <laughs> it's prom! That's less specific than what I meant by right here! Before her hands can reach for my throat, I finish. And you're looking lonely. Ah, there we go. Trish locks up completely. Looking closer, I can see just how dry her eyes are. Oh my god, I just real I just realized she's wearing the same kind of necklace uh, and little thing that Fang does in her normal standard outfit. Oh. Hmm. Oof. I I never picked that up before. Looking closer, I can see just how dry her eyes are. Man, she must have been crying a lot. Damn it. Talking out loud, mumbling. I wasn't. God damn it, mouth. All right, all right. I was just thinking. And, like, how, how do I say this? Trish is focused completely on me now. Okay, brain, help me out here. I saw you sat here. No date, no friends, no nothing. So you had everything. Ah, bad choice. Trisha's face sunk at each word. I was thinking about how lonely you were. He's just rubbing it in. Which is something I... I... <laughs> <laughs> Comes over to you, points out you're lonely at prom, le doesn't elaborate, leaves. I. It's even funnier than, like... Even better than like laughing at her or anything, it's just I saw you were lonely. And then turn around. <laughs> Great star Anon, as always. Yep. He, he he's he's pretty good at this. Which is something I know quite well. Being alone and all. So since I'm by myself now, and you were looking lonely, I figured we could be lonely together. Makes sense. I mean, there's a whole song written about it. Trish lets out a sigh. Why are you doing this? After everything I did, you should hate me for it. I sigh. Yeah, I mean, I still get called names and stuff. And Stella keeps trying to get me to watch shit with her. <laughs> Just the fucking stare at that. Just the eyes purely her that. But fuck it. I won't have to see these fuckers ever again in a few weeks. But fuck it. That shit's gonna be in the past. But I just love the implication. You know, I can stand all the name calling and the ri and the ridicule, but fucking Stella, if I have you asked me to watch Lucky Star with you one more fucking time. Like, it wouldn't be so bad, but goddamn, her taste is just shit. It is bad taste, but you can fix that. <laughs> but... It been meaning to, but... But it'd crush Fang if she never talks with her best friend again. Trisha's eyes widen. So, peace? Peace? I hold out the second plate of food to her again. Trish takes the preferred plate. Her dry eyes start to water, and a fragile smile grows on her face. Peace. Cool. Also speaking of- He's a of, dead ass. Sorry. 
Also, speaking of, that food's probably cold now, too. It's a bad joke, but it works at getting a simple laugh out of the Triceratops girl. Wait, what was the joke? I ruined it with my Cool. Joke. Also, speaking oh, of, the cool. food's cold. Okay. I make quick work of the rest of my pot stickers, noticing how Trish is ravenously devouring them. Hmm. I guess she was looking a little thin. Uh, this month, mu this month must have been hell for her. We sit in silence until the music changes to something much slower. Definitely not my kind of music. I peer over and see Trish staring longingly at the couple's dancing. Guess no one's bothered to ask her. It makes me laugh every time that they <laughs> respond to the narration. Reed has. Then why not dance with him? He's a fucking... Yeah, I am not dancing with King Rex, even if King Rex didn't smell like a million drugs. Oh, poor Reed. Well, how about with me? Do you even know how to dance? I can improvise? Let me rephrase that. Do you even know how to slow dance? I can improvise slowly. There's a difference? <laughs> Trish sighs in frustration. The things I put up with. All right, I'll teach you. This is adorable. Wait, what? I want to dance, and so help me, Raptor Jesus, I'm getting a dance. I swore to fuck, and now I'm swearing to dance. <laughs> okay, well, we're just doing the second one, right? I mean, that depends on you. Trish grabs me by the elbow and pulls me to the dance floor. Oh my god, Hinkle was right. This is the cuck ending, but we had it backwards. You're cucking Fang! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> When Trish finds a spot she's satisfied with, away from most of the other couples, and open, she turns back to me. Left hand on my hip, now. My boobs pressed against you, perfect. Oh wow, she is short as hell. Like, I made jokes, but damn, I've never actually been this close to tell. It's adorable, oh my god. It, it, it is very nice. Also just seeing her happy after all that. I need to actually reach so my hand plates itself onto her hip. <laughs> yeah, here's your ending five, guys. <laughs> okay, next. Trish's left hand takes my right, and her right hand is placed on my left, left bicep, since she doesn't want to stand on her toes. Or mine. Wait, sorry, I need to read this to the... Trisha's left hand takes my right. You have an image right here for it. Uh, her right hand is placed on my left bicep. Yeah, that's here. definitely yeah, not right. what's on the picture. Okay, that's no, shoulder. Yeah, her right hand is on his left bicep, see? Well, I guess that's a shoulder. Yeah, okay. Maybe, maybe it moves up. Now just step to your left. Jump to your right. My left foot moves left. And bring your right foot next to it. Okay, that's one step. And that's it. That, that wow, well, that was a quick dance. No, I mean I, I, do I, that multiple times. I, I see why they call it slow dance. I guess you just drag that one step out really long in order to fit the song. <laughs> <laughs> wow, dancing is simple. The CG is actually called Trish and a non cuck fang. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Oh, that's great. I mean, to be fair, Trish is stealing the first slow dance. Ah, that's true. Stole his dance. Well, uh, yeah, slow dance virginity. Yeah. Slowly, I find myself getting into the rhythm of the dance. It's okay. I think Fang is stolen of plenty of other Anon's other virginities. <laughs> Occasionally, Trish would give instructions for a new step or move. Like, stepping right. That, that one threw me off. One song and dance grew into three or four. I lost track. But as we ease into the next song, 
I realize that Trish is starting to smile at last. And by the way, that hand is definitely more... No, never mind, it's on hip. All right. I mean, it's like above the tail. Touch tail. Growl. Trisha's face goes bright red. What was that? Uh, I think I was hungrier than I thought. Want to head back to the food table? Yeah, sorry. For what? Come on. People, I, I never understood the fiction uh, trope of being embarrassed by a growling stomach. Uh, for girls, maybe it's more embarrassing than it is for guys. I, I, I could see that, just any sort of bodily girls, sound. Girl, girls, yeah, gr yeah, that's what, what, what Kazar just said. I, girls don't want to make any sort of bodily sound. It's not ladylike. Or we could also say, uh, you know, we know it's, oh, she's skinny. The must must spend hell on her. Probably not admitting, hey, she's kind of starving herself. Can't wait for that Trish Root mod. Hey, there you go. We could do that for you, Hinkle. Whenever that comes out. I lead Trish out to the group, out of the crowd, back in the general direction of the buffet. Thanks for teaching me to dance. I'm coming for you. Oh, also, I'm coming for you if Fang, <laughs> if I hear Fang's got a broken toe. Noted. You go ahead and you go ahead. I'll wait at the bench we were at before. I gesture towards the tables of food. Oh, sure. Give me a bit. She heads off, and I go sit in the same spot on the bleachers as before. Well, that got got some time to kill. Time to shit poke. Thud. Whoa, Trish. Warn me before you jump into the chair. Oh, got Trish. Why'd you get so tall? And wide. Have you ever seen Spears and Trish in the same room at the same time? Oh my god. He literally grabbed Trish by the head and took her into the principal's office that time. Or so you think. Flint. <laughs> oh, Flint! Hello, Principal Spears. Is Fang doing alright? Okay. <laughs> She's still getting everything ready. I just wanted to write her word with you. Got a minute? Sure. When you first got here, I noticed you were a bit on the egotistical side, if I may say so. You've since become a fine young. You were the body. <coughs> situation and we're able to get this much out of it. Are you okay, Principal Spears? Do you need a water? I've passed on my superpowers to someone else and now <laughs> I died. I can tell you're going places, son. I see. Thanks. Principal Spears leads over and places one of his gargantuan hands on my shoulder. I'm real proud of you, son. Father? <laughs> he, he pats my shoulder. He pats my shoulder out of its socket and gets up. I won't keep you any longer. I have my own business to attend to in a moment. Giving Naomi and Nasser their crowns? <laughs> it's a bit obvious, but they won't ruin their moment. No. Be seen. I'm always watching. Later, Principal I'm Spears. I'm always watching, Lazowski. Always watching. Ah, I got that pretty close. He marches away to get ready for the announcement. I check my phone to make my post. Hey, guess who's at prom? Later, virgins. Pick right. Pick related is my date. <laughs> what? Chad wow. Shark. Whoa. I attach a picture I took of Stella earlier when her date was in the restroom. 
How'd she end up with the football captain anyway? Also, really didn't put Fang, put Stella? He doesn't want to dox his girlfriend. Yeah, he's doing it because it, cause it, he's saying pick related is my date, so he's implying that it, this is this guy posting. Hmm. Eh, whatever. <laughs> Chad Shark. Three, the sharks are people. two, one. Refreshing. Four to replies and revenge for that soda can. Uh, okay. Oh, uh, oh, I, I didn't catch that. That this shark was the one who threw it. Yeah. All right. Sorry. Oh, this is Trish. All right. Sorry, I'm back. Oh. Sorry, I'm back. Oh, hey, back. <laughs> Trish slides into the chair Spears just left from. Did someone bend this? Yeah, you know, just been working out. Spear. You're not a very good liar. It was Spears. <laughs> oh. She puts her plate down. It's a veritable bake sale. Hey, you can't have dessert for dinner. Piss off. The music fades until all that's left is chatter. Spears takes the stage with Mike in hand for once. <laughs> That's it. No. I'm afraid, everyone, before we end tonight's prom, we have a couple of items to take care of. First thing is... The principal pulls out a tiny gold sheaf envelope from his lapel and holds up for the audience to gawk at. You're announced prom king and queen. It's Naomi Nazareth. Well, this is a foregone conclusion. He just spoiled it. <laughs> A few students already are already congratulating Nacer as he's led by the arm by his handler. Drum, please. Reed steps on the stage with a small block in his arms. He then pushes a drum across the stage. What? You know, a drum roll. Uh. <laughs> he smiles and nods, pressing one of the myriad of buttons on the block. A mediocre recording of the drumline plays over the speakers as Spears clears his throat and tears open the envelope. And your winners for the one bill 2020 class are Lazar and Naomi. He tosses the paper over his shoulder and yanks out the crowds from a pocket inside his jacket. Spears backs out of the spotlight, giving a polite applause to the pair as they rush on stage to accept. The rest of the class is in a celebratory uproar. Spears offers the crowds to Naomi, who puts the larger one on Nacer's crest to droop off, and then dons the tiara. The whole moment is picturesque, just like Naomi wanted. <laughs> I mean, thank you all so much, Volcano High! It's such an honor to receive! I, I really don't have a speech prepared, but... That's a lie, I totally have a speech prepared! In just one short year, we... Alright, alright, but stay on schedule. Step on my moment! I promised your parents we'd be out of here by ten. <laughs> To cause off this wonderful night, I've asked a student to play one final song for us. Now I know she's played before with mixed results, but please give her a second chance. To finish up, please welcome Fang. Spears puts the microphone up and gives a welcoming applause as the cheap curtains draw open. Fang is standing on stage, front and center, guitar in hand. So the only time she plays at prom is either by herself or subsequently she kills everyone. Yes. Pretty much. 
Wait, who? She was there last time, wasn't she? I'll just start recording. She scans the room, a nervous look creeping onto her face. Those dicks. I want them. I mean... <laughs> I start waving my arms in the air, trying to catch Fang's attention. Trish sees what I'm doing, and whistles with her thumb and index finger. Who the... That the weeb? Only he would. Match made for losers. Fang notices us, and some of the nervousness melts off her face. See, she takes a deep breath and starts strumming the first notes of her song. It took half a year, but she finally completed the song from the roof. Oh, this is a new song. Is it audible on the YouTube? I, I can hear it. Okay, good. Yeah. I mean, on the YouTube, I don't know. Oh. I don't know why they wouldn't be able to. Well, it's because uh, the last time when you are playing in the room, I went back and checked. That did not pick up on YouTube, like, barely. Huh. The poopa. The cascade of chords is a slow build that increases tempo. Actually, wait, hold on. I can hear it on. I think I can hear it on YouTube. Options. I'll just turn. Naughty Excellent. stuff. Turn that up a little bit. The Cascade of Chords is a slow build that increases tempo gradually. Thinking back over all the pra- Can hear it? Okay, good. Thinking back over all the practice sessions, Fang fretted over exactly what she would play. Turns out, a rock ballad fit perfectly. As bo both as a final song for prom, and as a summation of Fang. After all, as she plays her heart out on the stage to the growing surprise and cheers of the crowd, this song is the best representation of her. Trish and I cheer Fang on loudly. The lyrics we compose together are a mix of her, admittedly overly flowery and edgy poetry from her wall, and my own shit posting. Surprisingly, it mixed well. Apparently, the rest of my classmates thought so, too. I spin around to get a better look at all the cheering students, and immediately fix my eyes on Naomi. So just, just look how happy she is. After all the other- this, all this is just keeps- it just keeps going, it's all worth it. And she looks pissed. Why is she pissed? I guess it's taking her moment. Naser looks like he's enjoying the show, however. Not wanting to let the moment go to waste, I get my phone out and zoom in as stealthfully as I can. I snap a picture of the seething prom queen before she stops off, probably complaining about how her perfect night was ruined. Shame that someone other than her gets the spotlight for once. Satisfied that Fang will enjoy seeing the picture, I begin pushing and squeezing my way towards the front of the crowd. As soon as Fang's eyes lock with mine, I catch a look of unreserved glee on her face. That same look she had during that concert at Moe's. Or when we even found Moe's in the first place. She is finally in her element, and loving every second of it. Fang's voice is beginning to grow hoarse as she nears the end of her song. As the song reaches this crescendo, her final lyrics are echoed by the crowd and reverberates through the, throughout the hall. Volcano high. And it's a lot less threatening this time. <laughs> yes. Or maybe her, she'll just kill everyone anyway. Our voice shakes as the words trail off, delivering a meteoric finale to her show. The guitar echoes for several seconds before applause begins to fill the air. Cheers that I didn't initiate this time. I begin to join in, but take notice of Fang's utterly stiff posture. Eyes wide, wings pressed against her back, legs locked like a statue. She looks like she's about to faint from shock. I realize I have an opportunity here, and stone the fuck up. God damn it, I've gotta take it! 
I push my way through the crowd and jump on the stage, taking the nearly catatonic Fang into my arms. Standing in an embrace on stage, my mind barely registers the crowd of students in front of us. Fang gasps and snaps back to reality. Oh, there goes gravity. <laughs> I can see the embarrassed mirth playing across her beautiful eyes. Shit, I'm floating! No thought at all. I press my lips against hers. See, there you go. That's, that, that's how they kiss with the snoot. Seethe. 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 Face. Fucking face. Seethe. No thought at all. I press my lips against hers. Behind me, I can hear the audience cheers grow louder. I can hear Rosa and Stella's wolf whistles inside the crowd. I can even make out Nacer, Trish, and Reed's own supportive calls. It's a picture-perfect moment. Just look at that. It should be my face getting sucked! <laughs> we have one! Wait. Missing one thing. I extend one arm out towards Naomi, who I know is suffering from rectal Ragnarok by now, and raise one finger in particular at her. There. Picture perfect. Oh, uh, I... Look at taking it in stride. I also just know it. I know it's the guy indent in the crown made for his crest. I wonder how they oh, will fit boy. a crowd on there normally. Must have been prepared in advance. <laughs> No wonder by who. My Kaikaku, it's ruined! No. Alright, now let's... So what more is there? Uh, not too much more. Okay. Turn the audio back down. Cool night air feels absolutely amazing after we spend so long in the sweat box of a gym. When I brought up calling the taxi to take us home, Fang insisted on walking instead. And I couldn't turn her down after she gave me uh, the look. Feels fucking nice now. Fucking nice. Her wings flutter, and surprises me when droplets of sweat are set flying from them. You know that wings sweat? Because I didn't until tonight. Yeah, that's weird. Yeah, nice and breezy. My arm finds its way around her waist, and Fang takes the hint and starts walking closer with me. In a companionable silence, we find ourselves drifting nowhere near Fang's home. The quiet streets of the town are lit well enough, yet provide a more interesting mystique to it. It's as we pass by the park we had visited so many months ago that my phone buzzes in my pocket. And Fang's hip. The startled noise from Fang's mouth was part eardrum shattering and part fucking hilarious. <laughs> uh, Is that a phone in your pocket or are you just superhuman? Make it vibrate. I'm assuming I'm, this is another. Uh, yeah, I'm guessing it's also. I'm trying ah, this. Yeah. I said. Sh Shut up! There you go. Her hip collides with mine, forcing my still buzzing phone roughly against my leg. <laughs> eh, sorry. One second. A check of it shows I'm getting dangerously close to my midnight curfew. Also, Reed has been texting me several pictures in rapid succession. All of them depict D King Rex dancing with every girl I know except Fang. Even Naomi, with a face fueled by pure cevium. And Stella, with a blurred gray elbow barely in frame. Yeah, got my aunt dances, dude. I like his, na his name is Reed Man. King Rex wins the day. Also, swing by the hospital sometime. Bring my backpack. <laughs> God. Explain he, later. He really does it to himself. Oh, right. The curfew. Before I could pocket my phone, Fang stops my hand. Yeah. Huh? There's something I wanted to do before we get home. Where are you hiding your smokes? That dress doesn't look like it has any pockets. 
that. Also, you have to get more creative. Trish and Spears stole my slow dance. Oh, you got them, like, tucked under your hair? Let's focus on the other thing. You owe me one. You owe me Inner one. thighs. Oh. Oh. Uh, out here, though? Why not? No one else is here. I look around and see that she's telling the truth. Oh, well, okay. Any. Before I can ask for music, uh, for a music request, Fang yanks my phone out of my hand and is already looking for one online. The music is tiny and tinny coming out of my phone's ratty speaker. Okay, now just like I saw with you and Trish. Wait, do you not know how to slow dance? I can improvise? <laughs> I chuckle as my hands finds its place on her hip and takes her other. Aww. Alright. I think she said like this. Try to explain Trish's instructions to Fang as we slowly move to the barely audible rhythm. Also, I love that they get a dance in that in this ending now. I do when you finally have someone who knows what the fuck they're doing. Yeah, that it makes a big difference, doesn't it? And between the two quiet music, the constant footstops stomps from Fang, and my own idiocy giving bad instructions, we find ourselves in a close embrace beneath the streetlights, now just swaying along and loving each other's company. Aww. Also, you're way lucky she's more secure in this ending than she is in any other. <laughs> yeah. Why? Oh, because otherwise you think she would take uh, offense at seeing you slow dance with Trish first? Uh... Two weeks later. Time seemed to fly after prom, honestly. Probably the stress of finals. And graduation rehearsals. And graduation itself. I nearly gouged out my eardrums having to sit through Naomi's speech. Revenge! Of course, the bubblegum blockhead was the valedictorian. But they're a year behind them. No, Nacer is, not her. Uh, are you sure? Yeah. Naomi likes them young. <laughs> okay. Her speech, as rehearsed as it was, still sounded like we were at a funeral. Even now, I think she's still seething from prom night. Or maybe it's the photo of her face that's currently circulating a certain Albanian car trading chat room. Infinitely better than any reaction I could have made. Okay, and on just to, just to point out, you were giving Trish a whole load of shit earlier for doxing you, and then you well, go and dox somebody well, else. Well, to be fair, it doesn't say he put put up the face. Uh, but he's the one who took the picture, right? So I just sort of assume logically. So it's not really doxing her. It's not like I, I mean, anyone yeah. online knows who she is. I I mean, it. I guess. It depends, other someone else could put up, but also it is just a face and nothing embarrassing. It's just, oh, look how upset she is. Though, I, mean, I guess it's, it is a little hypocritical if he, if he was the one who did put it up. Man, I also just don't think it feels... I still feel the hate is a little over the top. All she did was say, don't be near us at prom. Yeah, but then I, I can understand uh, Fang slapping her because she was clearly talking shit about Fang behind her back the entire yeah. time. Well, I, Generally, I think Naomi did deserve that slap. But I also think, you know, I, I liked seeing Trish get a happy ending. I really was hoping for something like that out of ending four. I'd like to see one of Naomi. I think Naomi deserves a happy ending at least one of these because I don't think, like I said, I, I definitely don't think she's the worst of these girls. Yeah, well, I mean, you do have the whole thing where it's like in the other endings. She kind of makes it seem like, oh, I want to fix Fang, so I have Nacer, you know, I get all of his attention. And, you know, it kind of sounds a little selfish, but like, oh, she's just trying to fix up, you know, her boyfriend because he's stressed over it. But yeah, then in ending four, boyfriend. Yeah. but then ending four, she comes out and it does seem like, okay, you're stealing attention from me now. Yeah, it, like, it, like, it's been ending accomplished. Four, yeah. yeah, ending four definitely goes a little over the top for in the terms of the level. Uh, and, you know, maybe it was all just hidden in all the other endings. Well, because well, well, the other thing, well, to follow up on that, was in the other one, she's like, oh, Nacer is always worrying about Fang, so she's stealing time away because he's focused on her and not me. So now you got that fixed. So now she's like, okay, now other people are, are not paying attention to me. 
She's yeah. too perfect now. You gotta dial it back a little bit, Anon. <laughs> you're, you're, you're supposed to give her a bronze medal, not a gold. Yeah, but just just if that if, if if Trish could be salvaged from the shit she pulled, I think anything Naomi has done so far is pretty paltry compared to that. About a week after, Fang came to me with news that Trish got the idea for a celebration, and Nasser was organizing it. Nasser organizing any party meant that he'd be, he'd make sure nobody had any real fun, so Fang convinced him to split up the work between the rest of us. It was Fang's job to get the pizza. I, the broke fuck that I am, was put in charge of the fire and finding a good pit for it. That's racist! <laughs> Hinkle. You people are good at making spiders, right, Anon? What do you mean by you people? I wonder what if I could sue him for hate speech. That aside... It is a bit of a short that Anon never tries to understand Naomi like he did with Nasser or Trish. I mean, yes, but it does kind of seem like Naomi wasn't really interested in reciprocating it either. Yeah. But again, I feel like it was all very over... Hmm. The hate is over the top. Yeah, but when you're in high school, everything's always, always over the top. I just don't agree. The party is at St. Hammond Beach which is just below the cliffs that make the town's namesake. The sun had already set when we get there, the starry sky illuminating the whole place in a pale blue. I got to the site a bit earlier and got to set it up, an impressive fire pit with meticulously set stones surrounding it, and logs set in an ideal tower for an overnight blaze. Everything is ready, so where is everyone else? We agreed to meet at 7, right? Right as I reach into my pocket for my phone, a, fa a van chugs onto the sand from the distance. It stops right in front of me, and Trish flies out the side door, gasping for breath. <laughs> you look like you just got choked out by spears. She points you back like to- that, wouldn't you? She points back to the van. The driver's door opens letting out a gust of smoke from within. Reed emerges from the cloud, as if nothing's wrong. Reed, your car! What? It's green. It runs entirely on natural fuel, dude. <laughs> you like that? It's electric. I... <laughs> <laughs> Trish collapses in the sand. Before I could check if she's still breathing, a stereotypical mariachi car horn catches my attention. I swing around and catch Stella and Rosa exiting a hot pink Prius, each with a pair of phone speakers in their hands. Waving to them, my focus returns to Reed, now helping Trish off the ground. Diverting my attention back at my masterpiece of a fire pit, the realization slowly dawns on me that I have nothing to start the fire with. You light, amigo. Before I can respond, he reaches into his pocket and fishes out a lighter, which is promptly tossed my way. He's got one on hand for twelve. Catching it out, catching it out of the air, I only briefly catch the words "fuck communism" engraved in its side when I hear yet another car approaching. Communism. Okay. What a hot take. <laughs> well, yeah, hot because it's a lighter. You're fired. Recognizing it by sound alone, I see the NASCAR glide to a halt next to Rose's car. That name might still be dumb as hell, but I gotta admit it's growing on me. Fang emerges from the back seat and waves at me. She hunches into the car to get out the pizza boxes and starts striding towards us. We got a full screen here. Oh, come on, babe. You know she didn't do it on purpose. Am I right? Right. 
Oh. Like, MRI is like the joke, okay. Naomi erupts from the car in a frothing rage. Her shirt noticeably stained an orange red. <laughs> Wish I did. Oh yeah, the box on top is a bit messed up. Uh, long story. How on earth did you throw a pizza on me from the back seat and get it back in the box? Azur, bro, you were driving the whole time, right? Yeah, why? Just a feeling. This stuff has been happening ever since that picture of me was posted online! Relax, babe, it's the start of summer. Here, take my jacket. Nacer starts sliding the jacket off his back, and... What, what the? What is this non-Euclidean bullshit I see before me? Why is there a second jacket below the first? <laughs> Reed taps my back and pulls my eyes away from the spatial anomaly. Hurry up and start the fire, man. Cold. We're cold-blooded. And I got the booze already. They're all cold-blooded, so they huddle around Anon for warmth. Once the bonfire was set ablaze, Stella and Trish started setting up the speakers around in a radius. You sure these will be that little? They're only a few dollars at the supermarket? Oh yeah, those will be louder than the cafe this time. I want the coffee to be louder than the stereo! That makes no sense. Anyway. Yeah, I'm, I'm just noticing this. It's almost a perfect divide of you guys each alternating a voice on the on the lineup, except for Fang and Naomi here. Hello. Reed drops the ice chest he was holding in the sand. Anyway, hasn't history proven that Marx's vision of an egalitarian utopia is unattainable, inevitably creating an oligarchy more oppressive to the proletariat than the Brugois vilifies? I feel like he's read something. <laughs> nah, dude. <laughs> Anyways, went all in, man. Got the name brands and everything. Yeah, we talk about that. It's just Reed being Reed. I'm surprised you got Nasser to let you bring this stuff. Nasser returns to the rest of the group, wearing his jacket again. Probably you agree to what? About that, you know. You brought alcohol? Yeah, dude. I mean, I usually just call it liquor, but... Liquor? I hardly know her. <laughs> <laughs> Naomi? I brought wish! Lead. We're all underage, you know, even if I were to agree, Naomi would pitch a fit. Dude, we all just graduated. That means we're legal, dude. Now isn't the time to live a little, then when? When, dude? Nasser hesitates. I didn't graduate. I, I did think of you and Naomi. Huh? Yeah, I got a special brand just for the two of you. Great beginner stuff, dude. Are you... Uh, whatever. I'll try to keep Naomi from calling the police. Fine. Like her face showed, she is totally planning to call the police. You're a real bro, man. You're a real man, bro. Everyone's ready then? Let's get this party started. Chris just has the smug face the whole time, and I love it. Soon enough, the pizza and booze are passed out, and we're all sitting in the sand around the blazing fire and the weekly top 40 list playing on the speakers. Yeah. Everyone is con conversating amongst themselves. Conversating. Oh, look at them. Ah, oh, that's great. I totally in. Come on, you look right in it. So like, you got you got the pizza box. You got some Kanye's. I can't read what the beer says. Is it burning pizza? Also, she's got scaly legs. 
What do you expect from this? Shave the scales? <laughs> no fucking, no fucking way that's fucking real. Beach maid? Have you been, have you been sneaking Reed's stash again? Beach maid? And, and another thing! Why does Adon keep stealing the beer out of these cans? I have no idea how he does it! <laughs> a great bastard! Her song wasn't even that good! <laughs> Adon, stop stealing my beer! Why does it also get the, the short end of the stick? I mean... I mean, I liked it. You said that a dozen times already! If you like it so much, why don't you fuck it? You know, I'm something of a gardener myself. Oh, really? You should have joined the gardening club back at school and we had the loveliest little puppy bed! Puppies, you say? The coincidences keep piling up, don't they? <laughs> And the robots are powered by that blood. Super cool, right? Look at how annoyed Anna is. <laughs> He's like, God damn, if this Stegosaur don't just shut the fuck up. <laughs> oh, right. Stella was talking to me. Forgot why I was zoning out a bit. Wait, what is she referencing? That the robots are powered by their blood. Who knows? Could be any number of things. That seems like a very common anime trope. True. Yeah, this picture as your desktop background. This does make a great background. Ah, oh, sure. Yeah. Ray, I'll get my copy and we can watch it at your place sometime. Oh, Brink Fang too. She'd love this movie too. Did I just agree to something? Oh, enough about... Escaflown. Escaflown. Yeah, oh, I, I think I know this oh well, there we go. That's that's where the robots, blood robots. Okay. I want to show you something neat. She brings a small box from her front pocket. I got a new set of tarot cards. You want to be the first to use them? I don't see why not. Stella shifts to a crisscross position and fans out all the cards for me to pick from. I pull one out and turn it over. The, the lovers? No, it's me. Oh. The lovers? The illustration depicts a human and pterosaur in embrace. But adorable. I raise an eyebrow at Stella. What's that look for? Oh, come on. Oh, you know, the higher the cars and all that. Go ahead and keep that one. I sigh and tuck the card into my jacket pocket. You did that on purpose, didn't you? Stella's not-so-innocent smile tells me all that I need to know. Rosa and Reed apparently finished their botanical conversation, and were listening it in on Stella's entire fortune. Oh, hey, do me next, man. And then get my tarot card afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'll let her read. I'm busy trying to steal Anon from Fang. Reed deflates a bit, and my attention returns to the inebriated couple behind him. What did you even give Nacer to get them that wasted? Raid glances behind him before throwing his head back in laughter. A little party trick, bro. He grabs one of Nacer's empty cans and tosses it in my lap. Holding it up to the light, I barely make out the words non-alcoholic written in microscopic font. So you mean they're... Totally sober, dude. It's all in the mind. It's my turn to laugh at the pair, making fools of themselves, when Fang suddenly gets up and starts walking towards the parked cars. You think you saw an art of this card? Oh yeah, I've seen art of that too. Art of the cards? Uh... Yeah, someone... Someone did... Someone does... Someone's doing... Uh, where, where's the Boru? So I'm pretty sure it's just the first image on the Boru. Yep. 
There it is. Yeah, still zero. Oh god, that was huge. Where? Wait, where'd it go? It's huge. Um. Uh, okay. Yeah, that was huge. It 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 shows up, then it disappears immediately. I don't get it. I'm not sure if I'm. I'm not sure if I'm seeing. Are you sharing anything? I'm, I'm trying to. Pull, I'm trying to drag oh, into OBS to show oh, on the okay, screen. Okay, now, now for flat for half a second it showed. Yeah. Okay. Save image. I can't just drag it in from the browser. I gotta mess around with stuff. There we go. Now I scale it down. Oh my god, why is this so huge? That's Every card can be the same, or it's that's possible... That's what she said. Or it's possible that, oh, okay. uh... She's just really see. good at, uh... Card tricks, and just... Force him to pick the right one. There we or go. It was on top. She, she's just like a magician. It's oh, a, I see. Yeah. Okay, now I see it. Yeah, it's a very nice Aww. design. It's cute. Yeah, it's very cute. Also got a shirt with that on it because uh, the guy put his designs under Redbubble a while ago. But then they're, but now they're gone. So I don't know if that was intentional or if I don't know. He just took his account down, or something else took it down. It is a picture that takes place in the same place where he, where uh, she dies in another. Sure, sure it is on the rooftop. Jeez, well, because that, that is. is where they had their first kiss, kind of. That is also true. Very nice. It's probably a much more romantic way to think about it. Yes. Let's go with that. Go with the romance, not the bad stuff. It's my turn to laugh as the pair making fool of themselves when Fang gets up and so starts walking towards the parked cars. That's something I want to do. I'll be right back. She goes in peace. I give her a smile and turn back to Reed. We can still mess with the men. Check this out. Hey, Nazar, what's your plan now that you're, like, out of school and stuff? Oh, yeah. I guess he I did just... graduate, even though he's, like, what, two or three years younger than Fang? Yeah, either that was an inconsistency, or he could have just graduated early, because, I mean, I knew people who only did three years of high school. Either that, or just messing with him, because he's drunk, so he's just going to answer anyways. The two virgin drunks turn their attention to us. Nasser clearly deep in thought. Oh man, like I'm gonna be gonna go and be a ner nairu sturgeon. Uh, now who's saying the fish stuff? <laughs> what the? So got cut off. Cutting out just makes it more drunk. Gross. I lean towards Reed and lower my voice. Should we tell them? Nah, dude. Naomi's having fun for like the first time ever. So tomorrow then? Yeah, definitely tomorrow, bro. It wasn't tomorrow. It wasn't tomorrow. <laughs> Reed lets out a sigh and turns back towards me. What is that a reference to? What? That it wasn't tomorrow? No, it's not a reference, just that they don't tell them tomorrow, just to see how long they go, they can go with uh -huh. it. They're like, for real though, dude, what are you gonna do that, that like, school's out for over? Man. Hmm. This, might be, this might be our last choice. Go to college. I kind of like the idea of uncertainty. And I'm still... Go to college. Go to college? Oh, we, it was always the option of college or military, so if we say not certain just yeah. yet, it seems to suggest that he's going to be going to the military if he says not to college. Does this, does this choice change anything? Oh, well, it changes dialogue, obviously, but probably but, not. Like, yeah, I don't, re I don't recall there being a choice when I went oh, through, I dig for it, but yeah, it's not going to affect anything. I'm, gonna, I'm cool saying going to college because we've seen the other two options yeah. being military. Or get a job. The other option was get a job. It was either job, military, or college. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'll go with college. We'll go with college. Well, Spears convinced me to send out a couple application letters for college. They could have doing something with music. 
maybe becoming a sound engineer. That would be adorable. Oh, nice, dude. You can be like the band sound technician when you're done. Yeah, something like that. What about you? Me? Low with the go, dude. Like dinos of old, gotta get in sync with the universe first, you know? Deal the meteors before they breach the atmosphere. Right. What about... Ah. I'm gonna go get my cosmetologist license and open my own horn salon. The miniature triceratops bursts out from the other side of the bonfire, catching me off guard. We'll do hair and horns and piercings and all engravings too. Fang even said that would be that I'd be your first customer. Yes, I told you a million times by now. Fang returns from wherever it was she went, now carrying an object in her hands. The flickering light of the bonfire is enough to illuminate the cover of the school yearbook she's holding. Without a word, she walks in front of us, conspicuously carrying the yearbook right towards. You're not gonna burn your yearbook, are you? That thing was like 80 bucks. What now? How drunk are you, you dork? This many. This many. I hold up three fingers. So why is it suddenly nine? Yeah, that seems about right. Hmm. Gonna need some more beer to fix that. God, Anne, I was thinking we could all, I don't know, sign it? I saw a lot of others doing that. Oh. Oh, so it's a little note. The her walking up to the bonfire with the yearbook was a reference to the to the Goodbye Volcano High trailer, because they show her walking up and then actually throwing it in there. Oh. Ah, Jesus Christ, that's great. God, these things cost almost as much as the fucking tickets. Why would I burn it? <laughs> I always thought it was a silly tradition. Think back to all the yearbooks I have back home, and how they're all blank inside the cover. Totally just a silly tradition. I don't have yearbooks. I mean, why else would I even have one of these things if we weren't going to sign it? Your mom? Side from my mom. Me first, me first. Trish is already fumbling through her hoodie pocket for some writing implement. Yes, I would love to make thing, thing. I would love to thing. Sometimes the F's look like artists to me! Oh, I know exactly what to write. First, let me do a palm reading. Eh, I'll sign it too. How do you spell read? <laughs> Woo! <laughs> the yearbook makes its way around the fire, each of us leaving some meaningful message on its inside covers. I'm the last to receive the book, and I look at what each of our friends wrote. You'll always be... That's like a mix of Trish and Stella. You'll always be my best friend, no matter what happens, Lucy. Trish. Lucy? Heh, <laughs> nah. Fang will always be Fang to me. Hey, Frosty. Wow, Rain. he even drew King Rex, complete with fire breathing. All the dinosaurs feared the T-Rex, dude. <laughs> Even the most wilted flower flourishes under God's light. Closer. I think reading that one counts as counts for my f next few church visits. Amen, Raptor Jesus. The future is something that you build by yourself, Stella. So close to kneecapping her with this book. Fucking Sailor Moon. <laughs> hmm. I can't decipher either Nasser's or Naomi's. Nasser looks like a bunch of chicken scratch scribbles, while Naomi's looks like her chickens went to college and got a doctorate. Anon, hello. You've been staring at the page for like the past five minutes. Right, right. Uh, just uh, thinking of what to put. Okay, Anon. Something meaningful. Something that'll remind Fang of you every time she reads it. Oh no. Okay, each of you think of a line. Uh, one second, you actually type this out? Yeah. Okay, one second, give me a second. Each of you think of a line, we'll all write something. 
Yeah, I... I'm trying to think of, like, something just horrifically Anon to say. Very <laughs> Anon. Y you too, Anon. Ah, <laughs> oh, boy, this is difficult. Mm. It's not, it's uh, I, I like Gex Swords. You were more than just a dream. Right, oh yeah, here. what's the title of your video? More, more than just the, a dream. Yeah. Kind of feel like it's got to be that. So that's what you're going with? Yeah. You were more than just... Shima, where are you going with? I... I, I gotta go with something very, very short and sweet. I love you, Sweet Tooth. Okay. I love you, Sweet Tooth. Keep on rocking, babe. Perfect. I hand the yearbook to Fang. She skims the page, then shakes her head. Really, Anon? You're such a dweeb. Damn it. Thanks, you too, is perfectly stupidly Anon. <laughs> <laughs> it was very fitting, if you ask me. As the night draws on and the temperature falls, we move closer to the fire. My fingers find themselves interlocked with fangs, and her wing drapes over my shoulder as a natural blanket. I can't help but smile as we slowly drift off to sleep around the campfire. I can regret the hangover tomorrow. Right now, I just want to enjoy the night with my friends. I'm glad we got some Stella and Rose in there. Yeah, yeah, me too. It's a very nice collection of everybody involved. And everybody's friends still. Six months later. After prom night and graduation life slowed down, I've been accepted to a college a few states away for a degree in sound engineering. No worries about school except for the lunch card I still had to pay back. Well, I've been kind enough to give me a summer job to help with that. Though I don't think I could talk about some of the things I've seen. I'm gonna do something with it, Jerry, and he's out, and now that Anon's in. Oh, damn it, Jerry! I'll never be able to look at Marinara the same way. We just to call it the Jerry Nera now. But pasta. Jerry Nera. But pasta sauce, pasta based drama aside, it's now the day after Christmas. Dang, we're three weeks early. Ah, look at that. They're in bed. Sitting on my bed, looking through one of my favorite presents. Fake's mom was right. I am happy about all those photos. As I look through the scrapbook spread across my lap, I can't help but reminisce about the best year of my life. He has two beds in his bed. Room. Uh, that's my slack now. I have to contain my laugh, but Fang looks ridiculously cute curled up beside me in my bed. Not cute, sexy. <laughs> curled up around my pillow, suckling on her thumb. I go back to the scrapbook, enjoying the memories I've shared with my friends. And to think I wanted to stay a loner when I first got here. Beep boop beep. Verm. No, it's supposed to be Vaverm, game. Uh, I'm up. I'm up. The loud noise of Trish's present makes Fang bolt upright. Oof! Did, did Trish give her a vibrator? The only way to get me up in the mornings. Oh. <laughs> and sends me tumbling onto Reed's present. A dildo. The new Metal Gear Rainbow Mark II bumps against my face, turns, and continues eating the crumbs off my new carpet. Yes, a degree in sounding. That's what he's going for. <laughs> Even from the floor, I could say that both were really thoughtful gifts. Reed was right. The carpet really helped tie the room together. Anon, you there? Oh, look, we actually do have the carpet. A less cum stain. On the floor. Less cum stains on the floor, that's true. They're just... Fang's face appears over the edge of my bed. On Fang now. I 
are you on the floor? I'm doing the dinosaur. Yoga? I sit up from the floor and shiver. Volcadera Bluffs may not get snow, but the cold air on the ocean definitely make the town cold as shit. I crawl back onto my bed. I try to find a spot. Try to find my spot that I warmed. Fang, you stole my warm spot! In fact, she's taken up the entire bed. Her wings are spread wide, and all of my blanket has been piled over her. Come on, you gotta let your boyfriend freeze? Hey. That's just cold of you. She no, that's just cold outside. She groans at my pun, but acquiesces, holding open the blanket and shuffling over. Hurry up, you're letting the warm escape. I slide into the blanket next to her, my arms automatically wrapping around Fang's waist and drawing her against my chest. Her beak rubs against me as she hums. Ah yes, cuddles, the best way to spend a cold day. I'm right. I chuckle and reach for the scrapbook. You looking at that again? Yeah. Her face glows a soft pink in embarrassment. Ah, someone's embarrassed. Someone is about to be on the floor again. Vroom. Beep boop beep. I think Mark II would like the company. Sheesh, <laughs> you're always so grouchy in the morning. I laugh, even as her elbow digs into my chest. Fang crawls on top of me and puts all her weight down on my lungs. I only laugh more. Not like Fang could do what a staircase could. Later. I'm cold. I need warmth. <laughs> oh, 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 right, all right, all right, all right. Cuddles it is. Only vaguely implied sex. She squeals when I roll us onto our side, bringing us face to face. Therefore, not as good as ending one. I can feel my face glow as warm as hers, but I also have that same smile as her, too. I place a chaste kiss on the end of her snoop. Eliciting some giggles from Fang. What did I say about that? About what? Kissing that. Mmm. Gonna need to be more specific. Kissing my nose. It's so weird. Oh, you mean this? I kiss her snoot again. It's not messing with the snoot. The snoot is not for lewd. I chuckle again. I made you say it! Fucking insufferable! I kiss the snoot one final time and get another elbow as my reward. Insufferable. I snatch the scrapbook at last. Fang groans and hides her face on my chest. You like that thing so much. Because your mom was right. Because your mom's in it. Uh, Hinkle, you got another conflicting opinion. Cuddles are greater than sex, so this one ending's better. I don't, I don't disagree. And it could have been cuddles, you know. Uh, true, they never specifically say they got down and dirty with ending one. Just that Fang pushed it on into his bed, and then things got dark. Well, you gotta leave something for the subtext, kids. <laughs> Also, cuddles on a cold on a, a nice winter morning. That just sounds perfect. Fang groans again. Yeah, get get getting wings wrapped around you, then you bundle up under a layer of blankets. God, that sounds amazing. Come on, there's some embarrassing pics of me in here too. I think you making out with an anime girl again? <laughs> okay, not that embarrassing. <laughs> 
I turn onto my back, and Fang adjusts herself to lean on my shoulder. Thank God I never have to compete with Sailor Moon. <laughs> the rest of our morning is spent cuddled in my bed, going through the scrapbook together. When lunchtime rolls around, I have to face reality and make something to eat. Especially since no restaurant in the city will deliver to this neighborhood. Alas, I must leave the warmth of the bed to make lunch. This is gonna suck. Where the thing? I'd rather just carry the blanket around. Mine. This is my blanket. This is my bed. Ugh. This is my Mine. rifle. This is my gun. I'll, is my... I'll, I'll just carry you and the blanket around. I reach under the bed to retrieve the bag I tried hiding, and I pull out the jacket from within. Two expertly stitched gorilla heads stare back at me, with the text Monkey for Life embroidered in gold thread. What? I still don't know if Nasser is racist or if he really is just that clueless. <laughs> this is this is great. Oh my God. It looks freaking fantastic. I don't know why you don't want to wear it. Hey, you don't see anything wrong with this. Nope. You realized last month was Homo History Month, right? Very <laughs> poor choice of name. <laughs> Wait, last month wasn't June? What's that have to do with an ugly jacket? I'll sue them later. <laughs> Alright, here I go. I zip the abomination on and step out of bed, the wall of cold stinging my toes. <laughs> Oh, you actually got image. You know, it looks actually it looks not bad. The Friday yeah, it actually looks pretty, looks pretty cool. good. I was actually expecting when he described it, I thought it was like basically a. It was basically like an ugly sweater that just looked like a giant hairy gorilla chest. <laughs> life on the back, but that actually looks stylish. Carbonara sound good. Why do you make it sound so? Why do you make it so weird? Most people just use tomato sauce. Don't ask questions you aren't prepared to know the answer to. I crack four eggs, separating the yolk from the whites and saving them in Tupperware for later. Maybe a simple custard pudding for dessert later. I grab oh, that's very uh, resourceful. I grab some bacon, cheese, and milk from the fridge, grating a healthy handful of cheese into the yolks and mixing with a splash of milk before dicing the bacon. Boiling some water in the kettle to save time, I measure out the appropriate amount of spaghetti and toss it in the pot with the water and some salt before grabbing a pan and setting it on the stove. Oh shit, Anon learned to cook. Stop acting like you're on the cooking channel, Anon. I mean, I was going with food wars, but okay. <laughs> you're, not, you're, not, you're not Gordon Ramsay, just make me breakfast. <laughs> I start frying the bacon to render out the fat before adding in some pre-chopped garlic, sautéing until it's fragrant. When the bacon turns crispy, just in time for the spaghetti to finish cooking, I remove the pan from the heat while throwing in some of the pasta water to bring down the temperature. Why are you reading it all out like people are just going to be listening <laughs> to the, into this uh, replicating the recipe? The final step was to add the yolks, cheese, and milk to the bacon and garlic with some more pasta water and toss it with the spaghetti until it all came together as a creamy, salty, and delicious lunch. Perfect for a nice winter day. And all in less than 10 minutes. It's all ready. All right, Rainbow, nap time. Move to the rug so we can eat. Fang grumbles and starts shifting in the bed. So I turn my attention to making the plates. I grab a few sodas. Hey, she, she gets a shirt in this ending too. Yep. See, ending, uh, this is the best ending overall. All, all the stuff you get. Yeah. Grab a few sodas from the fridge and place everything on the new rug for an indoor picnic setup. Fangs moved from being wrapped up on the bed to being wrapped up on the rug, laying on her stomach. Her feet wagging back and forth in a pair of plush green dino slippers. Better hurry. In this weather, this will get cold in minutes. Then again, the computer's right there. I can always try running the snoot coin miner. <laughs> 
Sounds like it'd only work once. True. We both start eating the pasta. While I take the classic approach of just slurping the noodles, Fang has a harder time. I resort to just twisting the fork around and eating a whole clump at once. You plan on enjoying any? Good. Like the, uh, cheese. Why, thank you. Eventually, lunch is reduced to greasy plates and crushed soda cans. Fang moves her traps aside and rests in her arms. Oh, I just remembered. I have something else for you. Another Christmas present? You'll see. Oh, I'm just noticing she doesn't have her, her the eyeliner stuff on. Now it's huh. in the morning, she just woke up. Yeah. yeah. But I never, it's just neat to see what she looks like without it. I take the f my phone from my pocket and lay it face up on the carpet. Your phone? Hold on. From under my bed, Rainbow Mark 1 hums to life and instinctively makes a beeline for the phone. It struggles a bit due to the small package strapped around it like it's a pack mule. Fang has to raise her arm after it bumps into her to let it pass. It reaches my phone and starts happily scraping the dust from it. Impressive. Did you get Reed to make that do that for you? Maybe. However, that's not why I wanted to show you. I remove the small package from the robot and hand it to Fang. Go ahead. This is a straight-on Phineas moment right here. <laughs> yeah. Straight-on snoot. Mm -hmm. Straight-on snoot. She examines the box carefully before removing the paper packaging. Sliding the box open reveals an amber pendant on a silver chain. I take the necklace from the box and hold it up for both of us to inspect. As the amber dangles in the air, it catches the light from outside and glows the same brilliant orange as her eyes. Ah, it's, it's beautiful. Here. I take the pendant from her hands and hold it open to put around Fang's neck. She holds her hair up for my hands to reach across. I try to fumble with the clasp. It's a bit tricky with the wings getting in the way. The tip of her beak is mere centimeters from my face. There. Fang lets her hair down again and holds up the pendant. Um, th this, when I got to this, well, that's what sealed the deal for me on Fang. I mean, I was basically almost all the way there, but that this is when I knew this is waifu that is a, status. That is, a, that is a pretty cute status. That, I mean, that's a pretty cute look right there. Th this is a girl that's pure waifu material. Your taste is weird. Your taste is weird. Thank you, Anna. The moment I saw it, I knew it would have been the perfect present. She gestures her snout to the ukulele resting against the corner of the room. You gonna try playing that? I could, yeah. Do, uh, do that song I taught you. I happily oblige. I rip the bo off the bow still wrapped around the small instrument. I'm not singing for you. You know that, right? Fang giggles as I begin plucking away at the tiny little strings producing a very familiar melody. She starts thumbing her new pendant absentmindedly. My shrill rendition more resembled that first time Fang played it on the rooftop than her energetic performance at prom. Despite my occasional fumbling, it still possesses that same nostalgic tone it always had. When Fang begins humming along, I soon find myself joining in to make the song sound complete. 
I wish moments like these could last forever. But just like the music in the air, they always do before long we reach the end of the song. A comfortable silence fills the room after the notes fade. I love that song. I hope so. You wrote it, after all. Yeah, but you know we... Her thought is interrupted by a knock at the door. You expecting company? I give her a puzzled look in return, before getting up and heading to the door. My momentary fear of it being a potential addict or murderer are quelled upon opening the door. Revealing? Principal Spears? What are you doing here? Oh, wow, okay. <laughs> Our ex-principal is squeezed into the narrow hallway, holding a delicately wrapped gift in his hands. I'm trusting you had a good Christmas. Normally I wouldn't visit a former student like this, but I intend on making a... I'm making light of my offering during the school year. Can I go put pants on first? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's, that's a good point. She's not wearing it. Before we, before we let company in, can I get dressed? Oh, you got the blanket. You're fine. You're longer one of my students, you know? <laughs> <laughs> uh, he, he's got his own fang. Aha! <laughs> <laughs> He extends the gifts towards me, and I cautiously accept, beginning to open the wrapping, the, beginning to open the wrapping paper. Wrapping paper. Inside is a box set of some anime I've never heard of before. Oh my god. Ru no. Ru Kenshin. Said I am always open to give some quality anime suggestions. <laughs> So if he just follows through in on that months and months later. I think you'll find this quite enjoyable. He's just teaching the life lesson. There's nothing to be ashamed of. I, uh, thank you, Principal Spears. Spears gives a fatherly smile as I shake his hand. I hope you and Fang enjoy the rest of your holidays with pants. Thanks, yeah. I've had fun exchanging gifts with my friends. I can see you're wearing a new jacket now. He stares with a certain a certain thinly veiled disgust creeping on his face. <laughs> and I, I get that we live in a post-racial world and all, but come on, have a little pride in yourself. It's for the record that was my brother who did it. Fang struggles to keep her laughter in behind me. Ah, it's cool, Mr. Spears. I've taken Monkey back. Monkey. <laughs> so... At any rate, I shouldn't keep you too long. Put some pants on. <laughs> I have pants well, on. Well, now I'm not just not in the mood. You sure? I have some leftover lunch if you want to stick around for a bit. I appreciate the offer, but I have my own plans for a bunch of my family. Yeah, he's got a nice big T-Rex waiting for him. Alright, thanks for stopping by. I had to do it at least once before you leave next month. Be seeing you, Fang. Are guitars and ukulele similar? I think it's close enough in being string instruments, and also probably that most people get ukuleles as a starting thing, either as a yeah. gift or just, oh, I'll get a guitar, I'll start with the small thing first. Fang throws a hand wave back at him. Spears clambers out the door and shuts it behind him, leaving just Fang and I in the room again. Cool, now we don't need pants anymore. I just feel like wearing them on principal. No, the principal just left, though. Right. Oh yeah, that's right, you're leaving next month. Fang curls up in the blanket. Oh. Yeah. 
I sit next to her on the ground and wrap an arm around her shoulder. Do you really have to go? Can't you just go to community college here in the city? You've seen the acceptance letter, Fang. I got a scholarship to stay there at a fraction of the cost. I just can't pass that up. Five years? You got plans of your own, don't you? Yeah, so... So... We're still gonna talk. Obviously. But... Fang takes a deep breath. I'm not doing a distant relationship. Oh. Oh, wow. Is, is this a breakup? Because, ow, my fucking heart. Fang shakes her head from side to side slowly. Oh, thank fuck. I don't want to break up, Anna. But I was thinking, you've been helping me ever since you got here. Yeah, and you've helped me too. I know. But you're leaving for college. So... I... I want to do some thinking. More thinking? Wow, that's new for you. The plastic plate bounces off my head harmlessly. Ask. In case it didn't go through. <laughs> there you go. Fake giggles as I fake like I'm on a soccer pitch. I want to do more thinking. Self-reflecting. This entire year has been one of the best of my life. And I want more of them just like this. But with you gone, I've got to make them good on my own, you know? I get you. I pull Fang closer, my chin resting atop her head. So, not breaking up. No, just... A break? She giggles again. Yeah, a break sounds right. Not breaking up, just taking a break. Plus, I'm not leaving for a few weeks. Fang perks up. True, that's a few weeks to cram in all the cuddles I'll be missing. Cuddles or cuddles? Fang's grin is just shy of mischievous. On the bed, now. I'm collecting five years worth of cuddles right now. Oh my. Yes, ma'am. And then they died. Because <laughs> they forgot to eat or drink. <laughs> For three weeks. The spirit is willing, but the body was weak. <laughs> Five, Five years later. Holy moly, that's the biggest time skip yet. I mean, hold on. It's just college. A few states away. Yeah. But, but it's not like the military. Yeah, they can't, he can visit. <laughs> well, yeah, remember, they, they didn't break up. It's just a break. Yeah, but again, he... They, I don't know. I don't think it's implying that they don't speak in that entire time frame okay. in this one either. Yeah. <laughs> July 17th. Year 201,020,025 BC. Volcadera Bluffs. Weather conditions, hot as tits. The evening sun is boiling hot and I'm reminded of one of the myriad of reasons why I first loathed living here. The sweat dripping in my eyes makes it difficult to see anything five feet in front of me. Like a runt of a tree planted in the sidewalk that I swerve to avoid. The air is hot and humid and I can feel my body grow heavier as I get closer. I can't determine if it's from the sweat soaking my clothes or the welling trepidation inside me. It's been five years since I've seen anyone here. Why? I've kept in touch with all of them. Okay, see, there we go. But to see them again in person? It's the sounds that reach me first. The chatter of people milling about. 
Oh. It, oh, okay, I, so it's the same person. I assume I, I'm, it could I'm guessing. I'm assuming it's. It's been too long. Oh, never mind. Oh, okay, no, it's yeah. just multiple people. It was only five years. <laughs> Whoever that is. Some random dino. I can make out the building now. I use the sleeve of my shirt to wipe the sweat from my eyes and brow. I look at the name written on the arch over the entrance. Volcano High. Still the perfect setting for a horror game. Or maybe a shitty wad. The attempt at humoring myself just made me feel more anxious. <laughs> a check of my phone says I'm 30 minutes early. Wonderful. I move to the entrance, only to see the steps occupied by 20-somethings waiting. Yo, yeah. this the line? Head on? A hobo raptor at the top of the steps pulls his oversized shades down to peer at me. <laughs> oh. Oh, it's the, it's the pan. Because I, I always wonder why is he called <laughs> hobo? He, 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 that's not looking good. What's up, dude? I immediately recognize his voice. Hey, Reed. What's happening? You seem to have certainly, uh... changed. Why do you look like... I, I don't want to sound rude or anything, but... You look homeless, Reed. No, dude, I just dress like this because people give me money for some reason whenever I dress like this. Oh, well, I respect the hustle. Dude. dude, I'm not a homo. I'm the richest raptor in the world, guy. I think Reed's lost it. What'd you say, man? What? Nothing. No idea what you're talking about. So, how did you get to become the richest raptor in the world? You wouldn't believe it, man. See, it all started with... Reed proceeds to run his mouth off about a bunch of gibberish. Then I start investing in Bitcoin, and you wouldn't believe where that went, dude. I cannot understand anything he's saying. I think I heard pharmaceutical business at one point. Something about a dog? What? You know, like and do then I was doge. Brought here by... oh. and, then, and then I was brought here by the birds, dude. So, what have you been up to, man? You look like you haven't changed a day. Yeah, I changed my clothes. Whoa, this just blew my mind. It's not as exciting as your story, honestly. I just went off to college, got my bachelor's, and now I'm just a sound engineer. That sounds pretty sweet, dude. We stand there for a moment in the blazing heat. Dude, it's fucking hot out here. You want to get inside? They got drinks and shit. Definitely. I need some air conditioning. We quickly moved along to the gymnasium. Man, it really hasn't changed. Takes me back. Yeah, it takes me back too, dude. Hold on, have you signed in yet? No, didn't know I had to. Read gestures to the sign-in table. <laughs> the clerk is crouched behind the table, sorting through a box. I go over to write in my John Hancock, and the person behind the counter stands up. My nose is assaulted by the pheromones of perfumes that probably cost more than a year's salary. Adorable! Cute. <laughs> oh, you made it! Yeah, I did. Life been treating you well? Oh yes, just last year I moved in with my dear Kanyasaurus! Kanyasaurus. What the fuck is this world anymore? Uh, real shame about his last presidential run. What? Over it. It's always 2028. 
Presidential Yeezys will show rise again, he says! What the fuck? That, Shit. Remi <laughs> that reminds me. Have you seen Naser's college post? He got top marks on his last exam. No, I left touch with him about three years ago! Huh. Once you go Kanye Soros, you never go back! Well, that didn't rhyme. <laughs> oh. I'm not the rapper in this family, he is! Wait, I thought he was a Kanye Soros, not a raptor. <laughs> Suck it on! Ah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> How about work then? I haven't been working, mostly just staying back at home and looking after the kids! Ah, sounds like you got a pretty good deal going on. I turn around to see a short line forming behind me. Also, wow, did she get shorter or did Anon get t a lot taller? Anon Anon's definitely got taller, but... Anon's huge now. Uh, sorry to keep you so long. I'll get out of here. Thanks for catching up, Anon! When I'm done here, we can chat some more! Are you still poor? I'm gonna ignore that. I go rejoin Reed as we enter the gymnasium together. This is this is building up for Trish cocking us. The setup is rather similar to that prom night all those years ago, albeit without the foreign decor. Naomi becomes a typical boring wife. I mean, I won't say typical boring. She just I don't know. Just be, she 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 became a trophy wife. There we go. That's the word. Typical boring wife. I mean. I wouldn't call a trophy wife typical. Young, Fair enough. Don't cute, though. Young men and women mingle with the small drinks and party foods across the floor. Yeah, those look good. Come over here, I'll get you a drink on me. Gotta have it in a cup? I mean, <laughs> sure, if you wanna do it that way, dude. Sounds weird, though. I mean, I owe you a drink on me. I follow him over to the mini bar. Trish is sitting in one of the seats, huddled over an empty glass. Rosa is pouring drinks for the few other drunkards when she spots us approach. Anon got taller, remember ending three. Oh yeah, he did get a little taller in that. Oh, Anon, it is so great to see you after all this time! Please sit and talk a while! Yeah, Trish! Glad we found you here. She looks up from her sulking, and her face lights up at the sight of us. Add on! It's been years! Trish! Rosa! Glad we found you here! Come on, man. We've been texting this whole time. Reed flashes two fingers at the barkeeper, who sets out a few glasses. I'm kind of surprised there's no reaction to Trish when you guys have reactions to Naomi. Uh, you know, she definitely looks very cute. It's just, I, I mean, I've had a soft spot for how Naomi looks since the start of the game. Trish is a very, I, she looks very professional. Yeah. Very yeah. businesslike. I would not have expected. Yeah. Yeah. Good to see you, too. Why are you looking so gloomy over here? Well, she's been telling me all about how it is the end of her world. It's nothing that serious, just workplace drama. What, your employers raise another beef with the concept of horn piercings again? No, this time it is with the engraving tools! Oh right, she was gonna start that business. The cosmetology. Yeah, she's gonna become a horn stylist. Yeah. They're telling me people would rather go to the dentist with all the drills we use. And mostly with my designs for hollowed out horns. Probably not safe. I mean, the horns grow back, so I could see that working for a bit. Rosa instinctively rubs her own horn. A hollow? Of course, I even got in contact with a sculptor and figured out how to make make them whistle in the wind. 
Reed leads in to whisper in my ear. What does the design sound like Road Warrior, dude? I shudder at the image. Don't knock it. My satisfaction rate is clean 100%. See, that's why the, the Vod Karma voice fits perfectly. The human problem is getting people to be willing to try it! Sounds like there's a lot of risk there, yeah. It's not even... It's not even that bloody. I only hire the best. Well, that that makes some concerns. But bloody? Why would it be bloody? Horns are just like your nail. There shouldn't be blood involved at all. What's going on here? What, never had a piercing before? Same thing. Reed shakes his head. Anything more than a hugging or piercing is an abomination before our Lord. I am Raptor Jesus. I finish my drink and Reed downs his in one shot. Tossing a few dollars on the counter. I look up to see the one person I'm most anxious and excited to talk with again approaching. Fang! You're here! What? Damn it! I told you to stop calling me that! Oh. <laughs> like, isn't that the name you see Lucy used to use back in senior year, dude? Yeah, I think it was. Yeah, it was because of you, fucking idiot. <laughs> Come on, you'll always be fang to me. Lucy, Lucy covers her eyes with her hands. Aw, oh, she's still wearing the necklace, too. All those years later. Oh my god, you haven't changed a bit, I swear. Come on, get over here. I'll order us all another watch a of drinks. It's on me, the richest raptor in the world, dude. Look, Anand's finally gotten a whole face. Yeah. Well, I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think... Yeah, it needs at least one part missing at any time. Reed cheerfully throws his arms up as he shouts out a prolonged world. Oh no, he's summoning his stand. Sure, thanks. I can't have too much, though. I'm the event organizer and all. There might be a blood vessel in there. Dogs have one in their claws. Oh, yeah. And, and yeah, the, 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 the half sweater. That's, that's a great look. Really, every outfit Fang has, she pulls off amazingly. I am totally no, I not like... biased at all on that. Also, like I said, I, I appreciate outfits that have the navel showing. That sounds like a tough break. Wait, I thought you were the music teacher here. I'm getting there. I'm still working with Mr. Jingo until he retires next year, though. Until then, I'm a teacher's assistant. Oh, all right. I see. Take a quick glimpse around the room and fail to see any large ape man. I feel like we're missing someone. Where's Spears? I could have sworn he would be here. Ah, oh, man, he's gone. I saw him on TV the other day, though. Was he given a speech or something? Sort of. He does commercials for car dealerships now. What? He's built a reputation for his gimmick of wrecking a car in every ad he does. <laughs> I... I see. Like Street Fighter, dude. Like Blanca. Oh, God, I thought that was a joke about slamming people into cars. The hours reconnecting with my old friends pass surprisingly quickly, and the time eventually comes for everyone to go home. Lucy excuses herself from the group to go give the closing speech. She goes on st up on stage and tests the microphone, getting everyone's attention. Alright everyone, it's been a wonderful night! You don't have to go home, but you cannot stay here. Please start finding your designated drivers or calling up the taxi driver. We will be locking the doors at 3. A.M.? Jesus. Late night party, bitches. She puts the mic back on its stand and jumps off stage. Reed pats my shoulder. You gotta ride home, man. I can walk, but thanks. 
Lucy returns to the minibar, where Rosa is waiting with the last of the alcohol. There it is! Alright, great seeing you guys. I'm a bounce. We should all meet again for lunch sometime. Yeah, absolutely. It's been, it's been forever since I've been in town. I'd love to get a tour of what's new. You got it, man. See ya. Bye, Reed. Actually, I should get going, too. I don't want to get stuck in traffic. You've had the most to drink out of all of us. You gonna be alright? She raises a smug eyebrow and starts walking to the exit. See you guys. Do have all Stella and I would love to have you. Ah, oh, we really didn't see Stella at all in this, did we? Wait, so are they a couple? <laughs> I think they're just roommates because they've kind of been paired up throughout the whole game. Or they could be a couple. Yeah, I think. I mean, I think she's also uh, Rose is very religious, so I assume she wouldn't get into a same-sex relationship just based on that. Yeah, it would be an affront to Raptor Jesus. More people trickle out of the room, until it's just Lucy and I. Naomi gives a thumbs up to Lucy through the door to signal that everyone has left. Thanks, Naomi. I couldn't have organized this without you. Oh, don't worry about it. It was nice getting to act like a class representative again. The plastic persimmon waves and lets the door swing close with an echoing clang. So... Just the two of us. Damn you, Anna, and damn you, Bill Withers. <laughs> ah, wow. Still got it. Yeah, yeah, five years later and it still isn't any funnier. Lucy holds up a plastic bag that clinks with each shake. I was gonna offer you the last of these, but... Hey now, let's not let those go to waste. Her smug grin and laugh says enough. Rooftop? Rooftop. Now. She leads the way through the darkened school hallways and stairwell. I can picture all the old posters from my time here along the walls. Oh, hey! They finally replaced the door. And they fixed <laughs> the fence! Fence! <laughs> They've had some close calls, too. It was a good thing. Just, it only took them five years. The door is booted open, and the night air has finally cooled down to something breathable now. I turn to the ladder on the side of the stair enclosure and climb up. Lucy hands me the bag and makes her own ascent. From our new vantage point, we can see all of the town lit up. And with the stars above and no moon, I would say that the view is picturesque. Man, I'm, you need to grow eyes. There's a moon right there. Oh. Idiot! <laughs> Oi, you gonna hog all the drinks? I take out a pair of bottles, using one to pop the cap off the other. Yo, uh, the twist off, you know? To prove her point, she takes a capped one and simply twists this top off. Ow! My ego! Anyways. A toast! To adulthood! To stable employment. We tap our bottles together and chug the sweet ambrosia down. Ah, I needed this. Oh? I'm... I'm already handing her a second bottle, knowing that she'll finish her first with her next chug. I guess you've been busy. Dealing with games is an absolute fucking nightmare. This is a one fucking brat. nightmare. There's this one brat, Kenny. The little shit has broken two trumpets already. Have you ever had a wet nightmare? Uh, uh, it seems like a hard combination. Uh, no, and also, where did that come from? Because uh, we're talking about fucking nightmare. Oh, fair. <laughs> yeah. uh, I have. It's a... A fear boner. 
factually related to something we were talking about earlier, being turned inside out. Ah. Weirdest direction. <laughs> it can't be that bad. <laughs> <laughs> well, you see, it happened during band camp, and he was telling me about this weird dream he had that gave him a boner somehow. It was a nightmare. <laughs> Lucy's right. I have night like most of my dreams are nightmares, and all you have to do to get a wet dream is not have an orgasm for a long time. So sometimes the, the Venn diagram just grows bigger and bigger until it happens. That that sounds like a very interesting experience. But you get used to nightmares all the time. Lucy's rant went on for what felt like an hour. Though, judging by the pile of beer bottles, it couldn't have been more than 20 minutes. It's a fucking dance of all places! Like, what the fuck? <laughs> what? Sounds like us, honestly. Bullshit. For real! You were just as bad! Lucy's elbow finds its familiar spot in my side. Teenagers. I can't believe we are ever teenagers. Yeah, huh? Fang. She groans and hides her face in her knees. Why the fuck was I so edgy? <laughs> Trish. <laughs> okay, so maybe we were that bad. That's life for you. She sighs and relaxes. Her legs stretch forward, and she leans back on her arms. Yeah. That's life. I may make her pose, and find myself staring at the small dots spreading across the night sky. Teacher at your alma mater. Wasn't really expecting that, you know? You a sound engineer? I figured you'd be making a sex bot or something. I tried. <laughs> Didn't work out well. Oh, uh, Metal, Metal Gear Rainbow Waifu didn't work out? Mm. The self-cleaning subroutine never worked right. Oh, God. Gross. We chuckle together. Hey, Lucy. Ooh, hold on. Turn that up. I want this song to be audible. Hey, Lucy. I keep my eye on the stars, even when Lucy turns to look at mine. I can feel heat creep across my face. Oh, hold on a second. Someone's going to die. knocking on the door. It's gotta be 4 a.m. where he is right now. It was an assassin. Okay, if he doesn't come back in like a minute, we have to plan a rescue party, because I can't end it just right here. I'll never be able to press the A button. I'll never be able to just download this game and finish it myself. I need to have Kazards playing it. I'm starting to get worried if it was really something like an assassin. <laughs> it's... Nobody could keep him with Snoot this long. The police are coming to arrest him for his terrible taste. Send in Rainbow, or send in Rainbow Mark Three. We have a mission. Now we have to seize direct control. Oh my god, who will be Anon? None of us have ever been Anon before. This be the our Anon time is in our hearts all along. Okay, I am back. All right. What I missed. Okay, cancel the rescue mission. <laughs> we were we were theorizing that you were being assassinated. 
Ah, oh, no. Nah. Nothing could take me away from this ending. That's what we figured. That's an assassin. See, even if I was assassinated, I would crawl back, finish this, and then die. That takes dedication, son. <laughs> hey, I'm glad I turned the music up so you guys could enjoy it during that. I could feel heat creep across my face. I got a contract with a studio here. I'm thinking... Since I'll be here for a good while, how about we get some dinner sometime? You know... Yeah together I look at Lucy at last her face is turned back to the sky but there's a dusting of pink across her cheeks I went to I totally went in on but I've got work like you wouldn't believe oh well if it's too much however however Something covers my hand. A quick glimpse down, and I see it's Lucy's atop mine. I've got time in the morning. So how about breakfasts? I smile. Is that a date, then? I don't know. Is it? Lucy turns back to me and smiles. It is, then. You're such a dweeb. I know. That didn't stop Lucy from shuffling closer until our legs were pressed together. That didn't stop Lucy from leaning her head on my shoulder. Oh, this sounds like a new track, too. I grin and wrap my arm around her shoulder. Feels just like old times, honestly. Like, no time has passed since I left Volcadero Bluff. I guess I never did say goodbye to Volcano High. Haha! -ha! Thanks, now my face is forever stuck in a cringe, Anon. You just had to drop the title, you just had to. <laughs> Way to ruin the moment, Fang. You ruined it first with your mumbling. Five years later and you're still talking under your breath? Well, fix it then. You ruined it, you fix it. Fine, I will. My hand cus cups her cheek gently. Lucy smiles and leans in. Ah, I miss this feeling. Our lips meld together as we embrace just like we were teens again. There you go, ending four. Ass times at Volcano High. <laughs> oh boy. Good ends. Great ends. Very, I, very great ends. I'm a little, I'm still a little divided on whether I like three or four more, but four was definitely, it earns its place at the very last. It has not just a satisfying conclusion for Fang and Anon, but like everybody involved. We yeah. didn't see Nazar, which was a little weird considering he's Fang's brother, and uh, but still everybody else got a good yeah, it, Well, I mean, he was off at college because this was a little uh, reunion. Oh, that's right. He was at. Oh, actually, speaking of. Uh, man, the, the ages still confuse me. Maybe Nazar wasn't going to this one because he is two years younger. Who the fuck knows? Whatever. <laughs> well, I mean, if he, he, he wanted to be a doctor, so that's probably, you know, intensive oh, college. Yeah. Now, it was also very, I do like how in this one, uh, Fang is the one who decides if, An if Anon's going to be away for five years, she decides to take a break to kind of figure herself out for that time, and she comes out of it, you know, very, yeah, very happy she, and healthy she, by the end She of has her own person compared to ending three, where she's living up to an ideal she thinks Anon wants. Yeah, that's, yeah. that ending looks way better than ending three. I would say it's about even for me, because even though it's clear that Fang is in a healthier position herself, I just really like the sort of... A hopeful tone of uh, of ending three. Ending three, it has oh, you thinking yearbook. things are going bad with what? Yearbook as the ending image on oh, the pendant. Oh, that's nice. Oh, yearbook. There it is. It is nice. Well, it's like after the after the credits, they usually have a thing at the end. Oh, oh that's oh, I love it. See, oh, that did I get? The that is the thing ending four was missing when I did my playthrough, is you don't see the U the UV lighting. 
Because you get that ending three and ending four, I was expecting it to happen, but it doesn't. Ending four is now perfect. There, there's, look, uh, I like I like the cab driver just sort of standing just, in the back there, like who's by the guy? everyone chilling. <laughs> he works his way in there. Oh wait, was that no, but I, was that I, like I, the I, ending I, four wedding photo then? Maybe. Like and I, interesting I, that only in ending two does Fang ever uh do anything like as a band. But yeah, but it's a very depressing route. Yeah. So, like, like I said, sort of defend. Like, I, I definitely see the argument for four and three, either one, depending on your taste. But I think three, I really like three because of that sort of sense of. I, I really like it when a mo movie has these emotional beats where it sets up like a hopeless situation. Like Anon is leaving Fang. That whole goodbye was very emotional. He's gone for three years. He neither he doesn't know what he's gonna come back to. And then like when things seem bleak, he's already been to war and he's had all this dark stuff happen to him. He comes back and like the light of his life, Fang is still there you know for him look being better than ever working with kids and it's just a very hopeful situation brought about from a very dark place whereas this one was more or less a crescendo of things just building up escalating over time uh, to you know very a, a very satisfying conclusion but i just really like the contrast of three uh mm. with the uh, pits of hopelessness that it pulled itself out of in the middle of it. I think it's like uh, last when you guys got ending three, you're calling it what, 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 were you, what was the term you're using? Pragmatic or whatever? Or realistic? I could say uh, that's for ending three, and then ending four is the idealized version. Yeah, it, it is a little ridiculously perfect. Um, but, I mean, you know, you work f for it, first of all. I mean, it it is a lot of... Uh, I mean, you can work a lot of things out with people if you just know how to fucking communicate. Mm. Yeah, I do like, like I said, I really do like how an ending four gives you resolution for uh, Trish and everybody. But, you know, three, three did not give resolution for Trish, but at the very least, Trish was better than she was in any other ending, at least, and she kind of seemed to oh, realize yeah. that she was coming, you know, she kind of sort of realized her folly of her ways at the end. I, I, the thing is that ending three doesn't end with the strongest sense of finality like four does it doesn't let you know everyone is okay at the end but i kind of like three in the it, sense that it gives you a hope of fang you know finding time finding the strength to you know uh hmm. find her own passions and get back into music or it's and I like think, I mean, uh, it's, it's clearly shown she still has an interest in music she's still very good at music it's, just, it, it's like ending three is sort of a, you they, know fang went through a hard time in high school yeah what were you going to say, Cass? I was going to say, it's like uh, ending three is like everyone kind of improved on themselves, but they all separated. And ending four, they improved, but everybody's still friends and connected. Yeah. Yeah, also, oh yeah, also ending three had them getting married at the far end, which is like the uh, the supreme perfect end. The only the only bad side being that only the uh, parents seem to show up at the wedding, but I don't know if who knows. Well, maybe I mean, if that the... image we just saw was a wedding image, because that was a massive dress. Then was that, that... A, was that a oh was that a wedding image? I kind of I, thought I mean, it, was, I don't it know. looked the... like it was the gymnasium. I thought it was like the uh, the school reunion had a dance. I, I mean, and... well, if there was a school reunion, why would the taxi driver and the street vendor be there? That's why I, I, I was asking myself. Hold on. Like how the taxi driver uh, kind of built in there. Do you have the image? Galleries. How do we not have some... Oh, did they add more stuff? Oh, did they add stuff into ending one? Oh, I don't want to go... I don't want to go through ending one to get two images. Oh, there's more stuff. And then... I'm not sure what that image would be. Where's that rooftop and this... Hmm at the very end. Oh, uh, then these... Okay, I guess... Oh, they're they're in alphabetical order, not necessarily story order. Also, the yellow, also the yellow dress is cute. So, okay, so I, I guess there's a few other things they added. A, a, a lot, apparently, they added. Jeez. Huh. I don't see the ending image. Uh, oh, they say it's bonus chapter CGs, so you don't have to worry about replaying through the oh, game. Oh, those are bonus... Okay. But where's the... Where's the ending? Do, see they, ending. do they not show... An... Okay, well, there's the one ending uh, image. Try... Oh, you see one ending image? Yeah, this, the, the wedding one. Right there. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah, okay, I see what you're talking about. So... Scroll down some more then, because these are... Da, da. Bathroom, wedding, 
Doomer, Band, Dance, Rooftop, Pathetic. Oh, because they're looking down on you. Prom Freak Out, Prom Fang Fuck Up, Room Thrash, Acer's Breakdown, Stairs. Why do we not have the image for the third one? Yeah, where's ending one? Or, no, because that's one, that's two, where, or that's three, where's four? Did it not unlock? No, because we had... Heck, it's not like it didn't unlock anything because we got the CGs when we go behind the bath. That is weird. Uh, maybe they're suggesting you restart and then it'll appear. Oh, okay. Right, we have all the other. Yeah, let's try that. Yeah, because I would like to see it. I, I thought it was a, uh, a dance thing because it looked like she was wearing a crown. Like a uh, like a prom crown thing. Yeah, and well, like, I, like really... I said, it was a very big dress, so it feels like and 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 the family was there too. So if yeah, does... well, the other one, the other one felt like more clearly wedding because it was in front of a, ch a chapel and a church and everything. Yeah. I gotta get to bed. Oh, uh, I have to wrong. get to work soonish. Shoot, yeah, it is getting pretty uh, late for me too. So, yeah. what do you guy? What would you guys rate? Oh, here, uh, it's, it's, instead of bringing... Oh, oh, whoops. I clicked the wrong game patch. Uh, just, just start talking. Oh, so I, I was going to say, I, it's still a very, very uh, highly rated game for me. I would easily say an 8 out of 10. Like I, would, uh, I, I, I don't want to put a number to it, actually. I feel like that's a, kind of a not always the best way to rate things. But I very much enjoyed it. I really like the variety of paths. There are a lot of stuff that I really wanted to see in Ending 3, like being able to actually see the resolution between Fang and Nazar uh, close hand that we got an ending for. I liked seeing the uh, everyone kind of get a solid ending arc, except for Naomi, but it's kind of clear the game just isn't, uh, the game isn't really set up to help, uh, you know, it, it isn't really sided with Naomi that much, so I, I, I can only ask for so much. But I really do like Fang's arc, uh, especially throughout endings 3 and 4, and I really think they do a really good job of exploring the sense of trying to be social with others and caring about other people and being empathetic towards them. Hmm. Yeah, it's really hard to rate a visual novel um, game because, uh, yeah, it's it at least the way I usually rate games. It's just, yeah. But, I mean, just as a story in general, it is it is really, really good. Um, I mean, the way characters come together and, like, here, I'll just... Lesson, lessons congeal into like the story itself. It's just yeah. It for as as about as indie as a game can be. It's really impressive. It is um, a a feat and a half. What especially because think about it too. Again, this is more than just indie. They took another. Uh, you know, yeah. it's a game that existed did come out yet. Yeah, they're like, nah, let's do it better. And they did it a million times better. So yeah, yeah I, mean, I, I, just, I put the image on the stream for if you guys want. Yeah, and yes, I mean, we're, I, we're pointing out Anon has a ring, so this they are in uh, fact married here. Yeah, there you go. Because uh, I was going to say, it's definitely not the same dress, so it's not supposed to be prom. Mm. But um, I'm also looking at the back now. I see that it is... Actually, is that the night sky, or is that a... It just... Uh, I wasn't quite sure if it was a uh, the wedding itself. Uh, I mean, uh, it might be you got like, uh, Naomi... Stella, Trish, they're all wearing like fancy gowns. You fucking, got... Mrs. Uh, fucking Mrs. the Monarch in the back. Oh, is that who that's supposed to be? Yeah, because obviously uh, the taxi driver is based on Monarch, so that's ah. his wife there. I like just the foreground on the left. You just see, you just barely see Mo, just his giant jaw coming in it's over the camera. giant jaw. <laughs> Doctor misses the Monarch. Oh, I guess that would be Spears in the foreground on the, on the right. And then Nacer just looks so, so I guess happy. They, uh, I guess they definitely do get married in both endings. That's true. Yeah. I, I can see how that works out. Still, I, I think it's still a close call for me. I just really like the uh, sense of things coming around and making what seems like it's going to be a bad end into a happy end in ending three. I really like the juxtaposition mm -hmm. of that. Yeah, ending four is definitely really great, though. It, they're, they're, yeah, they're, I mean, I feel like, again, like we said, you have realism versus idealism. In, in my case, after going through ending one, then two, then three, then get finally getting four, I, I love four. Like, yeah, so I you, honestly, went, you went through like an order of the of the ending. Uh, yeah, it, it's funny it worked out that way. I mean, I was just going back slightly, bit like, okay, what did I screw up? 
But uh, I also do feel like, now, and I'll, this isn't cope or anything, that that's probably the best order to go through. Because you get the worst, and then you just see how it can get better. Because honestly, if you got ending four early, and then you had to go through the worst endings after that, one and two, that would just be like, oh god. I agree with that, but I don't think it's possible to get ending four on your first playthrough, honestly. I mean, Gex uh, was say I mean, Gex a horde in chat said said he got it first run. Well, he's a liar. <laughs> I mean, the game, like, actively tricks you into getting things wrong. Mm -hmm. uh, I also like the... I like the order that we got them. Three, I thought was... Uh, three is a uh, very good enough ending for me to feel satisfied. Like, if I had stopped at three, I would have felt like it was still a very satisfying game, but I kind of liked three. Yeah. meant that we hadn't gotten the best ending at first, so it gave us a reason <laughs> to continue, and then going mm -hmm. from three to one and two let us get, you know, kind of like a... We got a taste of what could be the best, and then finally after that, that gave us the strength to go through the worst, and then ending on the best ending. Yeah, yeah. I definitely okay, disagree. Okay, that three one is, makes it better. Well, that, I didn't say. Well, I, it just feels like you, you want to end on the happy note. So having four well, yeah, no, be last is the obvious one. Yeah, definitely. But I don't. I don't. I, I disagree with having one being first is a good experience. Well, and that's oh. what I was, I, I was saying that three being first was a good experience. Going from three yeah, to Yeah, I was one. responding to Ka what Kaz uh, was saying. Uh, well, oh. I, I, another bit in, in me just being one, one, two, three, four, it's just my experience. I went in with no expectations and think it's just going to be a, you know, just a, a whatever game. My, oh, uh, this would be fun to get some views. And then it just, the emotional tearing of the soul it, that ending gives of when you're like, what? Because it, it does, if you had no preconception of the game, it does come out at you from nowhere. And I am a very empathetic person. I attach to characters a lot. So that ending just made me be like, dear God, I need to fix this. I can't let this happen. How did I screw up this bad? I guess the other thing that threw me off about it is that the, uh, the it's very colorful for a wedding. Like, it doesn't have the traditional white dress or the uh, black suit oh. for the guy. So I, when I first saw it, I thought it was another dance. Well, they've definitely I, never been I, I mean, some of it's probably UV lighting because you're getting the luminescent marks on Fang. Maybe. I don't think UV lighting would turn a white dress purple, though. I mean, it depends. Like, I, you're definitely right. They're definitely married. But I wasn't sure if this was the wedding dance or if this was, like, another special occasion. Oh. Just because I, the, 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 the dress, the dress color, the colors threw me off. Yeah. Oh, Tenchi also got for his first try. I guess we just got a chat full of chats here. And yeah, they see there, there, there's the mentality I was talking about. Gex is going, it's really hard to get one and two after four. Because really think about it. You, you just got the, basically the perfect ending. You just got the great moment. And then, oh look, everyone died. Jesus fuck, yeah, that's it. Oh. Hey, Kostra, what, what a conversation Kostra, to walk just, into. We're just getting to the end of Snoot. Oh. Oh. <laughs> so we got all of our bonus chapters to go next time. Oh, uh, I know about Snoot, but I never played it myself. Oh. We were just, we were just finishing our... Uh, we were, we've been doing a playthrough on Tuesdays for the last few weeks, just ended on ending 4 of 4. Yeah, I've been running these two through it. Oh, uh... uh it's just a... Well, I'd say just, like it's it's a thing but it's just a vn right more or less it's a visual novel yeah okay okay i could buy that well that's free you don't have to buy it i could buy that <laughs> <laughs> yeah do donate to the devs they got a new game starting up prices? oh yeah i can buy it <laughs> i bought tf2 <laughs> that's fair no i didn't buy tf2 <laughs> That's just a straight up lie. I won't lie to you guys. <laughs> Actually, well, just kidding. I will, but I won't tell you about it. <laughs> well, I'd, I'd highly recommend buying Snoop then. Yeah, it was a good game. I really do like the story. Well, yeah. From what I hear, what I'm, what I, from what I look at on, while well, just passing through Fortune, it, they like it a lot, and things that they actually do like seem to be pretty all right. Danny's hate it though. That's why. <laughs> yeah. <I>, good. <laughs> That's why I, I still like to try Quality Squad. 
Um, I do like oddball games, but sometimes games do overstay their welcome in my eyes. It, do you mean that like they're too long or just they hang around too much? No, it's just that the people... I like I like to say that people overhype a lot of these games because sometimes they do. Same thing with Cruelty Squad. Everyone was like, "Whoa, Psycho!" I mean, a Schizo game, and I'm like, "No, this is just very esoteric." Nah. Anyway, I really like that. Uh, yeah, I gotta get to bed. So. I, yeah. Uh, unfortunately, it's getting pretty late Love for me on my side. Good night, everybody. All Have right. a good night, Hinkle. Good night, everybody. We will continue next Tuesday. For the bonus chapters so that will be a fun look at those aye aye looking forward to them yes looking forward thank you everyone glad for glad, 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 glad finally got to see the end on the best ending yes you guys finally got the best ending and it was 40 days and 40 nights it was more yeah, than just a dream games. that's about how long video games take <laughs> yeah oh man we're actually a week over for 40 days dang that would have been perfect all right, but yeah, do you, do, do you do a lot of do you do a lot of uh, FPSs, man? Haven't recently. Was mm. kind of looking at uh, suggested Halo because like, I kind of did forget at, that if was. If you're looking at what are you looking for, for as far as like games go, are you looking just for something to stream to be like, yo guys, check this out? Oh, I mean, like I got a lot of games to stream. I got way too big of a backlog. I'm basically it's down for of, any game. It's Cry of Fear on there. Cry of Fear? I heard of that. It's not on the list. You should put it on there. As far as like old like 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 gold source goes, Cry of Fear is pretty good. Alright. I mean I was thinking of getting to indies, thinking just cause you know the Queen and King of V competitions think of looking at Yuma Nikki and off. Yeah, yeah. It, it, V was definitely in it. V was definitely on oh. an indie indie bend this year. Mm. Ooh, dude, you still haven't played off my man. Yeah. Dude, <laughs> Off's really good. Off is a really good game, and Yumi Nikki, I haven't played it, but yeah, cause like I've heard of those games on and off just because of how old they yeah. are, but yeah. I never got around to playing them. So I'm thinking, man, you know, since they're just such in a, they've been in such a spotlight now, I I should get to them just because they're they definitely like... have been. Everyone's been talking about those more, well, for lack of a better term, Earthbound style RPGs, but they're more. They're more like, uh, they're more similar to ARGs and, and whatever else. Artificial reality games, whatever the fuck you call them. Hmm. But, because I mean, a lot of the things that you would expect to see in RPGs, you don't really see in those types of games. Or you see them like, almost as if like they're parodies of classic, uh, of classic RPG tropes. Yeah. Well, so, like, like a, that's, that's one of the so, things I was looking for. Uh, with you and Nikki, like I know, it's like, man, that thing's old. And there's probably every other game that came past this probably been just inspired by that one. Yeah, and there's a lot of things that a lot of people who don't play these games wouldn't like pick up, like how Lisa's many party members, I think, is kind of like a. They they take a whole bunch of elements from different styles of RPGs, like Dragon's ah, Quest and Lisa. That's another one I got on the list. Dude, Lisa's dude, a good I one. I really like. I played all the way through Lisa. I, 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 I roped in my wife by playing uh, Lisa in front of her, and she's like, whoa, this is <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> very much so. It's a very... It's a fucking it, field game. It's good. It's really good. I played that. I didn't play Joyful in front of her, but... Mm. I still gotta play first. Uh, all the spin-off game, All the fan games... Uh, there were two of them, I hear, are pretty good. Maybe I'll do that after Christmas. Just go down all these classic indies just play, just play the indie play killer seven <laughs> i keep on telling everyone to play killer seven ever, ever since i was in fucking high school killer that's another one do i don't know if i actually own that or not i'll have to look at that it's on steam pirate I, it it's get it get, emulate it because it's by uh it's, it's who, who? guys we're on youtube of course <laughs> kazard is planning to buy these games that we are talking about youtube we wouldn't dream of doing anything else because killer seven's by uh suda or grasshopper right yes to 51. Yes, it's his, it's, it was his first big game. So. Ah. Because, yeah, because I've, I've heard, you know, some of his other stuff. So I'd... Yes. Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely love Killer7. Always have. Fucking made a character based on him. Like, one of the first things that I did for Femto. <laughs> All 
All right, I'll, I'll just have to get on. I'll just have to really be hitting the, after we get Snoop game down. I'll just have to start just grinding out all these other games on stream. Over at twitch.tv slash Kazard. All right, time to get Twitch Prime. <laughs> yes, get Twitch Prime. Sub to your favorite. Dude, I, actually, I work for Amazon now, so I basically get Twitch Prime for free. Oh, wow. Grats. Not grats, oh. but grats. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of neat. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, working for Amazon isn't as bad as I thought it'd be. I thought it'd be like literally like, like wagey KG tier, but it's not. The one guy who worked at Amazon for a while who described it as wagey cagey, but if it works for you, that works. Well, the thing about going into the wagey cagey is that... Do you really... Is there really any place that isn't a cage if you're just doing it for a job in the first place? The only thing that you wouldn't really count as that would be a career that you've actually worked hard at throughout your life and you actually have, like, accreditation for. Like, yeah, it's like they honestly, say... Wait, I, I'm not, I'm not going to tell people that to their face because I don't want them to get upset and shatter the illusion that is working for them, but, like... I mean, it's like they say, if, if you enjoy all, working, it's, it's, it's not a job. Yeah, I guess so. But even the universe itself needs to work in mm. order to use heat and keep everything going but i'm not once again i'm not gonna say that out loud otherwise i'd sound like a fucking maniac <laughs> another good game I'm... of that sort of old is manhunt all right I'll... dude manhunt right, manhunt's been... Man not okay i could talk fucking all night about it. You guys <laughs> yeah, need to go to sleep. yeah, yeah. It, it's, I, it's getting pretty late need to, here. i need to definitely need to tap out right now so yeah. I'll, I'll catch you guys soon though all right yeah, yeah. so guys Snoop Game Bonus Chapters next Tuesday. Right here. Stick around. And we'll see you next week or I'll see you later this week on, on the Twitch because I will be getting back to streaming on that. I swear this time. <laughs> Good night, everyone. Good night, you guys. Good night.